This 19-year-old CEO goes by the name by Keon, fortunate enough to have traveled back in time. Endowed with a colossal capital by a mysterious system to kickstart his entrepreneurial journey, the condition for profit was the deeper the losses, the better. Therefore, the young man was determined to find every possible way to bankrupt his company, aiming for substantial losses. Strangely, due to some mystical force, the more havoc he wreaked, the more staggering his profits became. Let's explore together the reason behind this phenomenon. The tale begins in a towering skyscraper akin to Landmark 81 during a grand press conference. The reporter commenced her introduction. Here is Bai Qian, the CEO of Dengda Conglomerate, a prominent figure in the business world. His company is valued at hundreds of billions, with operations spanning from the internet, gaming, hardware to areas like dining, lifestyle, transportation, and culture. It has significantly impacted many lives. One would think that a tycoon of such stature must be cold, indifferent, decisive, and ruthless to achieve such success, right? However, through a recent interview with Bai Qian, also known as the best boss ever, a visionary investor, a gaming genius, a skilled manager, and with an accurate perspective on industry trends, everyone feels a refreshing change in paradigm. Facing the reporter, Bai Qian couldn't help but burst into tears. I really don't possess any business genius? The secret to success is encapsulated in two words, luck. My initial goal was simply to incur losses of $50,000. Upon hearing this, the reporter promptly responded, see, the life of a business genius is humble and discerning. I'm at a loss for words as well. Indeed, successful people seem to say everything right, heh <laughs> The scene shifts to a considerably distant past in the year 2009 at Handong University in Jingzhou City. Suddenly, a voice echoed, Bai Qian, wake up, you're running late for class. Today is the deputy dean's lecture and attendance is mandatory. Our protagonist Bai Qian woke up from his dream, rubbing his eyes drowsily and replied, go to class. Isn't this my rented dormitory? Who would come to my room? As he opened his eyes, he saw the face of his close friend Mai Yang. Mai Yang had a mischievous grin on his face, looking devilishly amused, and at the same time he said, he he, sleeping like a pig. Then with a sleek grin, he darted out of the door, adding, hurry up, or you'll get a reprimand from the deputy dean if caught. Bai Qian was left bewildered by what he had just heard. Following that, he exclaimed in surprise, whispering to himself, what's happening? My head really hurts. Suddenly becoming alert in the blink of an eye, shattering the frozen state, he sat up with immense astonishment. Oh, but this doesn't seem like my university dorm room. It's the deputy dean's office. So it's my freshman year at university. Next, he covered his face as dark as the bottom of a pot and exclaimed, it's the year 2009. Could it be that I've traveled back 10 years? Unbelievable. He pinched his cheek to check if he was dreaming, but the more he did, the more it hurt. It's over, it hurts too much, it's really not a dream. In a state of utter confusion, not knowing what to do, suddenly, a transparent screen flashed before Bai Qian's eyes, and rapidly, lines of text appeared. Wealth transfer system is connecting to the host, binding successful. From one surprise to another, the system unexpectedly announced, Host Bai Qian, please read the system usage instructions. Bai Qian was utterly astonished and decided to give it a read. Wealth transfer system, the current system funds are $50,000. Personal assets are $443. Wealth transfer rules, after a certain period, that the system will provide the host with a certain amount of system funds, strictly for the company's commercial activities. No wastage is allowed. If spent for personal purposes, a warning will be issued, and the money cannot be transferred. After a period, settlement will be carried out based on the different profit and loss levels and, depending on the ratio, convert it into personal assets that the host can freely spend. After reading, our Bai Qian burst into laughter. He <laughs> he. Indeed, after time traveling, there must be a system, and this trick is quite old-fashioned. Subsequently, the system added another notification. The profit-to-money conversion ratio is $100 to 1, and the loss-to-money conversion ratio is 1 to 1. Immediately, Bai Qian understood the function of this system. Simultaneously, he exclaimed, Fantastic! 
the system not only provides financial resources, but also shares the profits. Truly a VIP system. Although both the system funds and personal assets are money, they are entirely different concepts. $50,000 is system funds. According to the system's explanation, this amount can only be used for commercial activities. But if all the system funds are entirely lost, then at a one-to-one -one ratio, that loss can be converted into personal assets. Losing money is synonymous with making money. Heh <laughs> heh, I am indeed quite clever. Subsequently, our Bai Kian stood in a highly confident posture, laughing manically and exclaiming, Ha 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 ha. My financial prospects are like a bright and shining sky. Suddenly, the system delivered the next message. The final step, please name your company. Clicking to enter, Bai Kian pondered for a moment. Finally, he typed in, Dangda Technology Network Limited Liability Company. This name means soaring like a kite in the wind, expressing the hope that Dangda Company would quickly suffer a disastrous failure. Ha 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 ha. Following that, our Bai Kian attentively read further instructions, completing the registration for Dangda Technology Network Limited Liability Company. The next settlement date was 14 days later. If no products were released, the settlement time would be postponed. After reading, he rubbed his chin, silently thinking it's all good. Making money will be easy no matter how deep the loss is. Therefore, the next thing he needed to do was turn the system funds variable to zero and convert the personal assets from $443 to $50,443. Heh <laughs> heh. I have to figure out a way to make the losses as deep as possible. Then he initiated a roundtable meeting in his mind, comprising five main members, with our Bai Kian leading the way, always a bit mischievous. This young man truly seemed to have gone completely insane. The officially commenced first losing battle strategy conference. Who would like to speak first? A bespectacled youth next to him immediately raised his hand. Oh please, Bai Kian, the one with glasses, share your thoughts. In the specific rules of the system, there were up to 200 laws. It could be said that all illegal activities were strictly prohibited. Therefore, the options were not many. Indeed, the system left no loopholes for cheating, otherwise, heavy penalties would follow. This world was not much different from the original one, just a bit technologically backward. Moreover, copyright protection awareness was quite lacking. Surprisingly, a Bai Kian holding a gaming device sitting across from them spoke up. Technological advancement undoubtedly values copyright. So how do you all feel about innovating in the gaming industry? The gaming sector burns too much money. Besides, just changing the gameplay a bit can lead to failure. In reality, industries with fixed assets can sell off those assets when bankrupt. But in the gaming industry, once it dies, there's nothing left to sell. Also, I have memories from 10 years ahead, so just stay away from games that can make money. Ha 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 ha. Next, the entire Bai Kian gang enthusiastically agreed. Okay, very good. Step 1, let's design the game. Step 2, bankrupt, transfer all the system capital into personal assets. Step 3, use the money to go party and shake things up. Ha 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 ha. Let's stick to that decision and just go with it. With these thoughts in mind, our Bai Kian seemed to be floating on cloud nine. He envisioned a dreamlike scenario, make money for fun, partying, and enjoying various pleasures, he <laughs> he. Bai Kian will become a renowned tycoon in the gaming world in no time. Words turned into actions, and on that very day, Bai Kian embarked on the plan. However, after spending a few hours on the computer, our Bai Kian felt extremely frustrated. Unexpectedly, coming up with a game on his own turned out to be so troublesome. Luckily, there was an eTexo supported website to help. All he needed to do was buy game materials on the site and use the official editing tools for design. In the end, after evaluation, it could be released. All he had to do was spend 50,000 on the source site. Then he created a poorly received game that no one bothered to buy. In this way, after two weeks, there wasn't a penny left in his pocket it turned out to be too simple. Okay, let's start the design. The driving model, base version for $20,000, comes with a pretty VIP-looking interior structure. The Desert Expressway map, $23,000. Expensive, right? But it's exactly what I want. Next is the sound, $6,000, done deal. The last $1,000 is for purchasing the ranking feature. 
all good, just enough for $50,000. But it seems like there might still be something missing. All right, need to make the players suffer like eating level 7 spicy noodles, so they feel like they're always at their parents' mercy, hehe. <laughs> So, let's add that players have to drive for over 8 hours on the road to pass the level. Along with that, after a short period, there will be a turn to rescue them from the addiction. Ha ha ha. I am indeed a genius. Two hours later, our Bai Kian has finished designing. He said, seems like this is okay, should get approved for sure. Let's go test it. Then as soon as he entered, he discovered that the game he made is as ugly as a toy dog, even more eye-poking. His face turned dark, mouth agape in disbelief. What on earth? This space game is even worse than I thought. If anyone can endure playing it for eight hours, I'll bow down to them as a master. But the thing is, a game like this not getting a whole bunch of hate is quite surprising. If you can make money from this game, I applaud you. Hey, hey, come on, let's go into battle. 500 of us with a low tier game like this. Losing capital is a sure thing. Hey, hey. Now let's switch to that evening at Bai Qian's dorm. At this time, all four of them are playing some game, loudly cursing a guy named Dian Ji Hua. Can't you team up, always playing solo, stupid and then dying? So this seemingly addicted guy is Ma Yang. Finding it strange, he asks Bai Qian, are you really daring not going to school? In the midst of combat, Bai Qian replies, hurry up Ma Yang. Every time we form a team, you're never around, and our team members on the roadside end up dead. Do you even know how to play the game? We're playing as a team, and you're playing solo. Three against one, and still no progress. We keep losing over and over. I killed 11 guys, assisted in two, and still we lost. It's truly infuriating. On the other side, Mei Yang kills two, dies three, assists two, and retorts. Bai Qian, don't just care about yourself, do you care me? After hearing this, our Bai Qian freezes like a stone statue, not understanding what's going on. Killing two, dying three, assisting two, and you still act like you're expressing an opinion. Ma Yang, you're just a burden to the team, and yet you're mocking me. Ma Yang then devoured the bowl of noodles and said, I've really tried my best. This Ma Yang is a diligent and serious worker, but the achievements are lacking, gaming skills are subpar, not as tall as others, and if short, then extremely short. Then the group started climbing the ranks again, another round of matches. Tonight we have to go from bronze to silver. Bai Qian saw these guys playing like crap, so he didn't bother to play anymore. I think I'm getting sleepy now, I want to go to bed early, he said, falling onto the bed comfortably. Next he took out his phone and thought to himself, losing in the game, what's there to be sad about? After waiting for two weeks, $50,000 has reached his hands, feeling ecstatic like a turkey, he <laughs> he. Next, the thought of laptop, gaming rig, all kinds of fancy gadgets, this young man's imagination is too high appeared in his mind, transitioned to a guy named Guan Yu in a rented room. It turns out this guy is the one who creates those explosive videos on ridiculous games for views. The fanatic game of the famous master, nicknamed Kel Lao Sai. At this moment, he is extremely frustrated because no one cares about his explosive videos. The gaming trash videos this week are not gaining much attention. The click count is disappointingly low, indeed. This month, it seems like there won't be any advertising money coming in. So where's the money to take girls out? Feeling bored, he unexpectedly comes across a game made by our fellow by Kian, called Desert Lorenly Expressway. What kind of bizarre game is this? and it's only priced at $1. Its description is a simulated driving journey contemplating human life. Creepy, really creepy. Just when life is getting dull, well, let's see how a $1 game can make someone ponder about life, he <laughs> he. Words into action, the chubby guy immediately starts playing. The desert map is of poor quality, and the effects are like crap. The control feels stiff too. The sound is also pretty creepy. But for someone who has experienced countless trashy games, these are just the usual nuisances. Everything is nothing to talk about, but driving for so long and nothing changes. What's happening here? Driving for another 10 minutes and still nothing peculiar. Who am I? What am I doing like this? What does this game want from me? What on earth is happening? In addition to driving and turning the steering wheel through some curves, this game has nothing remarkable. 
Oh, hold on a second. Isn't this somewhat similar to my life? Just cruising along smoothly without any ups and downs. Playing for the whole session, suddenly, a voice behind him shouts, Stop for a moment. I need to cook instant noodles and then continue researching. What's this? Why can't I stop this peculiar game? Following that, he loses focus and crashes into the rock wall. Seeing this, he is so shocked that his eyes almost pop out, bitterly exclaiming, So I have to replay it? I've been driving for half an hour, and you're telling me to start over. You're a bit too much. Okay, fine. I found the flaw in this game. Wait until I finish eating, and I'll make an explosive video right away. Ha <laughs> ha. The next morning, our Bai Kian watched that chubby guy's explosive video immediately. The video detailed, An eight-hour driving journey where you must constantly look ahead because every few minutes there's a curve. If you don't turn in time, well, sorry, you lose and have to start over from the beginning. And the most miraculous thing that shook me the most is that the game's ending is just a line mocking me. Congratulations, you have successfully wasted eight hours of your life. Indeed, this is a game that makes people contemplate life. It has succeeded in making me reflect on many things. This game is truly amazing, you must play it. Below that, there are countless comments from the audience, always new and malicious, watching the entire journey without skipping. Now it seems that I am also starting to think about the meaning of life. Another person commented that they have already bought it. I believe that I can definitely find the meaning of life in the desert. Bo Show News comment is, Buy it now, buy it now. Not buying it means you're not a human. Then my comment stands out, just spending one dollar to contemplate life. Even the dumbest person finds it extremely reasonable. After watching, our Bai Kian holds his head in confusion. What kind of nonsense is this? Why is the game being praised instead of being roasted like those trash games? Moreover, there is such intense feedback, this is really absurd. Then he cleverly types on the keyboard clack clack to respond to some dang da game viewers. I am the creator of this game. I deliberately made a crappy game to make people detest it. Do not buy, it's not worth it at all. One audience member said, the author should not insult our intelligence, yet strangely I really like this game. At this moment, our Bai Kian is crying like a dog. Someone tell me their minds must be messed up for sure. Either they are crazy or I am going crazy. I create a trash game like that, and people are even making top review videos about it. The feedback is so enthusiastic. What is going on? While the youth is perplexed, the system has already announced the settlement. The profit sharing ratio is 100 to 1, and the details will be displayed right away. Information about the owner by Kian Height 1 and 78 sum. Weight 85 kilograms, age 19, Scorpio zodiac sign. Dang Da Company's current system capital is $125,463. The profit is $75,463. And the current personal assets are $153. Adding the owner's share of $754, the total personal assets amount to $907. After reading this, our Bai Kian is almost spitting blood. The solid $50,000 in hand has completely disappeared. It's really difficult, so he immediately calls for an emergency meeting in his mind, which is quite scary. I never expected that this trashy game would sell over $200,000. Excluding the interface percentage, the company has made a profit of over $70,000. Next, Bai Kian, sporting a pair of glasses, added, but based on the asset conversion rate, we only earn $700. Another Bai Kian raised his coffee cup and calmly stated, worrying about the past is meaningless. The current issue is, before the next settlement, how do we spend all the system capital? After hearing this, another Bai Kian slammed his hand on the table and suggested, should we find someone to help? The ensuing discussion was as lively as a fish market. Now let me suggest, we could find someone who has failed everywhere else to work for us. Yes, yes, we'll pay him a salary to reduce the capital. He spoke quite accurately. With someone like that, won't the bankruptcy rhythm increase rapidly? He <laughs> he. But the question is, who should we ask? A crafty by Kian responded, don't we have someone right next to us who is very suitable? Yes, his expertise is making dumbbells for the class. So far, what he has done is far from causing harm. He is the talent we need. No one else but Ma Yang. 
Ha 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 ha. Just mentioning him is enough to bring him in. Out of the blue, Mei Yang spoke up. I brought some food for you. Our Bai Qian grinned widely and immediately accepted the food. He then said, Thank you so much, Mei Yang. With you here, there's nothing we can't handle. You are my hope. Mei Yang, at this moment, froze like a statue, wondering if the guy had just finished breaking rocks or something. Is he crazy hungry or what, big brother? After a while, the two brothers decided to head to a nearby pub to have a few drinks and chat. Mai Yang was devouring his food with both hands, looking fierce, while Bai Qian was silently thinking, now I have a capital accumulation system of $300,000. Hiring an employee shouldn't be too much, right? Following that, Mai Yang, finding it strange, asked Bai Qian, why suddenly invite me to eat? Did you strike it rich or something? Hearing this, Bai Qian felt bored like a snake, holding his head and replied, Oh, right, right, I just made some money, and then I quietly checked the system board. The system had added $174,536 to his capital. His current capital was $300,000, and his personal assets were still $907. Mai Yang, not interested in life's affairs, continued to eat heartily, saying, Delicious! Grilled chicken wings are my favorite. Over here, our Bai Qian held a can of Coca-Cola, his heart aching as if cut, tears welling up. His poor mother had suffered for so long, and in the end, her personal assets amounted to only $900. He then calmed down and thought to himself. But after each settlement, the system capital seems to be a fixed figure. If it falls below this figure, the system will always supplement it. The next settlement is in a month. This time, I must figure out how to spend the entire $300,000. Just as he was contemplating, Mai Yang, who had just arrived, couldn't understand what he was thinking. He asked Bai Qian, Why aren't you eating? What's going on? Bai Qian replied, Recently, I've been working on a game by myself, but I lack manpower. Are you interested? Upon hearing this, Mai Yang was utterly horrified, making a game that costs a lot of money. How could he afford it? Bai Qian, now putting on an actor's demeanor, declared, Since it has come to this, I won't hide it anymore. Actually, I come from a wealthy family, and my family has given me $300,000. Is that enough? Mai Yang, upon hearing this, turned as pale as a lime. What's so much money? Bai Qian, secretly pleased, thought, Hey, he. He really believed it. Kids are easy to fool. Mai Yang then asked, So, do you excel in art? Do you know programming? Bai Qian coldly replied, I don't know anything, but so what? Spending money to buy online resources and hiring someone with expertise to do the work, wouldn't that be a solution? Mai Yang also chimed in, Bai Qian, but we don't know anything about game design. When the time comes, if the $300,000 goes down the drain, it will truly be your fault. Upon hearing this, Har Bai Qian felt bitter and thought to himself, damn it, unexpectedly, Mei Yang's conscience is my biggest obstacle. No, I can't believe it. I must deceive him somehow. Then he put on an arrogant air and said, Do you know the game Desert Lorenly Expressway? What a ridiculous game that has become popular recently, right? That game, what about it? Bai Qian cheerfully replied, I made it. Just as he took a sip of Coca-Cola, the young man immediately sprayed it all out, being wickedly sarcastic. So, you're the one who made that ridiculous game, by Kion. I didn't expect you to have such game design talent. If that game can become popular, you truly are a genius. Okay then, count me in. I'll take the risk with you. You know, I may not have any advantages, but I'm trustworthy. Now, I'm heading to the bookstore to buy some specialized books for research. Don't worry, I won't let you carry the burden alone. As he spoke, the young man ran off like the wind, leaving Bai Kian puzzled. Why is this guy acting so recklessly? Hold on, there's really no need to buy specialized books. Research? What's going on here? Mei Yang seems so serious. Could he truly possess the capability? Is he suitable for the team? A few hours later, the young man returned with an entire bookshelf, looking wickedly mischievous. Hey Bai Qian, I'm back, he said. Seeing this, Bai Qian stood frozen for a hundred seconds, not understanding what was going on. What's with all these books, seriously? Then Mai Yang slammed the pile of books down with a bang, proudly saying, I saw a discount, so I bought several dozen books right away. 
Bai Qian, after looking at them, widened his eyes and thought to himself, What on earth? You even thought about the possibility of getting neck and shoulder pain and going bald. But the biggest issue that programmers face is not these things, but sleep deprivation from overworking. Moreover, it's not even programming, yet on the outside, he's acting like this. Well, well, indeed, I didn't choose the wrong person. You are the right one. Upon hearing this, Mai Yang cheerfully responded, He he, that's good then. Begin reading from the advanced general programming book. Damn, the content is too much. It seems like I know every word, but putting them together, I don't know what it means. Bai Qian over here is thinking, seeing him buy this stack of books, saying it's useless is not right, but saying it has an effect is a crime. Next, he speaks up, Hey, my Yang, we're doing design, not coding. Moreover, nowadays, technology has advanced. The content in these books is outdated by half. Mai Yang, hearing this, gets angry, his face turning red. Oh my God, now I know why it's discounted. So how can the discounted books not be returned? Bai Qian responds, It's okay, just skim through these books. They still have some usefulness. Oh right, let the company pay for them. After hearing this, Mai Yang is ecstatic. Hey he, and getting paid too. That's great. I'll start reading the books right here. Saying that, the young man enthusiastically starts reading on the bed. But just five minutes later, he rolls over and falls asleep like a pig quite surprising. Seeing this, Bai Qian from our house slams his hand on the table, then follows it up with tears flowing like a river, thinking, quite impressive, quite impressive, a 100-point worthy attitude, but the capability is zero points. This is the employee I need the most, but it's a pity that I only know my Yang, a young talent like him. If there were a few more people, they'd likely go bankrupt quickly. Well, never mind. I'll move on to identify new items and figure out how to spend this $300,000. A while later, our Bai Qian held a bunch of colorful cards in his hand. Mai Yang, looking puzzled, asked, Ha, huh, do you want to make a card game? With a delighted face, Bai Qian responded, Exactly, we need to create a card game with the theme of Sango. I've already bought the game model on the resource page. Mai Yang, wearing a yellow shirt, climbed down from the bed and said, Bai Qian, do you really want to copy a game like Bao Sengo? I heard that there are many people making card games now. Moreover, the coverage of Sengo is widespread everywhere. Scrolling through the top 10 in the game rankings, there are at least five named Sengo. After hearing this, our Bai Qian was secretly pleased, thinking to himself, Hey, hey, I like to jump into the fray like that. If card games are hot, then I must make a card game. If Bao Sangu is trending, I'll make a Sangu themed one. Many works of the same type competing on one platform will surely make my work stand out in the crowd. This time, the loss is certain. Ha ha ha. Then he immediately called a meeting in his mind. Anyone who wanted to speak first, Bai Qian raised his hand with his glasses on, looking impressive. Okay, let's invite Bai Qian to express his views on the payment aspect, he said. Sangu is quite strict, significantly different from previous card games. That's why it's so popular. After hearing this, another Bai Qian, holding another cup of coffee, added, So let's sell our game for $10. After that, there's nothing special. They'll definitely curse it. Yes, we have to go against that approach, so that even the big spenders won't find a place to spend. Then the enthusiastic crowd shared their opinions in a lively manner. Absolutely right. We should price it at $10 to play. Yes, yes, even better. After buying the game, the store will only sell a permanent membership card for $30. With such a low recharge amount, it will be difficult for them to recharge even if they want. At this moment, the five by Kians imagined a scene. The five of them standing around a round table with joyful and mischievous expressions. Inside, players were cursing all over the place. Oh my god, why can't you buy anything in this shitty game? This game is really crap, my $10. It's so frustrating, come and refund my money. Then he immediately called a meeting in his mind. Anyone who wanted to speak first, Bai Qian raised his hand with his glasses on, looking impressive. Okay, let's invite Bai Qian to express his views on the payment aspect, he said. Sangu is quite strict, significantly different from previous card games. That's why it's so popular. After hearing this, another Bai Qian, 
holding another cup of coffee, added, so let's sell our game for $10. After that, there's nothing special. They'll definitely curse it. Yes, we have to go against that approach so that even the big spenders won't find a place to spend. Then the enthusiastic crowd shared their opinions in a lively manner. Absolutely right. We should price it at $10 to play. Yes, yes, even better. After buying the game, the store will only sell a permanent membership card for $30. With such a low recharge amount, it will be difficult for them to recharge even if they want. At this moment, the five by cans imagined the scene. The five of them standing around a round table with joyful and mischievous expressions. Inside, players were cursing all over the place. Oh my God, why can't you buy anything in this shitty game? This game is really crap, my $10. It's so frustrating, come and refund my money. After listening, the young man, Mai Yang, broke out in a cold sweat and responded, What? Character requirements? Is Bai Kian kidding? I've only seen Sam Go through movies, and there are many characters I haven't caught up with yet. If I mess up. Without finishing his sentence, Bai Kian slapped the young man on the shoulder cheerfully and said, No worries, I trust you. The images of our Sango characters need to be unique, innovative. Mei Yang, hearing this, reluctantly accepted and said, Okay, okay, I'll try my best. Bai Qian rubbed his chin thoughtfully and replied, Go for it, you can do it for sure. In his mind, he was secretly thinking, If he doesn't fully understand the Sango characters, I won't feel at ease entrusting this task to him. Hey, hey, ha 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 ha, just relax. The specific design will depend on the artist. Now, you just need to provide a direction, but remember, it should be as different and absurd as possible. Meanwhile, Mai Yang was in a state of complete panic, holding his head. Damn it, it's not working. I have no ideas at all. After a while, Mai Yang asked, Hey Bai Qian, can I turn Quan Yu into a dragon? Bai Qian immediately agreed, and after some time, Mai Yang said, Bai Qian, can I turn Ma Chao into a horse? Bai Qian, can I turn Ziu Shang into a dragon princess? Bai Qian, can I turn Lan Meng into a lowly? Really, I'm at a loss with this young man. But no matter how surprising his ideas may be, our Bai Qian still agrees without hesitation. Next, he silently thinks, Ha ha, I indeed did not make a mistake in choosing him. Ziu Shang as dragon princess, Lan Meng transformed into a lowly. Just thinking about it already feels absurd and nauseating. If the game Bao Sangu is currently popular and characters are in a chibi style, indicating that many people prefer the chibi style, then I must go for a realistic style, following the direction that makes people hate it. He <laughs> he. This artist named Ruan Guangjian seems decent, with representative works in the chibi style, probably not skilled in a realistic style. Okay, finalize the plan with a ridiculous approach, adding an inexperienced artist in realistic style. This way, without being cursed by the Sangu fans, let them come and watch, ha 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 ha. Adding a model with no innovation, charging $10 for the full game and $30 for a permanent membership card. A game as rubbish as this, anyone who plays it, I bow down to them, ha <laughs> ha. A few days later, in the Dongding University cafeteria, Bai Qian is attentively reading a report, while Mai Yang is reluctantly trying to eat without much appetite. In Bai Qian's mind at this moment, he secretly thinks, awesome, awesome, this is done very simply, it's like not even writing. In my opinion, just one word, nice. Surprisingly, he cheerfully speaks up, my buddy here is incredibly reliable. In return, I'm sure I couldn't come up with this. Aside from the name and some distinguishing features, it really has nothing in common with the three Sango characters. It's on a whole new level. After hearing this, the guy in the yellow shirt is truly amazed. Wow, that's so cool. But our Bai Qian has a daring idea. What if we turn all the Sango generals into females? That would be even more amazing. Hey, <laughs> hey. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian is immediately struck down. No, absolutely not. Mai Yang is frozen for a hundred seconds. Why not? You said you wanted a transformation. Bai Qian then, with a stern face, says that it would lose the uniqueness of the characters. While saying this in his heart, he secretly thinks, more importantly, this could actually become popular, and I might miss out on it. Then, he enthusiastically adds, 
your current plan is already fine. Ma Chao being half man, half horse, and Guan Yu as a dragon, it's easier to recognize. Upon hearing this, the young man was also convinced. So that's how it is, understood, understood. Then our Bai Qian beams brightly and says, Later on, back in the room, transfer these contents to the computer. Okay. I'll discuss it with the artist. At the same time, he's secretly thinking, Hey, ha, luckily, Mei Yang's mind is a bit simple and easy to manipulate. That noon at Mato Financial Economics University, in the dormitory of the Fine Arts Department, these three are the artists that our Bai Qian has contacted. The guy with long hair is named Ruan Guangjian, a fine art student at the Financial Economics University. His two friends standing behind him are extremely worried, asking how things are going. Then, as if responding to a customer's request, Guang John waves his hand, gesturing for them to move aside. I'm talking to a client, you guys back off a bit. For the next few months, whether we're feasting or struggling, it all depends on this. Then the bidding between young Ruan Guangjian and Bai Qian begins. A scene imagined to be grandiose like this one is always thrilling. Guangjian speaks up first, asking, How many pieces do you need? And are there any specific requirements? Bai Qian promptly responds, The artistic style doesn't need to be in a chibi version. Other than that, it's up to you. A total of 50 characters, each with a set of four original paintings, totaling 200 pages. After listening, the youth felt stunned, simultaneously pondering to himself, goodness gracious, all my representative works are chippy, yet the first thing he asked me for is a non-chippy version. Following that, Guangzhou responded, all right, the price for a set is $2,000, okay. I understand this might seem a bit high for a budding artist like myself, but rest assured, my craftsmanship is top-notch and my drawings are absolutely precise. Upon hearing this, our protagonist, Bai Qian, silently thought, a set for $2,000 means each page costs $500. So when will I ever spend all that money? No way, absolutely not. He then retorted, I find this price unreasonable. On this side, Guangzhou also presented his opinion. Truthfully, this is already the lowest price I've offered. Bai Qian then replied, because this time we require a completely transformative artistic style. Thus, the difficulty is quite high. Furthermore, our design team lacks understanding in the artistic aspect, making the requirements quite vague. Suddenly, he slammed his hand on the table, raising three fingers emphatically, and declared, considering the increased workload, from this standpoint, I find $3,000 per set quite reasonable. Upon hearing this, Ruan Guangzhan snapped the pen in his hand. I thought Bai Qian was just joking or something, speaking so illogically and now he's adding an extra 50% to the price I proposed. Is this some kind of legend? Then Bai Qian continued, This is the character description. You can take a look. Guangzhou looked at it and froze like a wooden pole, completely puzzled. This description from their side is too brief and absurd, making it incredibly challenging for me to draw. There's no clear standard at all. On the other side, our protagonist Bai Qian replied, no worries, I have full confidence in your skills. You can draw whatever you want when the time comes, absolutely no need for multiple revisions. You can keep this excerpt of mine as evidence, or if you feel necessary, we can write it into the contract. From one surprise to another, Guangzhou held his head in utter confusion. Well then, really no need for that. All right, let's just sign the electronic contract now. Bai Qian agreed immediately, and then he joyfully exclaimed, he -he all done. Meanwhile, the young man Mai Yang slept soundly like a pig, not caring about anything in life. Then Bai Qian began to silently think to himself, don't spend a single dollar on marketing, the less people know about this game, the better. Next, on buying sound effects, renting costumes, weapons and such, finally keeping $10,000 as a reserve for emergencies. Switching scenes to the artist Ruan Guangzhou, he was currently beckoning his group of colleagues. Hurry up, hurry up, call the others too. I've finished discussing the work. Then the young men looked at each other in utter surprise after seeing the offer. What's this? $3,000 for four pages? That's really lucrative. Indeed, indeed, as long as we pay, we can draw anything at this price. Even if they ask us to draw chibi, we'll agree. Guangzhou then spoke. 
This time, no chibi. The client specifically stated they don't want chibi versions. Other styles are acceptable. The red-haired youth listened in astonishment. Oh, I remember you advertised all your representative works as chibi, and now the client specifies no chibi? Is your brain flooded or something searching for you? Guangjian, now angry, retorted, Shut up. People can see, I hate drawing chibi the most. Now the Moby game is all about popular chibi characters, so I have to accept chibi commissions just for a living. All right, all right, our Bai Qian has encountered another master. This trip might not end in a loss after all. He <laughs> he. Then Ruan Guangjian continued to break into a new style of epic. But the most important aspect of an epic is character design, meaning the more distorted from human form, the better. After listening, one folded their arms and solemnly remarked, Ordinary Three Kingdoms games may not suit this style. Guangzhan responded, But in this description, three characters from the Three Kingdoms have been completely transformed to fit the epic tone. That's the second issue. Don't worry, I'll design and sketch the characters, you guys help me perfect them. Finally, I'll complete them, grasping the main direction, so the style won't be distorted. After understanding everything, let's shake hands and get to work. Regardless, since Partier is paying, let's give it a try. If this style isn't welcomed, even if we incur losses, it's Partier's responsibility. Guangzhan responded cheerfully. But if it becomes popular, who knows, we might even establish our own company after graduation. So we have to try our best to excel, he <laughs> he, all right, let's do this. We rely on the highest standards in our work, and we must exert all our efforts to reach the pinnacle of fame. The whole group agreed instantly. Then three weeks had passed. Our handsome and romantic artist, Ruan Guangzhan, looked like an 80-year-old man because he hadn't slept for 10 nights straight. With a disheartened expression and weary eyes, he said, Okay, the big task is completed. You all have worked hard, let's go have a late-night meal. But as he looked around, he found all his roommates were asleep like corpses. All right then, I'll treat these kids to a meal tomorrow at noon. After that, Guangzhan slowly walked to his computer and began texting our Bai Qian. At Bai Qian's dormitory, he received Guangzhan's message and was astonished. Fantastic, astonishingly efficient work. Completed right on time. Just unsure about the quality. Then he checked the system information board. The next accounting period had eight days left, and the system's capital had decreased by $291,208, leaving only $8,792. After watching, Bai Qian silently calculated that there were still over $8,000 left, with $3,000 reserved for paying Mei Yang's salary, which would have to wait until the end of the month to be sent, leaving $5,000. Before settling accounts, he had to spend it on the resource website to finalize something. After a while, the file sent by Ruan Guangzhan was finally downloaded. Okay, finally downloaded, don't make it too good looking for me, please. As soon as he opened it, what met his eyes was Quang Vu wielding a very cool looking axe, so stylishly villainous. Our Bai Qian froze for a hundred seconds. What's going on here? Am I seeing things? Or is someone joking with me? Each page is at this level. Is this really drawn by Ruan Guangjian? He has VIP works like this. Why does he keep using Chibi for all the representative works? This situation is too unstable. Bai Qian immediately summoned an emergency conference in his mind. I declare the second emergency conference begins. Seeing our grandfather now, it's too late to cancel. We have to launch the game in two days and tomorrow. If not, the system won't settle in the long run. Is there any rescue plan? Bai Qian, wearing glasses, responded, Everyone calm down, things aren't that bad yet. These styles may be considered fresh and unique, but it's not certain whether gamers will like them. Bai Qian, holding a cup of coffee, chimed in, That's right, moreover, our game still uses outdated models, with simplistic gameplay, and the other resources are not worth it, dull and tasteless. Another Bai Qian, wearing a different bow tie, also spoke up. Exactly, all the players haven't heard of this game yet, so how can they see the images in the game? Then the whole group started discussing enthusiastically, like a bustling marketplace. Exactly, don't try to dominate the search engines of any website, and the name shouldn't contain the term Sango. When submitting for approval, keep the game title and brief introduction simple, 
preferably vague enough that it's not entirely understood, and it will surely be fine. After a while, Na Yang in a yellow shirt came to see what Bai Qian was doing. What are you doing? Then he was utterly astonished. Wow, these are the original characters in our game, isn't it? Bro, this is awesome. Bai Qian replied, mainly because of your requirements, which have inspired the artists creatively. Ma Yang, feeling delighted, exclaimed, Wow, really? That's awesome. So I might have a talent for this area too, huh? Then Bai Qian added, Ma Yang, why don't you come and test the game for any bugs? If there aren't any, we'll prepare for release. Ma Yang obediently followed, Hey Bai Qian, I forgot to ask, what's the name of our game? Bai Qian replied, Di Jiang, a very ordinary card game. Switching scenes to Ruang Guangzhan's group, they were currently having a grand feast. Empty your glasses, try these lamb skewers, they're best when hot. Don't be shy, open up and drink. Tonight we're not going home sober. Suddenly, a bespectacled guy asked, Hey Guangzhan, which game are we making with these images, and when is it launching? Guangzhan scratched his head and replied, I think it's called Gi Zhang. As for the launch date, I haven't asked, so I don't know. Let me check on the EXO platform. Oh my, it's already launched. Didn't you assign the images this morning? They're already up in the afternoon. Then everyone rushed to see it immediately. They were all stunned, not understanding what was happening. What's going on? How did this game turn out like this? This is just a normal card game. This is beyond amazing. One person exclaimed, Holy shit. Desert Lorenly Expressway is also a game made by this guy, selling for $10, who's buying? Ruin Guanjian replied, I bought it. No matter what, I have to see the result of my labor. Next, a figure in white began to play around. He <laughs> he, just guided some newbies. Let's see if I can pull off a lucky draw. Ha, huh, got two cards in one draw. Am I really that lucky? Then the whole bunch was extremely surprised. Hold on, I also got two cards. Same here, I even managed to pull off three of these. Guanjian, at this point, was scratching his head in confusion. Is the game still in the testing phase? That's why the chance of getting rare cards is quite high. Suddenly, a bespectacled individual thrust their phone right into Guangzhan's face and exclaimed, Take a look at this. The game in the store only sells one lifetime card for $30. Furthermore, after purchasing, you also get one additional draw per day for 10 draws. Seems quite underwhelming, doesn't it? What about the VIP system? The Sangu game offers up to VIP 8, but this one doesn't. This game is rather peculiar, isn't it? Or should I inquire with CEO Bai? Perhaps there's some special intention behind it. It's also possible that this game is still not the official version. Then Guangzhan immediately messaged our CEO Bai Qian. Hey CEO Bai, I noticed that the game lacks a VIP level system, and the store only sells one type of item. Is it still in the testing phase? Haven't you released the official version yet? Our Bai Kian promptly replied, This is indeed the official version. The text exchange was imagined as a grandiose courtroom dialogue, ripe with intrigue. Guangzhan then inquired, What about the items in the store? Our Bai Kian replied, Our game only sells one lifetime card, and we don't plan to sell new products in the future. After hearing this, Guangzhan was utterly astonished. Ha, huh, why is that? Bai Qian replied coldly, there's no why. Our pricing strategy follows a buyout model, so how could we open too many transactions? Actually, we didn't intend to sell this $30 lifetime card at all. But upon careful consideration, some players might need it, so we added it. Guangzhan then furrowed his brows and asked, what about advertising? I noticed the download numbers for this game are quite low. Is it because you're not running ads? Our Bai Qian calmly replied, I'm not running ads. Why wouldn't I run ads? He then pretended to sigh before answering, because we don't have the money for it. This game's total investment is $300,000. Purchasing artistic resource models and music effects have already drained our budget. Upon hearing this, Guangzhan pondered silently, what's going on, CEO Bai? He stood up and exclaimed loudly, folks, I think the Jang needs us. 
You see, initially, I thought CEO buy was a tycoon, which is why I didn't pressure for a lower price and even accepted a reasonable one. Noticing the curiosity, the bespectacled individual asked, is this game being so generous because it's not meant to make money? Guangzhou tightened his grip and replied, it's not that it's not meant to make money. CEO buy advocates for clean practices and doesn't want to earn dirty money. Upon hearing this, the group buzzed with discussion. But no matter how clean the game is, without advertising, it can't gain traction. Should we do it ourselves? If we were popular streamers or famous YouTubers, of course we could, but we don't have that kind of influence. Unexpectedly, Ruan Guangzhou slammed his hand on the table decisively and said, CEO Bai's approach is too idealistic. Therefore, I must reciprocate this idealism. I have a group with a few renowned artists. I'll ask them to see if they can help brainstorm ideas. Switching scenes to Ma Yang and Bai Qian, Ma Yang was feeling as dejected as a cockroach. Why is our game turning out to be trash? No one pays attention to it. I see other people's games, and on the first day, they have thousands of downloads. But our game on the first day only has 10 downloads. Our Bai Qian gave a cheerful pat on the shoulder and said, no worries, it's normal for a new game to start off like this, it will gradually pick up. But deep down, the young man was thinking to himself, hey hey, don't even dream, this game truly lacks any hint of uniqueness, who would bother downloading it? After a while, Ma Yang opened his computer and said, let me check the data again, see if there's been any change in the past three hours. Meanwhile, our Bai Qian chuckled inwardly, Forget about three hours, even if it's three days or three months, nobody will pay attention to this game. Just need to hold on until the next settlement round, then we'll have $300,000 in hand, ha 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 ha. Just as he finished speaking, Mei Yang exclaimed loudly, Bai Qian, Bai Qian, it's happening, it's happening, our game's downloads are increasing, and there are lots of reviews, all five stars. The young man almost sprayed water everywhere, it's true that early boasting often doesn't lead to good results. What did you say? In disbelief, the young man went to check for himself and thought, well, would you look at that? The download count suddenly increased by thousands and all five-star reviews, no, it can't be. At this moment, our Bai Qian seemed to be having a stroke. Next, he fell to his knees in extreme agony, banging his head against the ground, exclaiming, help me, help me. What's happened to this world? What's the real issue here? Immediately, Mai Yang rushed over, calling out to him, Bai Qian, Bai Qian, what's wrong? I know you put so much effort into this game, and now you're finally feeling the bitter end. It must be incredibly distressing, but don't get too carried away. It's not good for your healthy. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian couldn't help but muster a smile that couldn't be more forced, saying, Hey, hey, that's right, we've succeeded. Meanwhile, deep inside, the young man thought to himself, am I really excited about this? Desperation seems more accurate. After a moment, he calmed down and pondered, well, if we failed this time, we failed. But I want to make it clear, what exactly led to this failure? Mm, wait, most of the comments seem to mention visuals, indicating that players are drawn to visuals. But how can they see them? Could it be? At this moment, our Bai Qian tried to search for answers. Oh, who's behind this? Who's so skilled? This led many big shots in the industry to promote Bi Jiang, and he suddenly realized that it was Ruan Guangjian. I can't believe the issue lies with that name. But why would you bother advertising instead of me? Are you full and just looking for trouble? Bai Qian immediately texted, Are you advertising Bi Jiang on Instagram? Guangjian replied, Yes, I found a few artist friends to help with promotion. I see you've created a very clean game. It shouldn't go unnoticed. The total capital invested is $300,000, all of which has been used for game development. My other artist friends have also been inspired by your dedication. Moreover, the game is truly polished, of decent quality, and my artwork has received no criticism. That's why we've received such positive feedback. I've only done a small favor. After reading the message, Bai Qian seemed angry but he couldn't help but reply, well then, I really appreciate it. Guangzhou continued, CEO Bai, keep going. I believe you'll release even better games in the future. Hopefully, we'll have the opportunity to collaborate further. 
Fast forward to a week later on accounting day. Thy Kian stood by the balcony contemplating life. Suddenly, the system announced that the current capital was $514,723, with current profits at $214,723. At the conversion rate of 100 to 1, the amount the host received was $2,147, and personal assets now amounted to $2,371. After watching, Bai Kian sighed deeply, feeling extremely despondent. In just one week, Gu Jiang's income has reached around 500,000, meaning the transactions have amounted to 1 million. The game has not only recovered its capital within a week, but also earned over 200,000. But my personal assets are only 2,000, how can I handle this? The young man barely finished his thoughts before bursting into tears, feeling overwhelmed by the reality. Earning 500,000 in the first week, it's likely to earn even more in the next. If I stick to this plan for three months, the income in three months will exceed six million. Renting a luxurious office for 400,000 a month, hiring 30 more employees for 200,000 a month, and office supplies would probably cost around one million. It's quite a hassle. Finding an office, hiring staff, buying company supplies, I've never done these things. Lost in thought, he was suddenly interrupted by a hand patting his shoulder, revealing none other than Mang Yang, the cute and mischievous one. By Kian, by Kian, the game is so hot right now. Can we go out for a lavish meal to celebrate? By Kian responded promptly, Sure, let's go. In his heart, he was also silently thinking, I already agreed with him before that if we make money, I have to treat him to a buffet. Ma Yang continued to inquire, Hey, Bai Kian, the game is successful now. Why do you seem not happy? Bai Kian, upon hearing this, smiled faintly and replied, Oh, it's nothing. Just been busy with game development these days, feeling a bit tired, need to take a break. At this point, Ma Yang nudged his shoulders and said, Regardless of the situation, you're the owner of a company now. Why aren't you paying attention to your health? You can't do everything by yourself. Hire an assistant, delegate tasks to her. Bai Qian also had an epiphany. Hire an assistant, huh? Mai Yang continued, Exactly. I've seen it in many movies. The arrogant CEO drives his fancy car every day to flirt around, leaving all company matters to the assistant. There's an old saying, if you have a secretary, you have no worries. Bai Kian, upon hearing this, immediately brightened up, you're right, I should hire an assistant. At the same time, he thought to himself, hire an assistant to help me spend money, haha. <laughs> then he placed his hand on Mei Yang's shoulder playfully and said, hey, you're a genius. I really need an assistant, moreover, a professional one who can handle everything. In his heart, he was strongly thinking to himself, with such an assistant, renting an office, hiring staff, buying supplies, all the spending tasks, wouldn't they have someone to help me with them? Hey, hey. True to his words, he headed straight to Jingzhou City, the service center of Renli Ziyuan Group in Gansu Province. Immediately, a person in a suit welcomed him and said, Hello, CEO Bai. I'm the general manager of Renli Ziyuan Group in Gansu Province, Handong area. It's my pleasure to serve you. You can call me Lauren. Bai Qian warmly shook hands and replied, Hello, Director Lauren. This time, I've come to recruit an assistant. Director Lauren nodded and asked, Do you have any specific requirements? Bai Qian replied succinctly with four words, the highest bidder. Upon hearing this, the director immediately placed a stack of resumes in front of him, saying, These candidates are all top-notch assistant talents in Handong province. Our headhunter has already spoken with them ensuring that they are extremely open-minded in both communication, handling tasks, and dealing with people. After reading for a while, Thai Kian found something odd and asked, This Tan Hai Lu, she used to be the assistant vice president of a reputable company. Why did she resign? It's not written in her application. Director Lauren hesitated and then replied, Ah, perhaps CEO Bai doesn't often read the news. Finding it strange, he asked again, What news? This vice president got drunk with ill intentions, unexpectedly encountering such a situation. As a result, he was fired, and the assistant Tan took the initiative to resign. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian was extremely surprised, admiring the fortitude of women. Then choose her, but I have a request. 
Director Lauren replied, Just tell me, any request can be negotiated. Our Bai Kian then said, As long as when I ask for her opinion, she is allowed to make suggestions, but in other cases, no matter what happens, she must remain silent and not ask too much. After hearing this, Director Lauren chuckled and replied, Of course, these are the basic qualities of an executive assistant. On the second day of the following three days, at a towering skyscraper, suddenly a car arrived, stopped abruptly, with a grand final that made everyone stand by wide-eyed. Suddenly, a beautiful girl with an extremely graceful figure stepped out. She was our Bai Kian's executive assistant, named Tan Hai Lu, with a monthly salary of $30,000. She stepped out with utmost professionalism and elegance, opening the door for Bai Kian, saying, We've arrived. He stepped out of the car, looking up at the building, silently musing, Shen Hua Hao Jing, the most expensive and luxurious office building in Changing Zhou. Here we are. Next, the two entered the elevator, going up to negotiate with the real estate agent. Then, a man in a crisp white shirt enthusiastically said to him, If CEO Bai wants to rent an entire floor without sharing with other companies, you can consider the 17th floor. The view from up there is breathtaking. Would you like me to show you around? Our Bai Kian glanced over and replied, OK, the scenery is indeed beautiful. The real estate agent, pleased, added, if it's a newly established company, the government offers incentives. Shen Hua Hao Jing can allow you to pay half up front and the rest at the end of the month. Bai Qian then asked, how much is the price? The agent slowly raised four fingers and said, it's only $4 per square meter. This price might be slightly higher in changing Zhou, but you get what you pay for. Choosing to rent from us is definitely beneficial for making a good first impression for your company. Surprisingly, Bai Qian exclaimed, Only $4? So cheap? The real estate agent was startled by Bai Qian's reaction. At the same time, he thought to himself, This floor is about 3,000 square meters at $4 per square meter, which means it will cost $450,000 per month. The real estate agent on this side is scratching his head, not understanding what's going on. He continued his thoughts. This young master of a wealthy family dresses quite simply, and he even has a secretary like Tan Hai Lu, who's quite attractive. Then our Bai Qian sighed inwardly, I didn't expect it to be $1 less than my estimate, leaving a surplus of $90,000 every month. Next, the real estate agent asked CEO Bai, So, are you satisfied with the environment here? Bai Qian put his hand in his pocket and replied, I'll rent this floor. He was also thinking in his head, so how much can be spent, considering that Gi Jiang is working hard to make money every day? After hearing this, the real estate agent eagerly said, Great, great, I'll prepare the contract right away. A while later, Bai Qian started pointing and speaking to the beautiful manager. A good working environment can improve productivity and enhance our company's image. The desks must be expensive, not just expensive, but also grand. The computers must be top, and the keyboards and mice must be high-end. We need two monitors per workstation. In this digital age, especially as a game company, computers are our primary production tool. We also need some plants. Working can be tiring, so looking at plants can help relax the mind. Greenery requires care, so we should hire a professional to tend to them. I think the space over there is suitable for a small gym. The gaming industry can lead to many health issues, so regular exercise is essential for good performance. The reception area should have sofas and tea drinks. It's best to have a premium tea set with a variety of high-quality teas, maybe seven or eight types. In case of negotiations, we should have something to offer. The manager Tan on this side widened her eyes in surprise. Yes, CEO Bai, I'll arrange everything for you right away. May I ask, what is the maximum budget the boss can accept? He hesitated before replying, between 500,000 to around 800,000 dong, preferably 800,000. At the same time, he was thinking to himself, okay, good. The system isn't objecting or warning, which means the figure of 800,000 doesn't violate any regulations. The deposit is 700,000 for one month, and the office will cost 800,000. In the blink of an eye, I've spent 1 million, 500,000 already, quite a lot, he <laughs> After instructing his assistant on what to purchase, 
He then went to the city's most exclusive fashion boutique, buy himself a watch, a suit, designer leather shoes, and all sorts of luxury items. Our Bai Kian now looked as handsome as a male god, just like that. The assistant standing beside him heard this and said, Rishia is a high-end brand from Italy, with over 100 years of history, renowned for its flawless perfection and custom tailoring. If the boss is not satisfied, I can find some even higher, but if custom tailoring is needed, it may take a lot of time. Upon hearing this, our Bai Kian happily exclaimed, All right, just tailor them all for me. Then she gestured towards the beautiful saleswoman and added, including the suits the boss will be wearing, there will be a total of three sets. The first set is quite formal, suitable for special occasions, such as business meetings with other bosses or award ceremonies. The other two sets lean towards everyday wear, but are still very appropriate. After hearing this, he also agreed. At the same time, he felt gleeful inside, thinking, hey, the system didn't warn me about this money so it's free to spend. Then the beautiful manager Tan said to the saleswoman, so take two sets of each type, tailored for different occasions, and you can start taking measurements now. Hurry up. The saleswoman agreed to comply, and then our Bai Kian went over to let her take measurements for his suits, while at the same time, he was thinking to himself, two sets of each type? That's quite an expense. Assistant Tan then added, the boss is busy, so when you return, I'll purchase some everyday items for you to wear, no need for the boss to personally select them. Bai Kian replied, that's very considerate of you. Then he looked into the mirror, smiling to himself and thought, look at this, that's called professionalism, ha <laughs> ha. A while later, the two of them drove back home. On the way, the beautiful assistant Tan turned to him and said, here's the shopping list we discussed last time, please take a look, boss. A large bonsai tree priced at $988, 10 lucky bamboo plants at $188 each, a luxury sofa set for $60,000, a handmade tea set for $22,000, a natural stone tea tray for $13,000, along with tea leaves, a high-end desk, a streaming chair, a high-end PC set with two new monitors, and 30 sets of keyboards, totaling $600,000. The young man felt a bit overwhelmed reading through the list, but he only focused on the final figure for the sake of simplicity. The most expensive thing is of no importance. At the same time, the beautiful assistant remarked, all the products are authentic, purchased at the lowest internal price, without any expense to the company. A while later, they arrived at a building resembling a royal palace. She then said, CEO Bai, we have arrived. This is the house with one living room and two bedrooms, located near the school as the boss had instructed before. Inside, there's a key card and a key, which he promptly took. At the same time, he was thinking to himself, indeed, the system didn't warn about this. Buying clothes, renting a house, they don't seem directly related to the company, but they do affect the image of a boss. Then she gently added, so, take some rest, boss, the new items will be delivered to your place within the next few days. Our Bai Kian replied, all right, understood. Starting from next week, I'll be interviewing candidates in the small meeting room, so please have Assistant Tan prepare the materials for me. Upon hearing this, she responded with a twinkling smile, of course, that's part of my job. A while later, Assistant Tan also drove back. Our Bai Kian walked away, pondering silently, buying things, renting a house, all sorted. Next, I should think about who to hire, can't be too clever, it might mess up my plans, can't be too naive either. The game still needs to be played, or else the system's requirements won't be met. Just posting job listings online might attract only unreliable candidates, but I shouldn't exaggerate on the job postings. Suddenly he remembered, right, back in college, besides Ma Yang, there was another talented individual. A while later, our Bai Kian arrived at a familiar place. He looked around and thought to himself, in the first year of college, he used to spend every day at the internet cafe, never returning to the dorm, nor changing clothes. Even in the summer, when others wore shorts and t-shirts, he still wore a sweater and long pants. Then he stepped inside and looked around. In the second year, due to too many failed courses, the school advised him to take a break. But he made a living by boosting ranks and selling items in the internet cafe for an extra two, three years. 
Suddenly, he exclaimed excitedly, Aha! Found him! It turned out that the person our Bai Kian was looking for was this chubby, disheveled-haired gaming addict. At the same time, our Bai Kian walked up, thinking to himself, the nickname people often call him is Kandi Cheoji Baoksu. Then he unexpectedly called out to him, Baoksu, Baoksu, can you pause for a moment? The young man, upon hearing this, took off his headphones in utter surprise. You're looking for me. Then he began to ponder, there's a job at my place, would you be interested? Meanwhile, our Bai Kian was silently musing, someone seasoned in gaming like him, even if we have to pay a bit more, the system should handle it, but knowing how to play a game doesn't necessarily mean knowing how to make one, there's a good chance he might not be flexible enough and mess things up. Hehe. <laughs> After hearing this, Balk Su put on an indifferent expression and responded, Administrator, huh? Not interested. As soon as he finished speaking, our Bai Kian slammed a thick stack of bills onto the table. At the same time, he said, Not an administrator, but a designer. If you accept this offer, not only will you receive upfront payment, but the company will also provide you with the most high-end PC setup with two display screens, so you can indulge in gaming to your heart's content. The young man, upon hearing this, was utterly shocked and exclaimed, What? Are you really not fooling me? So what exactly is my job? Our Bai Kian replied gently, playing games, experiencing different games apart from ours, and promptly reporting any issues you encounter. Of course, you can also participate in the design work and offer suggestions. I believe you're fully capable of handling this position, right? After hearing this, Baok Su lowered his head in contemplation and hesitantly replied, I agree, I'll consider it. Seeing that the bait had been taken, our Bai Kian stood up, placed his hand on Baok Su's shoulder, and said, So now what you need to do is take this $500, though clean up, get a haircut, and buy yourself a decent outfit. Then he stepped outside, looking sharp, and added, Our company is located in Shen Hua Hao Jing. As for when you'll start working, I'll give you a call. Just be ready when that time comes. Upon hearing this, young Bao Xu took the stack of money, tears of gratitude welling up in his eyes. He then lowered his head onto the table, crying with emotion, Ah hoo hoo, finally someone recognizes me. Oh well, looks like our Bai Kian has done it again, and this young Bao Xu doesn't seem quite stable, huh? The next morning, a blonde-haired young man looked up at Bai Kian's company building and said, So, the Dangda Company, which produced the games Desert Lorenli Expressway and Di Jiang, is located in Shen Hua Hao Jing, huh? His name was Huang Ziba, a game-planning executive with a monthly salary of $1,500. Then he entered the building. Later on, he pressed the elevator button to Bai Kian's company floor. Surprisingly, as soon as the elevator doors opened, he spotted a familiar face. It was the game planning manager, Lao Liu, with a monthly salary of $7,000. Seeing this, the blonde-haired young man widened his eyes in surprise. Lao Liu, why is he here? Then Ziba with the blonde hair smiled faintly, extending his hand in greeting, ah he he. Liu Jia, good morning to you. The standards here are very high, there's no way you can get in. I'm leaving now, you should head home and get some rest, all right? Zaiba's face turned as dark as coal upon hearing this, his mouth gaping in utter shock. Holy shit, I didn't expect Lao Lu to be here for an interview. Could the requirements here really be that high? Then he stepped into the elevator, thinking to himself, that expression from Lao Liu must not be taken seriously. If even he can't get in, then I've lost all hope. But since I'm already here, might as well give it a try before heading back. Next, Huang Ziba approached the reception desk, where two beautiful red-clad receptionists greeted him. Hello, are you here for an interview? Feeling flustered by the sight of the two attractive ladies, he scratched his head awkwardly. Um, yes, I'm here for an interview. My name is Huang Ziba. Simultaneously, he thought to himself, Holy shit, the reception desk has another pair of gorgeous twin sisters. At this moment, the two receptionists, equally lovely and poised, replied, Please wait a moment, I'll inform the interviewer right away. Please follow me. Then Huang Ziba was led to the office of the CEO, Bai Qian, and as he looked around the company's office, his eyes widened, Wow, everything here is top-notch. The most expensive computers, 
branded supplies, the office is as spacious as a golf course. The receptionist gently knocked on the door and sweetly said, Excuse me, CEO Bai, I brought the interviewee. He replied promptly, Okay, come in. As the door opened unexpectedly, our protagonist, Bai Qian, was sitting inside looking extremely handsome and imposing. He warmly greeted, You must be Huang Ziba, please have a seat. I am the CEO of limited liability company Deng Da. Huang Ziba, feeling a bit flustered, slowly took a seat and responded, Yes, hello CEO Bai. Then Bai Qian immediately poured a fragrant cup of tea, saying, Make yourself comfortable, let's have a chat. Please have some tea. Zeba, with blonde hair, graciously accepted, Thank you, CEO Bai. Simultaneously, he thought to himself, Oh shit, he's for real. This CEO Bai is a big shot. At this point, Bai Qian began to speak, Briefly talk about your work experience. Ziba replied, Previously, I worked at the Shang Yang game. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian smiled gently, sensing something strange. Ziba secretly thought, Oh no, CEO Bai is smiling, but why? Is he laughing at my lack of experience? Daring to come for an interview with this level of expertise? As someone relatively new to the industry, it seems like I've been harboring unrealistic dreams. Surprisingly, Bai Qian exclaimed, Excellent, excellent. Young Huang Ziba on this side also gaped in astonishment, not understanding what was happening at all. Suddenly, Bai Qian pointed straight at Ziba and said, Your qualifications are very suitable for our company's requirements. May I ask when you can start working? The young man's eyes widened in disbelief, thinking he must be dreaming or something. Um, um, that, tomorrow, sir. Then Bai Qian chuckled happily, All right, that's great. Remember to bring your resignation procedures here tomorrow and we'll sign the official employment contract. Regarding salary and benefits, do you have any proposals? Huang Ziba, now feeling as shy as an 18-year-old girl, replied, Um, would $2,000 per month be acceptable? Simultaneously, he thought to himself, I already have six months of experience and my previous salary was $1,500. Increasing by $500 shouldn't be unreasonable, right? Then our Bai Qian sighed deeply and then even placed a hand on his forehead in great distress. Seeing this, Ziba with blonde hair widened his eyes in regret. What's going on? Did I ask for too much? Keeping the same salary as before would have been fine. Why did I foolishly negotiate like that? Surprisingly, our CEO Bai raised his hand and said, Renting a house in Jingzhou for $1,000 a month doesn't seem too high, does it? Spending $800 a month on daily meals and entertaining guests doesn't seem excessive, right? Then Bai Qian sat down confidently and continued, Spending $300 a month on two to three new sets of clothes seems reasonable, doesn't it? Electricity, water, and monthly living expenses add another $200. If we budget $300 a month for Lunar New Year gifts like lipstick and makeup for your girlfriend, and also set aside $100 for transportation each month, we should aim to save $500. That's being prudent, isn't it? We should embrace the national movement. Pre-tax insurance payments for a year should be at least $3,500 to ensure a basic standard of living. However, our company has pledged to provide salaries and benefits to employees higher than the industry average. Zeba, upon hearing this, was thunderstruck, standing still for a hundred seconds. Furthermore, Bai Qian confidently raised four fingers and said, Do you think $4,000 a month is feasible? After hearing this, the young man's eyes widened in disbelief. He was silently thinking, Holy shit, is this some kind of joke? Do all wealthy people think so differently? After that, Zeba hesitantly scratched his head and replied, Um, yes, sure. Then the two shook hands warmly. Bai Qian added, Well then, make that decision happily. Dang De Network Technology Company welcomes you aboard. On this side, Huang Ziba gratefully thanked him again, feeling a bit flustered, and walked out with trembling legs, utterly shocked. He then closed the door behind him. Meanwhile, Bai Qian on this side took out a pen to sign some documents, only to find the name Lao Lu, whom he despised, and immediately dismissed him. As for the recent graduate, Huang Ziba, he was accepted immediately without much thought. Now he joyfully exclaimed, Great, 
great, with this, big things are sure to come, he <laughs> he. Outside the office, the two receptionists were frozen like statues. It turned out that the reason was the dozen or so employees from Bai Kian's company were busy playing a game and swearing at each other. One of them looked over to Bao Xu and said, You're good, let's be friends. Bao Xu replied, Sure thing, my ID is Bao Xu. Feel free to add me right away. Seeing this, Mei Yang promptly went to Bai Kian's room and asked, Hey Bai Kian, can I come in? Bai Kian, comfortably sitting on the sofa playing Wild Rift, replied, Sure, come in and have some tea with me. Ma Yang then held up a cup of tea and said, You really understand your employees well, Bai Kian. I see the staff outside are about to reach full capacity. Hiring seems to be a breeze for you. Bai Kian handed Ma Yang a stack of documents, saying, It's okay, take a look. These are their CVs. Mai Yang read through them, his expression turning increasingly dumbfounded. Furthermore, his face darkened, his eyes bulging with disbelief. It seemed like most of these people had little to no experience or achievements. Is it really so difficult to find competent designers like Bai Qian? Or should we increase the budget or seek assistance in recruiting? After hearing this, Bai Qian immediately adopted a cold, aloof demeanor and said, No, actually, there were designers who came to apply but I've rejected them all. Mai Yang, now with his mouth agape in astonishment, exclaimed, Ha! Huh? Why is that? Bai Qian then turned to face the glass door, raising his hand in a dismissive gesture, and said, Firstly, these designers all have a serious issue. They are rigid in their thinking and can't entertain new ideas. Secondly, they demand exorbitant prices, but the quality-price ratio is way off. Mai Yang, now fully convinced, responded, Ah, I see. Bai Qian continued, Lastly, and most importantly, it seems they have lost all passion for gaming. Perplexed, Mai Yang scratched his head and asked, But without them, who will be in charge of the game design? Upon hearing this, Bai Qian sighed deeply, then confidently declared, That would be me, but you're the boss, aren't you? Surely you wouldn't mind having a designer to assist. Bai Qian replied, there is already someone assisting. This guy named Huang Ziba seems quite competent. Finding a chief designer is like knowing at a glance whether your design solution is problematic. After hearing this, Mei Yang asked Huang Ziba, is it okay to have half a year of experience solely in operational planning? Then Bai Qian clapped his hands and replied, you don't need to look at the title, just see what he has done. He has mostly crafted original game systems through cloud editing. He has adjusted the game's data sheet seven or eight times. Is that operational planning? Clearly, he's more than just an assistant to the chief designer. Upon hearing this, young Mai Yang's eyes sparkled with delight. Then he truly is a talent. Judging by the current standard designer salary, paying him 4,000 a month might be a bit low. Seeing how easily influenced this young man was, Bai Qian secretly rejoiced and continued, I also think so, but there's no rush perform well, and the salary will increase. Moreover, others are also very talented. Take Bao Xu, for example. He ranks first in the whole tribe in the virtual world game. He already has six titles based solely on achievements. As for leading the team to kill beasts, it's like a daily routine for him. Just think, he can leave 40 people to kill a boss. Isn't it great to have him in charge of the project's progress? Ma Yang eagerly responded, Talent, talent, it's all about talent. Bai Qian asked, when shall we begin working? And promptly answered, choosing a good day is not as good as meeting a good day, let's start from tomorrow. A moment later, Bai Qian stepped out of the office and startled everyone with his announcement. Everyone, please pause your work for a moment, I have an important announcement to make. All the employees immediately gathered to listen to him, and then he began his announcement. After the preparation period, most of you are probably in the working state, so starting from tomorrow, we will officially commence operations. Upon hearing this, everyone applauded joyfully and agreed with bright smiles. It's here, finally here, we're about to enter the explosive research phase. At this moment, Wang Ziba muttered to himself, onward to work, let's push ourselves forward, in an excellent working environment, with perfect remuneration and an employer who recognizes our potential, why wait? Let's give it our all. Come on, let's weigh everything.
As he spoke, the young man burst into tears, and Bai Qian decided, all right, to celebrate the official start of work tomorrow, let's call it a day for now. Everyone can head home. Huang Ziba froze as if struck by lightning after hearing this. Am I hearing correctly? Then Bai Qian continued, today is Friday, let's finish work early. Tomorrow and the day after are the weekend, and Monday, oh, Monday is singles day, so we need to take that off too. Checking the clock nearby, Huang Ziba was utterly astonished. Heavens, it's only 3 p.m. and we're already finishing work. Fast forward to Monday evening the following week at Bai Qian's house. He was lying on the sofa, deep in thought. Tomorrow officially kicks off. This time, what kind of game should we make to ensure success? Instantly, he summoned a mental conference, envisioning who would speak first. Without delay, Bai Qian raised his hand, let me go first. He then added with a hint of frustration, uh, let's hear from Mr. Bai Qian with glasses. The challenge this time is that we need to choose a wrong direction, but without letting the employees know that it's intentional. Holding a coffee cup, Bai Qian further remarked, with smart devices becoming increasingly prevalent, the mobile gaming sector is trending. At the very least, we can't afford to touch mobile games anymore. Bai Qian picked up his gaming device and spoke up. How about we make a PC game, something like a virtual world disruptor? Bai Qian with glasses replied, A PC game, huh? Not ideal, it's a bit risky. If we accidentally create a hit like Minecraft, we'll be in trouble. Bai Qian slammed his coffee cup on the table with a damp thud. How about a shooter genre? Right, moreover, shooters are quite successful in the market right now. Bai Qian with glasses raised his hand in agreement. Exactly that genre requires high craftsmanship. Our staff definitely won't be able to handle it. The whole group unanimously raised their hands in approval. Diving headfirst is surely a surefire way to fail. With some peculiar modifications during the research process, it's bound to be a flop, ensuring a clean loss, heh <laughs> heh. That's right, let's proceed quickly. Fast forward to Tuesday morning, November 12th, Bai Qian called all the company employees for a roundtable meeting. All eyes were eagerly fixed on him, awaiting his words. Bai Qian began with a loud voice. The next item on our agenda is to develop a PC game, a first-person shooter, FPS style. After hearing this, Huang Ziba's face turned as green as a lime. Is that so? Li Jiang has been so successful, and now the new project is a PC game, and it's a first-person shooter too. Just as our Huang Ziba was about to speak up, Bai Qian immediately intervened. We're not doing mobile game projects. Dang Da's goal is to be the game kingpin. We can't let those small mobile game projects overshadow our vision. Being wealthy is not Dang Da's or my style. Then he raised his hand and declared in a terrifyingly loud voice, if we're not doing it, let's forget about it. But if we're doing it, we must excel. The whole staff enthusiastically applauded, deafening everyone's ears, while Huang Ziba secretly thought, holy shit, CEO Bai is indeed different. His vision is beyond compare. Next, Bai Qian sternly pointed to the left and said, for this first project, Huang Ziba and Bao Xu will be in charge. Bao Xu will handle the conceptual design ideas, while Huang Ziba will oversee the strategic direction and execution. Upon hearing this, the blonde-haired Huang Ziba was extremely astonished. What? From a strategic executor to a strategic overseer, in a flash, I've jumped over five to six years of experience. Unbelievable. Then Bai Qian raised three fingers and continued, As for this game, I have three requirements. Firstly, it must have sufficient plot complexity. It shouldn't just be about player versus player combat. It needs depth and substance. Secondly, we need to be very mindful of the player's experience. Simpler games are better. Finally, we need epic weaponry, priced at $888 to create a limit. You guys can figure out how many to sell, anything else. At this point, Huang Ziba was about to raise his hand to speak. CEO Bai, I have a suggestion. However, Bai Qian didn't even bother to acknowledge him. Typical. No one else has anything to say. Excellent, excellent. Then everyone clapped enthusiastically, but their faces were extremely stiff. Inwardly, they were all thinking, the boss doesn't even give us a chance to speak up. Then Bai Qian stood up from his chair and said, all right, the planning team has one week to come up with a design plan. 
Bao Xu, you're in charge of ideas and direction. Wang Ziba, you'll detail the plan and task allocation. Mai Yang, for now, just focus on learning from others and do your best to assist. Mai Yang exclaimed, Got it, got it, I understand. Then our Bai Qian raised his hand coldly, took a stern step forward, and added, If there are any issues, just inform me, especially regarding finances. Don't hesitate, let's adjourn. Simultaneously, he inwardly plotted, FPS games are different from others. Plot complexity is crucial, more decisions with less impact, the end result can only be wasted effort. Ha <laughs> ha. And then there's the concern for newbies, lowering the game's difficulty might lead to dissatisfaction among passionate players of this genre. Moreover, the exorbitantly priced weapons at $888 especially now that there's already the popular FPS game CSGO. Just looking at it, they've already created a captivating gameplay experience, scoring 100 points. Making an FPS game that can't compete with CSGO, spending so much time just to create a plot complexity that won't amount to anything, selling weapons at sky-high prices, a project where nobody has experience in FPS games. If this game passes the trial, it's more than okay, this time, it's my turn to make a profit, ha <laughs> ha. That evening at the company office, Huang Ziba was still working and quietly contemplating to excel in the role of a strategic overseer, even if CEO Bai says overtime will be deducted from my salary, I must still do it. To everyone's surprise, Balak So stepped forward and presented a plan that looked like a mountain. Mr. Huang, I've roughly figured out the preliminary plan. Seeing this, Huang Ziba was taken aback. At this moment, he pulled out a chair for the young Bao Xu to sit and said, Please, Mr. Bao, have a seat before you continue. Bao Xu promptly sat down and explained, The next two requirements from CEO Bai are relatively easy to fulfill. The challenge lies in the first one, which is the plot complexity. We can't achieve perfection like foreign FBS games, regardless of character design, animations, or backgrounds, it's all difficult to attain. Huang Ziba nodded in agreement, that's right, I also think so. Bao Tzu continued, CEO Bai is good at spending little and gaining much. I believe this is the challenge he's presenting to us. Characters, settings, plot progression, they all need to be as economical as possible. Firstly, concerning characters, since the game uses a first-person perspective, we can reduce the complexity of the main character. We can allow players to choose between fighting zombies or mercenaries. By modifying the standard model accordingly, we ensure a variety of monsters, and that should suffice. After listening, the contemplative Huang Ziba with his blonde hair responded, Mmm, I understand, but I'm afraid if we only have zombies and mercenaries, it won't add much depth to the plot. We should still incorporate other roles. Bao Xu then presented a plan that looked like a forest of papers and replied, we only need one character, a girl, specifically, I intend to make her unable to speak. Young Huang Ziba looked at the plan in disbelief, a mute character. Bao Xu calmly confirmed, exactly, it's the most reasonable choice. Otherwise, we have to find a voice actor, and it would involve additional lip-sensing work, which is quite a lot. All we need are gestures, expressions, and movements. This girl is like a beacon in the darkness capable of regulating players' emotions. Players won't be completely absorbed in the monotonous task of fighting zombies and mercenaries. Instead, she can help solve some puzzles, such as when the main entrance is blocked and there's a vent nearby, she can climb through to assist the main character in opening the door. Huang Ziba also agreed at this point. That's fine, but how should the story context be set up? It seems like you're designing a major base on the sea. Bao Xu then crossed his arms coldly and said, Mm, this is the scene for the game I came up with. Some sinister company is conducting a virus experiment, and the main character must kill from the lowest level to the highest level of the base and escape. So the game scene is confined to the rooms of the base and the corridors, with some scenes on the walls and floors marked with traces of various viruses. Some scenes are just messy rooms, some are seriously damaged, and in the same scene, we can change some points to create three to four types of effects to meet the needs of all scenes in the game. Huang Ziba excitedly exclaimed after hearing this, Ah, this idea is absolutely VIP. 
Then the two began to develop more ideas. Balak Stu said, besides the scenes, the content can also be expanded, for example, why there is a girl in the evil company on the sea. Huang Ziba added, the girl carries a special antibody, so she's probably captured for experiments, right? Very clever. So her blood can help the main character resist the virus. Such as when the player is injured by zombies, the girl actively uses a syringe to draw blood to help the main character heal. Okay. Huang Ziba continued eagerly, then the number of treatments increases, causing the girl to weaken over time. Players need to upgrade their proficiency level to minimize the number of treatments. Wonderful, wonderful. Huang Ziba then raised his finger and said, Mr. Bao, you're excellent. With limited resources, you managed to create such a well-structured and logically coherent plot with complete emotions. Bao Tzu chuckled in response, Not at all, I just fulfilled the CEO Bai's writing task. He probably had this in mind from the beginning. Huang Ziba laughed mischievously, Ah he he, you're too modest. CEO Bai laid out three requirements, and given the current situation, Mr. Bao's solutions are all very appropriate. What a coincidence. Bao Xu replied, Not at all, CEO Bai has successfully developed two games in a row, proving that this is the direction he has planned from the start. Perceiving something odd, Wang Ziba asked again, Really? So, Mr. Bao, what are the other two requirements from CEO Bai? Bao Xu responded, Ha 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 ha, to lower the game difficulty, suitable for beginners. This mainly concerns hand movements, which can be gradually adjusted. And regarding the weapon sales point, it's CEO Bai's foresight for long-range vision. Huang Ziba froze upon hearing this. What do you mean by that? Bao Xu chuckled quietly in response. I think CEO Bai's request might seem simple, but behind it, there must be higher expectations. Legendary weapons, permanent ownership for 888. So do we need to include common weapons, exquisite weapons, heroic weapons as well? How would players obtain those? In other words, CEO Bai is indicating that weapons in the game must be graded, apart from the legendary ones, the rest won't be sold. Huang Ziba, with his blonde hair, understood immediately, his eyes gleaming, wow, so we can let players acquire weapons through different means, thus increasing dynamicity for players. It turns out CEO Bai has deeper intentions indeed. Our Bai Qian is done for. Meeting two talents who understand one another like this is truly rare. It's only strange if there's no huge profit. Ha 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 ha. A few moments later, Wang Ziba suddenly said, All right, everything's been resolved. CEO Bai hopes we can mature, fearing we might go astray, so be hints at us this way, while also helping us brainstorm. We must absolutely create a perfect game. Meeting CEO Bai's expectations is paramount. On the Wednesday morning of November 14th at Bai Qian's university, all the students were deeply engrossed in their studies. Our Bai Qian was sitting at the back, immersed in playing the role of Swanpul in CSGO, completely indifferent to everything else. So boring. If it weren't for fear of affecting the employees, i just head to the office and have some fun. Suddenly he received a message from Huang Ziba. CEO Bai, the overall plan is nearly finalized. Please take a look at the general direction decision. After reading it, he silently thought, no way, it's done in just two days? Are they kidding? Well, let's have a look anyway. As he opened it, he found a heap of text as dense as a Japanese dictionary, making his head spin and eyes go blurry. With so much text, how could he possibly read it on his phone? Oh well, let's just skim through it. Let's see if they manage to fulfill my three requirements. Okay, the narrative structure is there, and they're also planning to reduce the game's difficulty. Plus the legendary weapons with permanent ownership for $888. All right, everything seems to be completed as per my requirements. Transitioning to Dang De Company's office at this moment, all the employees were engrossed in playing various games, cursing and quarreling uproariously. Why are these guys playing so poorly? How am I supposed to carry this team? You're definitely the dumbest one. Meanwhile, Bao Xu was also focused on playing the game when suddenly he came up with something. He sent a message to Huang Ziba with golden hair. There's a pretty decent storyline here. Let me record the screen and send it to you. See if it's usable. Huang Ziba promptly replied, Okay, Mr. Bao, got it. Then, Huang Ziba put on his headphones and immediately checked it out. 
On the other side, our laid-back Ma Yang thought to himself, Wang Ziba is gaming right now. On the second evening of the following week, November 18th, our Bai Kiam was feeling melancholic, staring at the system board without any appetite. Currently, he had $971,634, with a profit of $471,634 compared to the initial amount. He leaned back in his chair, feeling a bit depressed. Seriously, the system capital had increased again. During the last check, it was evident that it was quite difficult to spend, leaving only about $200,000. How could it suddenly become so challenging to lose money? Suddenly, there was a knock on the door by Ma Yang, by Kian, by Kian. The young man rushed in, shouting loudly, I've discovered something. Wang Ziba's group has been secretly working overtime every day, using the company's computers. Our Bai Qian's face turned pale with extreme horror upon hearing this. What? What are you saying? Working overtime secretly? Quickly tell them not to work overtime anymore. Why would they work overtime? Do they dare to disregard my words? Huang Ziba working overtime for what? To write descriptions or design? Mai Yang quickly responded, Oh, um, it seems like they're playing games. After hearing this, Bai Qian sighed with relief and approached, saying, You must be mistaken, Ma Yang. Huang Ziba playing games? Ma Yang, surprised, replied, Yes, that's right. That's why I came to report to you. Their actions seem like a waste of company resources. Should we address it or remind them a bit? Bai Qian raised his hand to stop him, saying, No need, Ma Yang. We're a gaming company. Employees playing games are also for learning to gain experiences and insights from excellent foreign games. At the same time, Bai Qian secretly thought to himself, as long as they're not working, it's fine. Eating more snacks, using more electricity and water, helps me spend less system money. Very good, very good. Ma Yang, now bewildered, asked, Oh Lum, so your point is to overlook this matter. Next, our Bai Qian coldly walked to the director's desk, then he slammed his hand on the wet table decisively and spoke loudly. How could we overlook this? Our Deng Da is a company that always considers its employees. According to state regulations, employees who work overtime must receive overtime pay. Deng Da must comply with the state's policy. On weekdays, overtime pay is 1.5 times the basic salary, and on weekends, it's double the basic salary, not missing a single dollar. As he spoke, he typed and printed out a list immediately, then handed it to the bewildered Ma Yang, saying, Mai Yang, I assign you this important task. Keep track of the amount of overtime each day. When the time comes, calculate their hourly wages, not missing a single dollar. Ma Yang walked out with the list in hand, feeling bewildered. Then Bai Qian sat back in his chair, his face incredibly satisfied. Why hadn't he thought of this overtime pay issue before? He truly was a genius, ha <laughs> ha. The next day at noon in the company office, all the employees were intensely focused on playing games while having lunch. Surprisingly, Guan Ziba approached Bai Qian's office, knocked on the door, and said, Excuse me, CEO Bai, it's me, Guan Ziba. Bai Qian agreed to let him in. Next, Huang Ziba with blonde hair entered and handed Bai Chan a report, saying, CEO Bai, here's the invoice for the resources we currently need to purchase online. Please take a look. Bai Qian calmly responded, All right, very good, please have a seat. Huang Ziba added, I've diligently controlled the budget and found some high-quality resources at reasonable prices. There shouldn't be any issues, right? But after Bai Qian reviewed it, he was extremely furious. What? Only $670,000? That's too little. This is a high-end PC game. We need $700,000 to $800,000 just for purchasing resources for the design. Revise the budget and double it for me. In his mind, Bai Qian was seething, thinking, No, this won't do. If we spend so little, when will we ever deplete the system funds? This is absolutely infuriating. Meanwhile, Wang Ziba panicked in extreme horror. Yes, 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 CEO Bai. I'll fix it right away. Oh, and CEO Bai, there's another issue, which is the name of this game. Bao Xu suggested calling it War of the Sea. I find this name a bit odd, but I'm not sure what to call it, or should you decide the game's name? Upon hearing this, Bai Qian silently pondered 
War of the Sea, why does that name sound familiar? Oh right, it's quite similar to the title of a street film from before I transmigrated. Suddenly, he slammed his hand on the table loudly. War of the Sea, that's a catchy name. Let's go with that. I really like it. Huan Ziba on the other side thought, is this guy just randomly hitting rocks or what? Crazy. Yes, yes, of course, I'll immediately go revise the budget, he replied. Following this, our Bai Qian leaned back in his chair, hands behind his head, legs crossed, gleefully thinking, perhaps some people don't understand what it means to invest 300 million in a clean box office in a month. Usually we call it the ultimate VIP perfect collapse. If that movie could fail so miserably, then this name is enough to ruin our gaming company, ha 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 ha. Friday, November 29th, just another day at the office. Each employee with their own computer, indulging in gaming. Suddenly, someone approached, placing a stack of documents in front of a person in a white coat, saying, Hey, Xiao Lu, there are some issues with this function, could you fix it? The young man picked it up and replied, All right, Huang Ziba, I'll fix it right away. Huang Ziba then patted his shoulder, praising his handiwork, Keep learning from Mr. Bao, he's the top challenger. Next, Huang Ziba picked up the report, sighed and whispered to himself. The budget for purchasing resources went from $700,000 to $1 million, $200,000, and now it's jumped to $1,500,000. It just keeps increasing. Then he sat at his computer, pondering silently, CEO Bai has never blamed me before. If I don't make this game work well, it wouldn't be deserving of CEO Bai's investment in my training. Suddenly, his phone buzzed with a message. He glanced at it and was shocked. Ha! Huh, payday already? But today isn't even the 29th, is it? Don't companies usually pay salaries for this month and the following month? I've heard it's quite rare for companies to pay salaries at the beginning of the month. Hmm, could this amount have been sent by mistake? I started working around the 5th. It hasn't been a full month yet. It's confusing. Wang Ziba immediately called the director's secretary to inquire, Hey Tan, sorry to bother you. It seems my salary has been calculated incorrectly, hasn't it? My total salary is only $4,000 after deducting insurance. Why is it over $5,000? She responded with a bright smile, No mistake, that's correct. It's that much, including your overtime pay. Upon hearing this, the young man was struck dumbfounded, frozen like a rock. Holy cow! There's overtime pay too. The beautiful secretary Tan chuckled and replied, Exactly, not just you. Everyone who did overtime gets extra pay. You must have done about 50 hours of overtime at the company, right? Overtime pay is 1.5 times the basic salary, then after deducting insurance and various taxes, you get that much. Wang Ziba stood there gaping like a wooden pole and the whole bunch of gamers at the company, who were glued to their screens 24 7 were equally astounded. Oh my goodness, it's true. I also received overtime pay. The young man in white felt incredibly touched, never expecting CEO Bay to care for them so much. Meanwhile, Bao Exu had tears streaming down his face, saying, So CEO Bai knows everything. Wang Ziba was so moved that he cried like rain. CEO Bay not only didn't scold us for staying overtime against his orders, but also quietly transferred the overtime pay into our accounts. Let's all strive for it. For CEO Bai, we must make this game really good. All the employees then cheered loudly, fighting, fighting, we can do it. Transitioning into the director's office at this moment, our protagonist Bai Qian found himself in a melancholic state, pondering about his grandfather. How come we still haven't spent all the system funds? He then promptly called for an emergency roundtable conference with five familiar members. The urgent spending meeting officially commenced, and this time, Bai Qian, with determination, raised his hand first. I'll go first. Holding the floor, Bai Qian wielded the gavel and spoke. Well, last week, we allocated part of the budget for purchasing artistic resources, and the remaining portion is due this week. Office rent and employee salaries have been settled, along with miscellaneous expenses. It was quite a challenge to exhaust almost all of the system funds, but with just two months left until the next financial closeout, Bu Jiang is still making a lot of money. Hearing this, the group lying on the table felt helpless. Urgent spending is indeed a tough nut to crack. Is there any way to expedite it? 
Unexpectedly, another by Kian chimed in. How about organizing a team building activity? The group was startled and opened their eyes wide. Team building? Ah, then the five of us excitedly discussed. If around 30 people go out for a meal, with each person spending about $100 to $200, then the total would add up to thousands. Team building it is. Let's organize it. Let's assign Assistant Tan to arrange it without fail. That's settled then. Keeping his word, our protagonist Bai Kian summoned the lovely Assistant Tan and said, By the end of this month, arrange for a team building event. You handle the planning and itinerary. She promptly replied, Yes, CEO Bai, just say the word. With his hands propped up on his chin, Bai Kian remarked, I'm planning to take the company employees to Yang Cheng for a study tour and exchange. The trip doesn't need to be too long, about five days should suffice. During these five days, we'll visit a different company each day for learning and networking. It's best to find large-scale game companies, preferably FBS companies. The company will cover all expenses for airfare, accommodation, and meals. Estimate the cost in the itinerary. Simultaneously, Bai Qian was inwardly calculating. This time it might cost up to 10 or more times 200000 Although it's just a small expense, if this team-building event ends up costing that much, it's still fine, he <laughs> he. Secretary Tan smiled and replied, All right, CEO Bai, I'll arrange everything smoothly for you. Transitioning to Dengda Company's recreational area, all the employees are immersed in gaming. Suddenly, someone speaks up, We really have to visit Yang Cheng for learning purposes. A person in green responds, That must be true. I heard that Assistant Tan has already arranged the tickets. I've never seen a company take its employees to visit other companies for learning exchanges before. On the other side, another group of employees chimes in. A trip like this is definitely going to cost quite a bit. If I had to pay for it myself, I'd surely regret the expense. Our company benefits are truly exceptional. I wonder which companies we'll be visiting this time. There's bound to be T and Who, right? The guy in white nods, for sure, Tai and Hu will be there. They're so well known, plus they specialize in FPS games, which we can learn a lot from. Huang Jiba sighs and says, Everyone, we still need to focus on our work. Don't put all your thoughts into Yang Cheng. The guy in white chuckles awkwardly and responds to Huang Ziba. Well, we've never been to Yang Cheng, and getting to visit a famous company like Tai and Hu does make us a bit excited. Don't worry, Wang Ziba will ensure our work is completed with quality. Absolute perfection in terms of efficiency and quality, indeed. A moment later in Bai Kian's office, he stares at the report in utter surprise. Huh, less than $150,000. Tan, the secretary, promptly replies, all calculated based on business standards. The time frame you requested is by the end of December. Considering that some people may refuse to go, I scheduled for 30 people. Accommodation is priced at $300 per person, $600 for a double room per night, plus meals, transportation costs, and a budget for some additional staff, all within that price range. After a brief pause, Bai Kian speaks up, perhaps we can upgrade the flight tickets to first class. He's barely finished speaking when the system issues an immediate warning. Oh, the system's issuing warnings already. He then hands the report back to Secretary Tan, saying, All right, proceed with this budget. Meanwhile, the disheartened young man is thinking to himself, Life's so dull, only $150,000, and we're supposed to take 30 people to Yang Cheng for a trip. That's too cheap. Secretary Tan, at this point, smiles beautifully in response, Understood, CEO Bai. I'll get in touch with the companies over there. Switching scenes to a short time later in Yang Cheng, at Tian Hu Company, the seemingly casual guy is none other than Zhu Mo Yan, the CEO of Tian Hu. He looks surprised and asks, Whoa, Deng De Network Technology Limited Liability Company came to Yang Cheng and our company for an exchange visit. The female employee responds, Yes, that's correct, CEO Zhu. Upon hearing this, Zhu Mo Yan is startled and thinks to himself, for real? A game company organizing a visit for its employees to another company. The employee adds, yes, CEO Zhu, Di Jiang is the product of this company. He goes from one surprise to another, completely shocked. Li Jiang is their creation. All right, if the boss is unavailable, 
Xin Yun can take care of it. Even if they tour the company, it won't take much time. At this moment, Mo Yan ponders to himself, Li Jiang is a very popular mobile game recently, and the person who created it must be quite something. Meeting and getting acquainted doesn't seem like a bad idea. Then he says, All right, I agree. Arrange the schedule in advance, and I'll personally receive them. Handing him a list, the employee says, Yes, CEO Zhu, there's one more thing. The list of underperforming employees has been compiled. Please take a look. After looking at it for a moment, he hands it back and responds, Apart from Lin Wen, everyone else is on leave. Follow the procedure. At this moment, she widened her eyes in surprise. Why keep Lin Wen? A moment later, Zhu Mo Yan slumped back in his chair and sighed, Why keep Lin Wen indeed? Then he began to recall the previous phone call. Zhang Lin from Xinhua Corporation, right? Pleasure to speak with you. I've heard of you for a while. Please go ahead. Whatever the difficulty, I can handle it all. Lin Wen, Lin Wen is your niece, isn't she? All right, all right, rest assured. We will take good care of her. Hmm, think of a way for her to voluntarily resign. All right, I understand. After that, he fell into contemplation. Shenhua Corporation is the top company domestically. If we can establish a connection, it will be very beneficial for the company. Making Lin Wen voluntarily resign isn't difficult. But in his words, there's another meaning, suggesting that I should figure out how to destroy her passion for the gaming industry so she'll give up on it, right? That's not difficult either. Making Lin Wen see the harsh reality of the gaming industry is the way to go. Boss, the data is ready. Please take a look. A simple spreadsheet like this, and there are mistakes? Hurry up and fix it for me. If it's not fixed, don't even think about leaving. The gaming industry, at least domestically, is already a place that drains people, firing those with poor performance, sacrificing dreams for money, turning art into a money-making tool. Just let her see these realities, and she'll surely be disappointed and leave. This is as easy as pie, he <laughs> he. Switching scenes to Friday, December 27, at a luxury hotel in Yang Chang, Ma Yang and Bai Qian were chatting in a room. Ma Yang said, Hey Bai Qian, I'm pretending to be tired already. In front of everyone at the company, I have to pretend not to know you, calling you CEO Bai. Our distance is gradually widening because of work. Bai Qian patted Ma Yang on the back and replied, Sacrifice a little for the company, you're my important eyes and ears in the company. Report any situation to me immediately, the kid listening is always clueless. At the same time, our Bai Qian was silently thinking, if everyone knows about my relationship with Mai Yang, there might be trouble with him. Mai Yang continued, holding his head, it's as if I'm a covert spy. Right, Bai Qian, it seems like everyone is quite interested in Tian Hu company. Isn't it formidable? Bai Qian replied, I have no idea. Right, tomorrow we'll visit Tian Hu company for the first time. When we get there, make sure you ask plenty of questions. Don't let it be too dull. Mai Yang chuckled brightly in response, Got it. After all, Bai Qian is the boss. Asking too many questions might make us lose value. Let me handle it. He <laughs> he. The next morning, on the way to Tian Hu Company, the whole Dang Da team, just arriving, were extremely surprised, mouths gaping. What's this? The company must have plenty of money to build such offices. Her they once gave out a year's worth of salary as a bonus. Seems like their highest year-end bonus was a sports car. Two receptionists on this side, both lovely and round-faced, were busy taking selfies before continuing their work. At the same time, Bai Qian was silently pondering, building a place this big must have cost a fortune. Unexpectedly, Secretary Tan stepped out with a man in a white coat. Hello, CEO Bai. Finding it odd, he asked, Hey, Secretary Tan, who's the person behind you? Bai Qian also responded, I have no idea. Right, tomorrow we'll visit Tian Hu Company for the first time. When we get there, make sure to ask plenty of questions. Don't let it be too dull. The man in the white coat beamed a bright smile and extended his hand in greeting, Is this CEO Bai? Hello, I'm Zhan Hui, the receptionist of Tian Hu Company. Today, I'll be in charge of guiding everyone on the tour. If there's anything not up to standard, please overlook it. Our Bai Qian promptly responded, Hello, today we trouble you to lead us on the tour. Follow me this way. Bai Qian readily agreed. 
Then inside Tian Hu Company, CEO Zhu Mo Yan had his hair impeccably styled, contemplating, it must be almost time, my carefully groomed hairstyle should still be fine. As the group started to enter, Zhang Hui in the white coat gestured to introduce, yes, CEO Zhu, CEO Bai from Dangda Company has arrived. The two heads then shook hands warmly, saying, hello, we've heard about you for a long time. Mo Yan was taken aback, silently musing, are you serious? That suit must have cost at least five digits. Someone that Yan must be from a wealthy family. Following that, Zun Hui spoke with a friendly smile. Then please follow me, I'll take you around. This is our recording area. Ahead is the music recording studio, where all sound effects are done. Over here is the training room, where we conduct regular game design training for interns. Next, Zun Hui spoke. Over here are some of the company's products. This set of clothing was previously worn by a celebrity to represent the game. This area is our leisure entertainment zone. Snacks over there are free to enjoy. Huang Ziba glanced over and thought to himself, Holy shit, just one TV, one PC, and it's called an entertainment area. Plus, this tiny sofa set is supposed to be a resting area. With a few bags of snacks, some packs of cookies, and a modestly sized sign, they call it a food area. This is really too stingy, it's far behind our company. Meanwhile, director Zhu Mo Yan, after overhearing, remained as still as a log, not understanding what was happening at all. At the same time, he thought to himself, what on earth is going on with the people from Dang Da? Why is there no reaction at all? Our company clearly has the most luxurious VIP facilities in Yang Cheng. We have an entertainment room, a relaxation area, a large TV, plush sofas, and complimentary snacks and drinks. I remember the environment at our company, everyone dreams of working here. In the unusual silence, Mei Yang suddenly chimed in, everyone, take a good look, this is the entertainment area, and there's also a resting area. This super large TV, I think we must have three or four of them at our place, and this sofa may be a bit firm, but it's still okay. Zhu Mo Yan and Zhan Hui, after hearing, broke out in a cold sweat, silently thinking, you're kidding me, right? What is he talking about? Aren't domestic game companies all following the same policy? Are they joking or what? Following that, Huang Ziba chuckled dryly and said, well, it seems all right. On this side, Mei Yang added, considering domestic standards, this workplace environment is quite generous already. Besides, with so many people working overtime, the company must spend quite a bit on overtime pay each month. After hearing this, young director Zhu Mo Yan's face froze like a statue, utterly perplexed. Are they joking? The gaming industry even has overtime pay? Isn't it supposed to be the same policy for everyone? Our Bai Qian, at this point, grabbed the Nave Mei Yang's hand, angrily whispered, stop asking, just let it be. Why did you have to ruin the atmosphere? This time, I came all the way here to smooth things over, not to stir up trouble. Following that, Wang Ziba scratched his head and explained, he's new to the industry, please don't laugh at him. Zhen Hui then smiled faintly and replied, well then, let's continue. We've arranged the sharing session, so please follow me. A while later, Zhen Hui led the group to the tour of the workplace. The path was only about three tiles wide, which surprised everyone greatly. At this point, a young man without glasses turned to the blonde-haired Huang Ziba and whispered, this workplace is really cramped. Huang Ziba promptly responded, ah he he, it's all right. In his mind, he was thinking, it's not that Tian Hu is cramped, but Deng Da is too spacious. Young Zhu Mo Yan overheard this and was shocked. He thought to himself, you're kidding me, is it really cramped like this? Is that guy serious? Aren't most companies like this? Is he joking? After a while, everyone arrived at a rather large auditorium. Zhen Hui then spoke up. Next, please welcome Huang Ziba, the head of the network technical planning team at Dangda Limited, to share the successful experience of Bi Jiang with us. Let's give him a warm welcome. The audience below then erupted into thunderous applause. Up here, our own Huang Ziba hesitated before speaking up. Firstly, let me clarify to everyone that I was not involved in creating Bi Jiang. However, during my time at Dangda Company, I devoted myself to studying the Gi Jiang game. 
I believe I have gained some insight into the artistic design from CEO Bai. In my opinion, the success of Bi Jiang can be attributed to three main factors. Firstly, the pursuit of high-quality gameplay, daring to venture into new adventurous styles. CEO Bai allocated nearly half of the capital and invested in artistic resources. Moreover, he boldly invited new artists to create a new style, which was warmly welcomed by everyone. All of this is thanks to CEO Bai's visionary and highly aesthetic sensibilities. Secondly, the game is healthy in terms of payment. Guijang only costs $40 compared to most other card games, which has gained players' love and respect and a low-profit, high-sales policy, which has significantly increased the game's purchases and reputation. Thirdly, investing all capital into game development, through simple advertising, CEO Bai cleverly expanded Bi Jiang from the realm of artists to the gaming community. Suddenly, Huan Ziba slammed his hand on the table decisively and said, I believe this could be considered a classic case of meticulously studied consumer advertising. After hearing this, our own Bai Qian smiled faintly and thought to himself, Holy shit, why does that sound so good? How come I didn't think like that at the time? Here, Huang Ziba observed this and chuckled with interest, thinking to himself, Hey, hey, CEO Bai is nodding and smiling quietly. It seems my speculation about CEO Bai's original design intentions was correct. This indicates that I am gradually keeping up with CEO Bai's pace. Next, Zunhui spoke up. Thank you, Huang Ziba, for sharing. Next, we invite CEO Zhu from Tianhu Company to share with everyone. At this moment, Director Zhu Mo Yan turned to our Bai Qian, silently reflecting, pouring all the capital and investment into game development, leaving not a penny for promotion, daring to hire new artists, a completely new style, changing the profit model of traditional card games. Truly, youth is a talented age. This CEO Bai, although still relatively young, is quite bold. Next, Zhu Mo Yan confidently stepped up to the podium and declared, We are currently developing an FPS game titled Dan 2. Our goal is to surpass the fan Kong Ji Hua. The most crucial aspect of an FPS game is the sensation it provides. FPS players are generally very discerning, so Dan 2 strives to replicate the tactile sensation based on the original fan Kong Ji Hua. We ensure that the sensation can be replicated up to 90%. Additionally, we continuously innovate our artistic style, even inviting military experts to assess the accuracy of weapons and attire. Finally, we plan to offer the game for free with optional microtransactions, seizing the opportunity to achieve remarkable revenue figures in the FPS category. After hearing this, Huang Ziba was taken aback, thinking to himself, uh oh, why does the approach of Dan 2 resemble War of the Sea so much? If it's a former rival of Fan Kong Ji Hua, it'll still have an edge over War of the Sea and Dan 2. What if these two games end up in competition by then? Suddenly, Huang Ziba glanced at our Bai Qian and noticed him smiling brightly as if nothing bothered him, thinking, ah, why is CEO Bai still smiling? Could it be that CEO Bai intentionally came to Tianyu Company to assess their approach? Now, it's certain that Dan too will fail, hence his calm and confident smile. Truly, heroes are formidable like this. In reality, deep down, Bai Qian was secretly contemplating, indeed, as I predicted, following Zumo Yan's approach, if there's a direct confrontation with War of the Sea, Dan too will undoubtedly suffer a devastating defeat. Hey, hey. Next, the two CEOs shook hands. Bai Qian spoke first, truly magnificent, expanding horizons indeed. Zumo Yan replied, I dare not compare. CEO Bai is naturally gifted and exceptionally talented. I deeply admire CEO Bai. I have some matters to attend to, so I'll take my leave. Bai Qian responded, CEO Zhu, please carry on with your work. Thank you very much. As Bai Qian was about to leave, a clear voice suddenly rang out. Excuse me, CEO Bai, could you please wait? He turned around to see a charming girl with sparkling eyes. She introduced herself. Hello, CEO Bai, I'm Lin Wen. May I take a few minutes of your time to ask some questions? Seeing the beautiful girl, he agreed readily. Then she inquired, CEO Bai, isn't the primary purpose of a game to make money? He responded coolly. 
I believe the primary purpose of a game is to provide joy to the players. Deep down, he thought, actually for me, the primary purpose is to incur losses. Hey. Lin Wen, still smiling, asked, So, CEO Bai, your company probably doesn't have a screening policy, right? He replied, No, we don't. Every employee is like family to me. We develop and progress together. Why would we casually discard anyone? Simultaneously, he thought to himself, If we were to lay off anyone, it would only be the diligent ones. How could I let go of the lazy ones? Ha 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 ha. After listening, she eagerly asked, So, do the employees at CEO Bai's company work overtime? He blushed and replied, I'm trying my best to send everyone home, but some volunteers stay behind, so I have to pay them overtime. Finding it curious, Lin Wen continued, Does CEO Bai create games just to fulfill his dream of gaming? Bai Qian chuckled and responded, No, mostly it's for the money. Amused by his humor, she giggled and replied, Hey, you're quite playful. If it's really for the money, you could easily increase the fees for DJing by tenfold. I know you're an idealist. Thank you, CEO Bai, for taking the time to answer my questions. With that, she smiled, bid him farewell, and slowly walked away. CEO Bai Can stood there puzzled, wondering, that's strange, who is this girl? The next morning, at Tianhu Company, our Lin Wen brought some documents to CEO Zhu Mo Yan. Seeing this, he asked, what's this? She replied, CEO Zhu, I've made up my mind, I want to resign. Hearing this, he felt extremely relieved. Finally, she saw through the harsh reality of the gaming industry and decided to return to inheriting billions of dollars in family assets. Haha. <laughs> but outwardly he remained aloof and said, you want to leave the gaming industry. Ling Wen quickly responded, no. On the other side, Mo Yan widened his eyes in confusion, simultaneously thinking, for real? She doesn't want to leave the gaming industry but wants to resign, what's going on? Does she not like this place of mine? Perplexed, Zhu Mo Yan asked again, why? Is there something here that doesn't suit you? Then she smiled and replied, looking out the window, Thank you, CEO Zhu, for always supporting me, but I feel like I can't pursue my dream of making games here. I plan to find another place. On Thursday, January 7, 2010, our Bai Qian at Dengda Company approached Twine Zi Ba with blonde hair and asked, How's the progress of War of the Sea? Do we need to extend it for another week? Huang Zi Ba confidently replied, No need, CEO Bai. We've tested it multiple times, fixed all the glitches we found, the game can be released anytime. After hearing that, our Bai Qian secretly worried, for real? So confident, is this game really completed with sufficient quality? But outwardly, he had to put on a fake smile and replied, well, that's good. Show me the storyline and the legendary weapons. Huang Ji Ba then agreed to open it right away, saying, yes, CEO Bai, I'll show you immediately. This is our storyline. In more of the sea, players need to fight from the bottom to the top. The entire storyline is about six hours long, mainly involving fighting zombies and mercenaries, along with some simple puzzle-solving elements. Here are the majestic legendary weapons. We're planning to launch it this month as per your request. The permanent purchase price is $888. After seeing it, our Bai Qian was startled as if he had been shocked. Would you look at that? The setting of this game, it's nothing like what I imagined. Why does it look so high-end? Are they kidding me? Who said it would be such a beautiful game? Well, wait a minute, I remember now. It was because I told them to purchase expensive game resources. Oh well, but that's good. At least the effort and trouble have paid off. And the $888 legendary unicorn has made its debut. Surprisingly, Guan Ziba spoke up. Yes, CEO Bai. The game still lacks some other features, or should I present them to you? Bai Qian quickly raised his hand to stop him, smiling faintly, no need for that, just prepare them and submit directly to the accounting department for approval. Then Bai Qian stepped out, chuckling mischievously, thinking to himself, if only Dan Tu had already launched, by then my game will surely be squeezed out and have no chance to rise, he <laughs> he. A while later in the CEO's office, our Bai Qian opened the system board to check. His current system capital was $138,754, a decrease of $361,245. Seeing this, he slouched back in his chair, exhaling softly. 
Finally, the system capital has decreased significantly. Didn't expect spending to be this difficult. It's so frustrating. To be cautious, let's have another round of team building, spend all we can. The less remaining, the better. Putting words into action, he immediately called in his beautiful secretary, Tan. As she walked in, Bai Qian began instructing her sternly, arrange everything for me. Tomorrow afternoon, we're celebrating the completion of War of the Sea with a team building session. We'll watch a movie, have dinner, and end with karaoke. If possible, spare no expense. Perplexed, she inquired, tomorrow afternoon? But isn't tomorrow Friday? He replied, if we use employees' leisure time for team building and entertainment, they won't blame me, will they? Next, Secretary Tam responded, yes, CEO Bai, there's one more thing. Do you remember when we visited Tian Hu Company, a girl named Lin Wen asked you a question. He got inquired, Lin Wen, what about her? She's in Jingtao now, wanting to work for our company. She's very determined, saying she doesn't need a salary. She's currently in the small meeting room, and I've just welcomed her. Upon hearing this, he pondered deeply, doesn't need a salary? How is that possible? I never want this kind of thing. Next, Bai Qian inquired, Secretary Tan, what's your impression of her? She replied, well, CEO Bai, she seems to come from a privileged background, probably some rich young lady. Personality-wise, there's no issue, but I'm a bit worried she might be a bit too naive. Hearing this, Bai Qian felt delighted inside, a wealthy and naive young lady, meaning her work capability might not be impressive, perfect match for my hiring criteria. Excellent, ahihi. Then he raised his hand to respond, in that case, go ahead and hire her. The starting salary will be $4,000 a month as agreed before. Please arrange her tasks accordingly, let her do whatever she likes. Outside, our beautiful Lin Wen was anxiously wondering if Bai Qian had accepted her. Shortly after, Secretary Tan stepped out and handed her a notice board, saying, Congratulations, CEO Bai has agreed. Once you sign this contract, you'll officially become an employee of Dengda with a monthly salary of $4,000. Upon hearing this, Lin Wen's eyes sparkled with immense joy. Great, great, everything's great. But may I ask, what will my job be? Secretary Tan hesitated before responding, Your job? Well, tomorrow at 2 p.m., you'll join the team building activities, watch a movie, have dinner, and sing karaoke with everyone. Lin Wen stood there, stunned and bewildered. What? Is this really my job? It sounds so strange to me. On Monday morning, January 11, Wang Ziba with his blonde hair unexpectedly approached Bao Exu, saying, Hey, Mr. Bao, have you seen the statistics for War of the Sea? Bao Exu, with a deeply saddened expression, replied, Yeah, it's quite disappointing. Released on Friday, passed through Saturday, and now it's Monday, yet we've only had a few hundred downloads. Perplexed, Huang Ziba asked Mr. Bao, Hey, do you think CEO Bai is a demon about not doing any marketing? I've scarred the web and found no advertisements. Bao Psu responded, I believe we should fully trust CEO Bai. He hasn't instructed us to focus on advertising, so there's no need to worry. Then Huang Ziba pulled up a chair and continued, Makes sense, doesn't it? A genius like CEO Bai wouldn't burden us with such concerns. Right, of course. Mr. Bao, we should start planning the development for the next version now. What do you think should be included? After hearing this, Bao Xu replied, Planning for the next version's development, huh? If we don't organize the tasks, there won't be much left to do. It's definitely something to prepare for, but I'm not sure what specific issues we should address. Huang Ziba, with his blonde hair, responded, Mainly, I can't think of whether we should fix bugs in the game or add new content. Right now, even new players aren't reporting any issues. As for new content, we already have plenty. There's no need to introduce new gameplay mechanics or maps. So I suggest we find some hardcore players to experience the game, gather feedback from 10 of them, and continue optimizing. Bao Xu asked again, But where do we find them now? And won't it cost money to have them test the game? Huang Ziba scratched his head, puzzled, and replied, That's the problem I need to think about. A moment later, as Huang Ziba pondered, a young man with glasses suddenly spoke up, 
Hey Huang Ziba, how about I look for some gaming groups of Fan Kong Ji Hua, blend in, and chat with the admin there? Line Ziba chuckled faintly in response, Come on, advertising in someone else's gaming group? Getting kicked out right away would be a surprise. The young man scratched his head and said, Yes, yes, you're right. Just as they were feeling discouraged, Lin Wen, with her mischievous demeanor, approached and said, I know a way to contact some admins of FBS gaming groups with over a thousand members each. Huang Ziba was surprised to hear this. Really? Can we ask them for some help? Lin Wen, with a twinkle in her eye, replied, Of course, I'm very close to them. Perplexed, Huang Ziba asked, But how do you know so many admins of FBS gaming groups? You don't seem like someone who's into FPS games. To this, Lin Wen flashed a charming smile and said, Ah he he, because during my internship at Tianhu Company, the Dan 2 project development team specifically recruited a group of FPS gamers for testing. I was responsible for communicating and coordinating with them. Fast forward to a short time later, in an apartment building, a young man in a black shirt with golden hair was deeply engrossed in gaming. His name was Chen Wu, and he seemed to be playing CSDGO. Suddenly, he received a message from Lin Wen. Chen Wu, something important has come up. Can you help me test this game? Chen Wu replied, Isn't Dan 2 already finished testing and ready for launch? Is there a post-testing requirement? The imaginary dialogue shifted to a grand courtroom setting, where Lin Wen continued, It's not Dan 2, it's another game. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I've quit my job at Tianhu Company. Perplexed, Chen Wu asked, So you resigned right after the game was released? That's fine. I heard that after the game launch, the development team members were rewarded generously. Are you complaining about money? Lin Wen immediately raised her hand in response, What's the big deal about the bonus? It's not important. The company I'm currently working for is much stronger than Tianhu. Let's not dwell on that. Can you quickly help me test this game? On the other side, Chen Wu crossed his arms and replied, Sure, but is the price the same as at Tianhu Company? It's $500 per test. Our little Lin Wen giggled and replied, Ah he he, no, it's not. But after the testing, you'll receive the Xiaomu Ji Ying limited reward in the game. Chen Wu, now visibly annoyed, clenched his fists and pointed, saying, Your new company is stingy too. You ask for my help but won't pay a dime. You want to live a life of luxury without having to work hard, huh? Lin Wen quickly raised her hand to explain, No, no, that's not it. I assure you, this company is not stingy. How about this? Besides the Shamo Ji Ying Limited Reward, I'll throw in a lifetime used legendary weapon for you. Chen Wu, now even more furious, unleashed a string of curses. What nonsense is this? Are you out of your mind? Who would want those weapons from that game? Besides, how much is a lifetime used legendary weapon worth? $100 to $200 would be more than enough. Lin Wen then scratched her chin and replied, As far as I know, lifetime used weapons in the game are sold for $888. The young man, after spewing out all his Coca-Cola, exclaimed, What? Are you saying it's $888 in-game currency or real money? Lin Wen responded, Of course, it's real money, hi yi. Chen Wu thought he must be mistaken, even holding up the screen to see more clearly, his expression filled with horror. He added, An $888 lifetime used legendary weapon, that's too expensive. Why don't you just rob a bank for quicker cash? Feeling too curious to resist, he decided to download and try the game. War of the Sea, just from the name, it already feels like this game will be mostly boring, doesn't it? Then he made himself a bowl of noodles and jumped into the game right after. Oh my gosh, the game interface looks fine, doesn't it? The store only sells one weapon without any additional purchase points. It's like this game gives away everything from the start, but Ku Ki Lin's attributes are nothing new. There are many new ways to play the combat system. What is this Yu Ling Sheng Wu mode? I've never seen it before and there's even a storyline investment. So meticulous, although not expecting much. But if there's a storyline mode, let's give it a try. As he clicked to play, the young man, still half-dazed, listened as two white-clad gummen conversed. Is this guy dead already? Not sure, seems to still be breathing, but once infected with the virus, there's only death. Okay, just leave him there. 
After waiting for the two to leave, Chen Mu woke up sweating profusely. Why is this gang so mysterious? Where am I? Can hardly move. Then he turned around to find a pile of dead bodies, horrifyingly massive, and he struggled to stand up, apologizing to whoever it was under him, asking to step over them. After a while, his character managed to crawl out from the pile of stinking corpses, feeling nauseated. At that moment, as he wondered what to do, a system panel suddenly appeared with basic instructions, moving the mouse to observe surroundings, using the WAASD combination to move left and right, forward and backward. This game even provides thorough guidance for beginners, quite sophisticated indeed. He then approached the door, thinking to himself, what if I open it and some final boss suddenly jumps out from inside? Surprisingly, as soon as he opened it, a horrifying red-eyed zombie was already standing there menacingly. Swift as lightning, the zombie lunged and bit him hard on the shoulder. The young man yelled in pain, ouch, ouch, ouch. Then he wrestled the zombie down with both hands. You bastard, trying to sneak up on me, huh? Chen Wu immediately pulled out a pistol and aimed straight at the zombie's head. You disrespectful thing, I'll send you into oblivion right here with physics. With a deafening bang, the zombie fell instantly and the young man, holding his aching shoulder, thought to himself, the game deceits me, it's labeled as an FPS game, but the result is edited just like a horror game, truly terrifying. Then he suddenly dropped to his knees and collapsed on the ground, ha, huh, bitten by a zombie and infected, is this the end then? Suddenly, a girl quietly approached him. Oh, who's this girl? What does she want? Then she took out a large syringe and started drawing blood from herself. The girl's expression was full of painful sobs. Next, she injected it into Chen Wu. Seeing this, he exclaimed, Oh my gosh, so that's it. This girl's blood can cure the toxin in my body. After a short while, he regained consciousness, uttering various greetings. Hello, Nai Hao, Konnichiwa, Aniyang Aseo. The girl looked puzzled at this point. Then she responded to him using body language. By now he had realized, ah, she can't speak. This game has some interesting elements to it. Later on, Chen Wu became immersed in the intense shooting game, thoroughly enjoying himself. He remarked, the guns shoot smoothly, the controls are flexible, the firing speed and reloading are quick. The shooting sensation is different from Fan Kong Ji Hu game but very comfortable. The most outstanding aspect is the design of the girl. Without her, it would just be fighting, no storyline. But with her, emotions are brought into the game. A storyline is completely rejuvenated. Next, young Chen Wu and the mute girl stood united, wielding every kind of weapon from Gatling guns to machine guns and beyond. They fought valiantly, overcoming each challenge, facing every level head-on, and ultimately confronting the boss, concluding the game flawlessly. Subsequently, they boarded a helicopter, flying back to the mainland, witnessing the game's final scene, a dreamlike tableau. Chen Wu stood still for a moment, uttering no words, then messaged the group. War of the Sea is truly amazing, indescribable in words. You all must join in quickly. A youth responded, I don't understand anything. Cut to Bai Qian's company after a short while, as he stepped out of the elevator, he thought to himself, Finally, everything is done, after a week of waiting. I haven't checked the figures yet, but I'm sure War of the Sea has been a success, he <laughs> he. Why is the reception desk empty again though? Bai Qian continued walking inside and stumbled upon a peculiar scene. All the employees wore disappointed expressions. He pondered. The situation seems off, can't accept this reality. Bao Xu couldn't escape failure either. It appears everyone is learning to confront reality. They're not gamers by profession. Lately, we haven't had time to develop the game. Instead, they've been focusing on their personal lives. However, they still invested their emotions into this game. At this moment, they need a leader like me to guide them through this difficulty. As I walked in, our two beautiful girls immediately recognized me. Lin Wen, her eyes sparkling like a myriad of stars, exclaimed, Ah, CEO Bai is here. Surprisingly, all the employees burst into ecstatic cheers. CEO Bai, CEO Bai, congratulations CEO Bai. Our CEO Bai is amazing. CEO Bai is unrivaled. CEO Bai is number one. The young man, taken aback, stood frozen for a moment before asking, Huh, 
what's going on? Even more surprising, Huang Ziba, with her blonde hair, approached and respectfully bowed, saying, Yes, CEO Bai, I have learned a lot from you. Before, I didn't understand why you didn't advertise War of the Sea, but now I do. You wanted to teach me through reality. A good game only needs word of mouth to become famous. The young man listening thought to himself, It's all messed up now, could it be true? At the same time, Har Bai Kian asked again, what do you mean, is the game suddenly hot? Huang Zibai immediately, with an excited expression, replied, It's hot, it's hot. Just now, I refreshed the data page. Whether it's about the heat, the number of online players, or the profit, it's all surpassing Dan too by far. Then the secretary Tan brought in a giant bottle of champagne and said, Hey CEO Bai, let's pop the champagne to celebrate, CEO Bai. Then a loud explosion echoed through the sky, drowning out the deafening cheers. On this side, our two bubbly receptionists danced happily, holding two big firecrackers, shouting loudly, Congratulations, CEO Bai, our game has succeeded. At this moment, Bai Kian stood still like a stone statue, while the surrounding crowd clapped gradually, like when a famous singer finishes a performance. Then young Bai Kian hurriedly handed a bottle of champagne to Huang Ziba and said, Everyone has done very well. Keep up the good work. On the other side, Huang Ziba was thinking to herself, Indeed, everything is within CEO Bai's plan. CEO Bai had anticipated what would happen early on, so he's completely unfazed, feeling very normal. It's so dominant, so confident, ah he he. Then Bai Qian slammed the door shut and disappeared into the room immediately. At the same time, he silently pondered, this kind of meticulous calculation, how much accurate market forecasting is needed to pull this off? Goodness, seems like the script went wrong, doesn't it? But why? I've planned meticulously for this. This fundamentally shouldn't be happening. This time without Ruan Guangzhan actively promoting. So where did the problem arise from? Then he picked up his computer to check. To his surprise, he discovered something. Ha, huh, what are these comments? The whole bunch of people below commented. I didn't expect a domestic game could create such an engaging storyline. Definitely deserves a five-star rating. The combat frame in the FPS game scenario is executed the best. Another person commented, I find this game more enjoyable than Fan Kong Ji Kua. Thinking about it, no one said this is a sports game. Moreover, this game only has a few tycoons buying Hu Ki Lin. Everything else in this game is entirely free, whereas Dan 2 is like shit. Another comment said, now we're discussing more of the sea and Fan Kong Ji Hua. Anyone bringing up Dan Tu is obviously someone hired by the Tian Hu company. A cheeky commenter retorted, Your war of the sea is just riding on the glory of Dan Tu, aren't you ashamed? Bai Qian finished reading, clutching his head in immense pain. What's going on here? These people keep arguing back and forth. No one can help me analyze the true reason behind this game's popularity. Ah, there's a way. I'm the boss after all. If I can't analyze it, I'll just ask Huang Ziba to do it. Outside, a bespectacled young man was conversing with Huang Ziba with golden hair. Hey, Huang Ziba, the game's theme is getting hotter and hotter. Huang Ziba immediately replied, That's right, all the credit goes to CEO Bai. Suddenly, a notification from Ding Ding rang out. Our Bai Qian sends a message saying you are to produce an analytical report on the factors contributing to the success of War of the Sea, covering everything from design to promotion strategies. Each aspect must be thoroughly analyzed and sent directly to me. Huang Ziba, after reading, thought to herself, why does CEO Bai want this analytical report? The game's core direction is created by CEO Bai. The word-of-mouth advertising strategy is also decided by CEO Bai. Clearly, CEO Bai wants to help us consolidate our knowledge, make us absorb experiences, and constantly improve. A while later, our Bai Qian printed out the report, written by Huang Ziba, and summoned a mental conference immediately. Bai Qian, adjusting his glasses, quickly skimmed through. Difficulty level lowered, attracting a large number of casual players. Excellent narrative form coupled with beloved storylines. Being a domestic game adds to its good reputation. On this side, Bai Qian, holding his coffee cup, continued reading. 
diverse combat mechanics, unlimited gameplay, relieving players from technical pressures. Pricing strategy of Hu Ki Lin at $888 caters to the ostentatious pleasure of tycoons, with its attributes falling within the controllable range. For regular players, it provides effective experiential supplements, hence greatly welcomed by them. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian slammed the hammer down on the table forcefully and exclaimed with bitterness. But what baffles me even more is the quarrel between the players of War of the Sea and Dan Tu. How come War of the Sea is gaining so much more popularity? This script is terribly wrong. So in the end, who caused this disaster? Bai Qian, adjusting his glasses, replied, Surely Huang Jiba and Bao Xu will follow our game production instructions. Taking a sip of his coffee, Bai Qian continued, After hearing this, I almost smashed the cup straight onto Lin Wen's head. Lin Wen was just following Huang Ziba's orders, finding a group of gamers to act as scapegoats. It's infuriating. On the other hand, holding a gaming console, Bai Qian remarked, it seems like we've decided to confront Dan to ourselves. Then they all looked at each other in utter bewilderment. Ah, so could it be that it's all our fault? Next, our Bai Qian, with a dark expression, slammed his hand down on the table and said, Damn it, I have to save myself. This time, I'm definitely going to incur losses, and no one can stop me. Then the young man opened up the system board to check. The wealth conversion system showed that there were two days left for settlement with the current system capital at $1,124,355, current profits at $624,355, and personal assets at $708. After reviewing, he silently pondered, it's quite decent. The good news is that Guy Jane's revenue has finally started to decline. This week, it only earned over $200,000. The bad news is that War of the Sea has begun to make money. This week it made a profit of over $400,000. According to my arrangement, the servers and capacity of both Bi Jang and War of the Sea have been fully expanded. The customer service team has also signed contracts. This time, I've made a profit of over $600,000. According to the profit conversion rate of 100 firsts, $600,000 will become $6,000. Personal assets are $6,000 straight. Who can withstand this? This profit is truly like catching the wind with your hands. To earn more, I have to reduce losses to less than $494,000. Only then can I ensure a profit of over $6,000. Every time I earn $100, only $1 comes into my hands. This dance system really makes me furious. Only when incurring losses can one truly make a profit. The profit from more of the sea makes my profit even more substantial. Initially, I planned to lose $500,000, but now it's a brand new hot game, which is irritating. But enough about that. There are still two days until the settlement system. I have to figure out how to spend this money clean in these two days. Next, our Bai Qian called in his secretary, Tan, and said, Secretary Tan, have you adjusted the standard salary yet? She replied, Yes, CEO Bai. I have followed your previous instructions. First, the salaries of all managerial positions have been increased by 60%, and for others, it's a 30% raise. Next, we've implemented a bonus scheme based on game profits, where 15% of the game's profits are allocated as bonuses for all employees participating in research and innovation activities and employee welfare. Each person is entitled to a monthly shopping card worth $1,000. He was also silently thinking at this moment, damn it, these are all the highest limits allowed by the system. If I could, I would have spent more already, which means I could have spent over $300,000. Next, Secretary Tan added, I believe today's salaries will be deposited into the cards. Do you have any other instructions? Surprisingly, our Bai Qian came up with an idea. Salaries? Wait a moment, I just came up with something. I've decided to give everyone a special payment limit of $3,500 every three months, allowing each employee to spend $3,500 on office supplies. Perplexed, the beautiful secretary asked, CEO Bai, now that we're providing special payments to employees, what exactly does the $3,500 limit entail? He promptly replied, This is called a special payment allowance. They can freely purchase any items related to work. 
For example, if Bao Xu likes gaming, he can use this money to buy equipment upgrade cards. For instance, if an employee needs high-quality headphones to enhance the gaming sound quality, which is beneficial for game production, then he can use that money to purchase new gaming headphones. After hearing this, she stood still for a few seconds, then responded, Yes, I understand now, CEO Bei. Later, at the company's office, our Huang Ziba was gleefully smiling, thinking to himself, The popularity of War of the Sea has completely overshadowed Dan Tu. Perhaps at Tian Hu Company, CEO Bai had already anticipated the situation. Intentionally releasing it at the same time as Dan Tu was to ride on their popularity. CEO Bai's vision is truly impressive. Surprisingly, Huang Ziba's phone rang, displaying a message. Your account received $15,862 in salary at 11.23 on January 29th. After reading it, the young man widened his eyes in utter shock. Really? Why is the salary so much? Did I read it wrong? At that moment, other employees also reacted. Unbelievable. I also got nearly $10,000. Why is it so much? Suddenly, the secretary Tan stepped forward and handed each person a sparkling gold card, saying, This card has a monthly limit of $1,000, which can be used to comfortably purchase necessary household items. Additionally, starting today, CEO Bai has established a special payment scheme, allowing the company to pay up to $3,500 per person every three months. Specific details have been sent via email. Everyone was surprised from one message to another, gaping in confusion at what was happening. On this side, Doixu exclaimed, Wow, paying for everything related to the game. So in the future when I play games, I won't need to spend money anymore. The bespectacled youth added, This is beyond our imagination. Overtime pay, bonus rewards, it's all included, and now we have to pay game fees too. Guang Ziba widened his eyes in agreement. Exactly, it's quite daunting for us. Then the secretary chimed in, no need to worry, everyone. Just tidy up a bit. At exactly 3 p.m., CEO Bai will lead everyone to the commercial district to celebrate the success of War of the Sea. A while later, Bai Qian led a large crowd to the shopping center like a festival. Upon arrival, he began speaking loudly, Today, we celebrate the success of War of the Sea. You've all worked hard, so feel free to use these rewards to shop as you please. Simultaneously, he thought to himself, a total of 3 million at the start, with 1.1 million for salaries and bonuses, leaving 400,000 for shopping, spending over 30,000, plus the special payment totaling 100,000. He then declared firmly, you must use up the $1,000 shopping card and the $3,500 special payment. Anyone who doesn't spend it all will not be allowed to go. Upon hearing this, everyone gradually became delighted and burst into laughter. Yes, we understand perfectly. Thank you so, so, so much, CEO Bai. Hey. Then the whole bunch began to scatter and sweep through the shopping center. Seeing this, our own Bai Qian was immensely pleased. Let my 500 comrades spend recklessly. The more havoc they wreak here, the better. It's only through such actions that I'll become fabulously rich soon. He <laughs> he. And so, the entire staff began to sweep through. One would hold up clothes and say, This set looks nice, it suits you well. Another would point to a sleek handheld gaming device and say, Delicious, delicious, this has been my dream for so long. The women among us held up lipsticks and makeup products, exclaiming, Wow, wow, this lipstick is truly beautiful. The color is versatile for both work and play. So beautiful, so beautiful. Doak Xu eagerly approached a keyboard stand, where a white-shirted young man enthusiastically advised, This is the latest alien mechanical keyboard. If you buy it today, you'll be eligible for a prize draw at our place. Upon hearing this, Doak Xu immediately placed an order. Okay, I'll take this one. Meanwhile, our Bai Qian was sneakily eyeing a phone kiosk secretly thinking, buy quickly, spend all the money, spend it all. Ha <laughs> ha, Lin Wan, standing nearby, noticed the perplexed young man and exclaimed, oh, whoa, what's wrong with CEO Bai? Subsequently, Bai Qian displayed extreme anger, thinking to himself, seriously furious, incredibly infuriating, this group's shopping desires are too reckless. I need to find a solution. 
Next, a bespectacled young man, holding the iPhone 15 Pro Max priced at $3,999, the fanciest and most expensive in the store, proceeded to test it. Surprisingly, our buy Kian stepped forward and said you like it. If you do, just buy it. Upon hearing this, the young man hesitated and replied, Um, CEO buy, I'm just looking around, and besides, I feel like my current phone can last another year, plus $3,999 is a bit expensive. Instantly enraged, Bai Kian coldly said, Expensive, huh? Use the special payment to buy it for me. At this point, the young man was startled, exclaiming, What? Can this be purchased with a special payment too? CEO Bai, how is a phone related to work? Bai Kian retorted, Why wouldn't it be related? In the future, we'll also be working on mobile game development, and it could be used for a new version of Bijang. Buying a phone for testing purposes is justified. The young man broke out in a cold sweat, stuttering, but, but, without pausing, Bai Kian added, and what else? Look at your phone, it's barely functional, on the verge of breaking down. Using this type of phone clearly hampers work efficiency. The limit of the special payment is $3,500. With the shopping card, won't the remaining portion be enough? Quickly change it for me, getting a new phone quickly will help you get a new girlfriend. Fearing the young man reluctantly agreed to comply, yes, CEO buy, I'll buy one right away. Next, Bai Qian glanced over at Kuang Ba, running his hand through his blonde hair, saying, I think you should also consider changing your phone. Huang Ziba chuckled weakly in response. Come on, CEO Bai, I just got a new phone over two months ago. Hearing this, Bai Qian pounced like a wild beast, glaring, I recall your phone being a budget model. How can it meet the demands of our large company? Quickly change it for me. Huang Ziba, petrified, stood frozen like a statue, replying, Yes, yes, let me go check out a few and I'll buy one right away. A while later, Mai Yang stood before a pair of high-quality noise-canceling headphones, priced at $2,999, when a voice suddenly echoed, I remember your headphones were cheap knockoffs from a street vendor, only costing a couple of bucks, right? These latest headphones are $2,999, hurry and grab them, their sensitivity is completely different. Ma Yang, taken aback, stammered in astonishment. Well, what? By Kian, a uh, CEO Bai. But my current job has nothing to do with headphones. Our Bai Kian also jolted to recollection. Then he grabbed Ma Yang's hand, placed the headphones on a desk with a thud, and said, Then prepare for the next task. In the future, you may have to communicate with employees, requiring music and sound effects. Without a decent pair of headphones, whether the company's audio transmissions are good or bad, how would you assess them? Mei Yang scratched his head in confusion. What's this about? Aren't the headphones that come with the company computer good enough? Bai Qian then glared and said, What if after work hours, there's an urgent situation requiring communication with a music production company? Pay for it immediately. Mei Yang, now taking on an eager expression, responded, Yes, CEO Bai, understood. Seeing this, Bai Qian breathed a sigh of relief. Successful plan, he. Lin Wan, standing behind, was silently pondering, CEO Bai isn't buying anything, how odd. Unexpectedly, he spotted Lin Wan. Simultaneously, he asked her, Hey there, why aren't you buying anything? Lin Wan smiled beautifully and replied, Ah he he, well, CEO Bai, I don't lack anything here. He furrowed his brows upon hearing this, silently thinking, Well, Miss Moneybags, with wealth as vast as the mountains, she can do whatever she wants. She's quite capable. Bai Qian began to stroll around the shopping center. At this moment, he thought to himself, The previous system funds were over $1 million, $100,000, spent to the brim. Now there's $570,000 left, and I'll have to spend this final $70,000 myself. After exhausting the $70,000, any additional expenditure can be converted into personal assets at a one-to-one -one ratio. Then he entered a rather VIP store. Meanwhile, Lin Wan followed him curiously, thinking to herself, I wonder what CEO Bai will buy. A while later, everyone excitedly remarked to each other, looks like he's bought quite a bit. Yes, yes, CEO Bai is really generous to us.
After some time, our Bai Kian emerged from the store, adorned with a pile of luxurious items, a $7,299 fountain pen, a $3,288 belt, a $20,588 office bag, and a $41,999 watch. In total, he spent $73,174. He felt joyous inwardly, thinking to himself, Finally, within the system's limits, I've managed to complete with just over $3,000 in losses, heh <laughs> heh. Lin Wan, on the other side, expressed immense admiration. I didn't expect CEO Bei to be so thrifty, spending less than $100,000 in total. Guan Ziba chimed in, the items CEO Bai purchased are all work-related essentials, exemplary for business. Lin Wan responded, Exactly, CEO Bai is very generous with salaries, bonuses, and benefits. Yet when it comes to himself, he's so frugal, it's truly touching, hoo-hoo, truly an angelic boss. In reality, our Bai Qian was silently lamenting, Damn, it took so much struggle just to spend that much, but I only gained over $3,000 in return. I bought everything the system allowed, so frustrating. Suddenly he spoke up, asking, Hey, Secretary Tan, I want to buy a gift for a former colleague who's also a boss. Do you have any suggestions? Upon hearing this, all the female colleagues started discussing among themselves. How about expensive suits, men's kalan, and luxury watches? On his side, Bai Qian sighed inwardly, thinking, No, no, I've already bought everything new that I could, and the system doesn't allow me to purchase the remaining items. Surprisingly, Lin Wan smiled brightly and suggested, why not gift a pair of glasses? A stylish pair of glasses can enhance one's aura and showcase the wearer's sophistication. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian smirked to himself, saying, you're right, where can I find the most expensive glasses? Secretary Tan promptly replied, let me take you there. A while later, he and the beautiful Secretary Tan emerged from the store with incredibly intellectual-looking eyewear accessories, looking extremely handsome and cool. The authentic Gucci glasses priced at $8,199 each. He bought two pairs right away. The employees on his side applauded and gazed with sparkling eyes, exclaiming, Oh my God! CEO Bai bought a pair of glasses for himself too. CEO Bai looks so handsome. How much are those glasses? probably over a thousand dollars. He was delighted to hear this, his eyes twinkling with joy. Simultaneously, he thought to himself, with these two pairs of glasses costing over eight thousand dollars, I finally managed to lose twenty thousand dollars, heh heh. Next, he imagined himself as an astronaut setting foot on the moon, always fresh. This is a small step for me, but a giant leap for the career of defeating the system, he chuckled. Two days later, in Bai Kan's office, he leisurely sipped tea while simultaneously checking the system board. The system was conducting settlements. The current system capital of $478,723 had decreased by $21,276. Undergoing conversion to personal assets at a one-to-one -one ratio, his current personal assets amounted to $21,884. After reviewing this, he felt immensely pleased. Ahihi, the feeling of losing is truly wonderful. I must continue to strive to see how much the next capital will be. Then the system displayed. The next settlement time is in 90 days. The current capital of the client has been replenished, currently standing at $1 million. Additionally, the client has a special task, to open a store in reality, selecting a bustling area or near a university campus. The reward for completing this special task when converting losses, increases by an additional 10% beyond the basic quota. Our Bai Qian's eyes sparkled with excitement as he finished reviewing the task. Great, there's an additional special mission. Moreover, this mission seems to align perfectly with my intentions. It's like a cherry on top, haha. <laughs> because I understand the future trends of 10 years from now. For real-world businesses, it's as simple as this. Decline, rising rental prices, soaring commercial property rates, rapid development of online shopping systems, and an increasing number of homebodies. But that's a story for 10 years from now. If I open a traditional store now, I can make quite a profit. 
Currently, there's an important task at hand, which is to figure out how to get rid of the two obstacles in my way, Wang Ziba and Bao Wixu, from the company. Only then can I quickly become a billionaire, he <laughs> he. The next morning at Bai Qian's company, a man in a white shirt and glasses named Lu Mingliang unexpectedly spoke up. Hey, Huang Ziba, Bao Wixu, quickly take a look. There are many people discussing fiercely about our game online. War of the Sea is causing a sensation with its $888 top-up. Is it genuinely passionate about the profession or just a tumor in the gaming industry? What do they mean by that? Bao Exu and Huang Ziba replied together, We already know. We've been keeping an eye on it. Let them argue. It's none of our business. Huang Ziba, with a radiant face, exclaimed enthusiastically, CEO Bai is truly ingenious. Initially, using Dan Tu to boost the popularity of War of the Sea, then maintaining its hype through the 888 price of the Hu Qi Lin weapon. Bao Xu smiled and replied, As I've said before, everything is within the palm of CEO Bai's hand. Indeed, I thought I was at level 5, but CEO Bai has soared to level 100. How can we compare to CEO Bai's broad vision and foresight? As they were discussing, Bai Qian suddenly approached and said, Everyone, check the messages in the company group. I will start a voting session. This is a confidential vote, so please vote for the person you think is the best employee. There will be a secret reward. The crowd cheered for CEO Bai. Then the beautiful secretary walked up with a box. Meanwhile, Bai Qian was silently contemplating, with Wang Ziba and Bao Wixu here, the task of causing Dang De Company to lose capital will be much more difficult. Keeping these two is not feasible, but directly removing them is not an option either. There's no reason to demote them. As for Lin Wan, I'll observe further. After all, she may have been in contact with other players to test, as she did that task at Tian Hmu. A moment later, Secretary Tan spoke up. Mr. CEO Bai, everyone has finished voting. He responded, Oh, that's great. Now let me see the voting results. First place is Huang Ziba with 14 votes. Second is Bao Aksu with 10 votes. Third is Lin Wan with 3 votes. And Lu Mingliang with 2 votes. Indeed, just as I predicted. Then Secretary Tan unveiled a magnificent shining gold trophy, bearing the inscription Best Employee of the First Quarter at Dang De Network Responsibility Limited Company. Following that, our Bai Qian held it up and presented it to Wang Ziba with golden hair immediately. You've done remarkably well. Congratulations. The young man was utterly surprised and confused. Ha me. Then the crowd below erupted in thunderous applause, congratulating our Huang Ziba. Hooray, hooray, you're amazing, congratulations. On this side, Huang Ziba welled up with tears, deeply moved and choked with emotion. Thank you all so much. I'm grateful for the trust and nurturing of CEO Bai. And I also thank everyone for always cooperating and helping me develop War of the Sea successfully. I feel that the first credit belongs to CEO Bai, who has clearly shown us the right direction. Next is the merit for the sharp flexibility of Bao Xu. Bao Xu scratched his head, chuckled, and replied, Hey he, you're too kind. Huang Ziba continued, Ultimately, the credit belongs to everyone. We have been tirelessly striving. This is the result of effort from all of us. This trophy should belong to everyone. Lin Wan on this side was also enthusiastic, thinking to herself, isn't this what a genuine company should have? Indeed, coming to Dangda is absolutely right. Then our Bai Qian raised both hands and said, oh, all right, next I will give a special reward to the best employee. Wang Ziba, from today onwards, you are no longer part of the design team. Wang Ziba with golden hair was utterly shocked upon hearing this. Really? Am I hearing correctly? The whole crowd below shared a perplexed expression. Not understanding what Bai Qian intended, is CEO Bei joking? But his demeanor seems quite serious. Then Bai Qian raised his hand and said loudly, the supervisory position to implement the plan will be entrusted to Liu Mingliang. The young man on this side also stood still for five seconds, not understanding anything, really, me. At this moment, Huang Ziba was dumbfounded, thinking to himself, what does that mean? Didn't I just receive the best employee award? 
Why would I be fired on the spot? Then Bai Qian turned to Wang Ziba, patting him on the shoulder and saying, You're still an employee of Deng Da, but from now on you won't work in the gaming industry anymore. I've decided to allocate $1 million from the Dream Fund to you. You can choose any field you're passionate about and invest the $1 million to realize that dream. Whether successful or not, the company will bear all the risks for you. Upon hearing this, the young man's eyes lit up. What? Did I hear that right? $1 million. It's unbelievable. Meanwhile, our Bai Qian was silently thinking, Oh yeah, success. This is the best solution I've come up with. This is the rule of eliminating top positions. I'm so clever. Ha 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 ha. Huang Ziba then expressed concern, saying, CEO Bai, I'm afraid I don't have the ability. There's a high chance I'll lose all this money. Listening to this, Bai Qian gave Huang Ziba a strong pat on the shoulder and said, I believe in you wholeheartedly. You must trust yourself. Feeling overwhelmed, the young man reluctantly accepted, Yes, CEO Bai, I will definitely try my best. Bai Qian smiled, but deep down, he was seething with anger, thinking, you may have a talent for game development, so don't work in games anymore, wasting so much of my money. It's infuriating. On this side, everyone was cheering and congratulating Huang Ziba. Hats off to Huang Ziba. Truly amazing. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, come on, you're flattering me too much. Meanwhile, Bai Qian was silently thinking, Huang Ziba has never been in business, so he'll definitely lose this million. Isn't this a perfect double-edged sword? I truly am a genius, he <laughs> he. Suddenly, Bai Qian added, Next is the second reward, which goes to Bao Su. The young man listening was taken aback. Ha, huh, what's CEO Bai saying? Me, yes, although it's only second place, it's regrettable, but the company won't forget your efforts. At this moment, Bao Su was as happy as a child receiving a gift. Oh my gosh, CEO Bai is amazing. Then Bai Qian continued, as the second place winner, you'll have the opportunity for a month-long paid vacation starting tomorrow. You don't need to come to work. Feel free to enjoy yourself elsewhere. The grand gesture overwhelmed Bao Xu, leaving him wide-eyed. What? You're telling me to go out and play. What can I play? Won't it just be sitting in internet cafes? But isn't sitting in an internet cafe as comfortable as being in the office? The young man scratched his head awkwardly and replied, Um, CEO Bai, I don't really need this reward. I find it very good at the company. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian's face turned stern as he approached Bao Xu firmly and said, Game design isn't about taking blind risks. If you want to achieve success in the future, you must broaden your horizons. Do you understand? Yes, I understand, sir. At the same time, Bai Qian added, Later, I'll have my secretary Tan arrange a travel itinerary for you. You must visit all the famous tourist destinations in the country, mark each one, then conduct surveys and study at major domestic gaming companies. This is a job requirement and cannot be refused. Do you understand? Bao Xu, with tears streaming down his face, replied, Yes, yes, CEO Bai, I understand. Then Bai Qian turned and walked away, saying, All right, the evaluation for the best employee of this period ends here. Everyone go rest. Ma Yang, come to my office in a moment. Ma Yang startled, replied, Ha, huh, yes, yes, sir. CEO Bai, I understand now. At the same time, Bai Qian was thinking to himself, Wait until a month later when Bao Xu returns. The draft design of the new project will be completed early. No matter how good Bao Xu's creativity is, it won't be effective. He <laughs> he. A moment later in the office of CEO Bai Qian, Ma Yang spoke up. Hey Bai Qian, even though you're my boss now, considering our brotherly relationship, I have to give you some advice. I don't think it's right for you to let Lu Mingliang take over Huang Ziba's job. I don't see any special capability in Lu Mingliang. If he can handle the planning department, then I think I can do it too. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian replied, Come on, let's have some tea together. Rest assured, our brotherly bond, how could I treat you unfairly? I haven't assigned you any important position because I have an even more important task in mind for you. Next, it's about the key development area that Dane De Company is aiming for. I'm preparing to assign it to you. How do you feel about it? Mayang's face lit up with excitement. Really? 
Then Bai Qian immediately showed Mai Yang some images and said, Take a look, these are prime business locations in Jingzhou City. I'm considering selecting the best place to open a chain of large internet cafes, and I'm entrusting this entirely to you. Do you think that's okay? After the youth finished listening, he broke out in a cold sweat and stood frozen for a few seconds. Bai Qian, the important position you mentioned, is the owner of a chain of internet cafes. Immediately, Bai Qian firmly replied, It's not just any internet cafe. It's a chain of gaming experience cafes, hardware sales, movie watching, and providing other experiences, forming a large entertainment center. Our goal is to become a leading company in the gaming entertainment, hardware, and other service industries. This is a significant step for the company. With such an important task, I cannot trust anyone else. It must be entrusted to you. As he spoke, Bai Qian slapped Mei Yang's shoulder with great force. The laid-back Mei Yang felt extremely surprised, then took a deep breath, finished his tea, and firmly responded, All right, Bai Qian, you can trust me. I will definitely complete the mission. Bai Qian readily replied, Then get to it. If we lack talent, just recruit. There's no budget limit. Mei Yang then set his teacup down and said, Okay, Bai Qian, I'll start planning. Bai Qian added further instructions. Don't forget the standards for decorating the shops. Use our company as the benchmark. Don't compromise. Got it. At this, Mai Yang pounded his chest confidently. I understand, Bai Qian. You can trust me. I'll take care of everything. Then the youth decisively went out, closing the door with a bang. On this side, Bai Qian grinned mischievously, thinking to himself, Indeed, you can't rely on outsiders. In the end, it's still about relying on your own people. The failure of War of the Sea largely came from my misplaced trust in Huang Ziba and Bao Xu. Currently, Huang Ziba has left with a million for other ventures, but I forced Bao Xu to take leave. I've entrusted the gaming section to Lu Mingliang and the Net Cafe venture to the incompetent Mai Yang. In the next balance sheet, we'll likely incur losses of $700,000 to $800,000. Hehe. <laughs> I truly am cosmically intelligent. The scene shifted to February 3rd in the meeting room of Dengda Company. At this moment, only a few members remained, bustling around. Ha ha ha. They were all waiting for CEO Bai Qian to speak first. Meanwhile, Lu Mingliang, recently promoted to department head, was feeling the weight of devising the company's plan as if a mountain was pressing down on him. Simultaneously, he was silently pondering, Yesterday, Bao Xto started his leave, and Huang Ziba hasn't been around lately. Both key figures are absent. I have to handle the tasks, but what if something goes wrong? Hulu. Unexpectedly, our Bai Qian chimed in. Hello, everyone. Regarding the new game, I already have an idea. This time, we need to create a game that can go down in history books. Its name will be Game Designer. Upon hearing this, Lin Wan was startled and thought to herself, Ha ha, CEO Bai wants to adapt Dengda's gaming industry into a game, but how can this theme be turned into a game? Then Bai Qian continued, The game's concept is simple. Players take on the role of a game designer. In the game, players must make decisions, each choice leading to different outcomes. For example, they can freely choose the game genre, payment methods, marketing strategies, and encounter unexpected challenges. Ultimately, players will research and invent a game, observing its profits and market consumption after its release. That's the gist of it. If anyone has any questions, feel free to speak up. Lu Mingliang and a colleague exchanged puzzled looks, their four eyes meeting like golden deer in a green field. Seeing this, our Bai Qian chuckled mischievously, feeling immensely pleased inside. Ha 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 ha, all baffled, aren't you? Indeed, as I planned, nobody has ever tackled this theme, plus the content isn't appealing, and there's only one way to play. This time it's definitely going to flop, ha 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 ha. Unexpectedly, Lu Mingliang raised his hand to voice his opinion, Hey CEO Bai, what's the presentation style of this game? Is it similar to indie games, narrative-driven role-playing adventure genre, right? On the other side, Bai Qian hesitated for a moment before replying, no, it's not. We have to create all scenes in 3D. Everything must be the highest quality 3D models, regardless of characters or scenes. All must be top-notch for me. 
At the same time, our bike Kian was secretly smugly thinking, how much can you spend on a narrative-driven adventure game? Even if the graphics are flawed, even if you hire famous voice actors, it'll only cost $200,000 to $300,000. Isn't that useless? You have to spend more to get rich quickly. Ha <laughs> ha. Lu Mingliang's eyes widened, his mouth gaping in utter horror. Ha. Huh? Everything in 3D models. For this narrative-driven adventure game. Next, Bai Qian began to rub his head inside, saying, Why are you so lacking in knowledge about narrative-driven adventure games? We need to use a more abstract and modern approach to create this game. My idea is to create a flowchart-style map of square grids, where each grid represents a room, and each line of the flowchart represents a corridor, with each room having a door leading to the corridor, representing the different choices of each player. Players move along the corridors, which represent the process of choosing branches of the diagram, while the different rooms are the outcomes of these choices. After hearing this, the youth with glasses froze. What on earth is this? The more I hear, the more confusing it gets. What kind of game is this, using 3D models to create large scenes like that, but in the end, you can only go around in circles. It's too much pressure. Can I even do this? Well, forget it. Let's just record it for now and figure it out later. At this moment, Lin Wan raised her hand to speak. Um, CEO Bai, I think this is a quite innovative design concept. If players just wander around, won't they get bored? Upon hearing this, Bai Qian rubbed his chin, silently thinking, bored. Bored is good. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, but yes. If it's just boredom, I'm afraid it won't make players stop completely. Ah, I got it. Next, he came up with an idea. We can add dialogues to the game. Finding it odd, Lin Wan asked, Dialogues? Bai Qian promptly replied, Exactly, that's a way to communicate with the players. We use dialogues to interact with them. For example, if they choose a wrong option, it will trigger dialogue A, and if they choose the correct one, it will trigger dialogue B. At this moment, our Bai Qian was imagining the character playing the game like this. Having dialogues is great. You followed my suggestion, purchased value-added services, and made a ton of money. Why refuse, right? But next, you'll face a new dilemma. Choosing between VIP or regular packages. Personally, I think it's best to choose the VIP package. If you choose the regular one because of the price, why not just buy the VIP outright and have everything included? Then comes the next dialogue. Oh, 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 I know right away, of course, you'll choose this one. Caught between money and dreams, you choose money. No need to explain, I get it. It's a common thing, nothing new. Fools like you in this game lack nothing, always clueless characters. Following that, Bai Qian elaborated, This way, every time a choice is presented, there will be feedback, so you won't feel lonely and bored anymore. Lin Wan, upon hearing this, showed immense admiration. Wu Dou Yu Bo Wu So CEO Bai has considered everything comprehensively. It's amazing that CEO Bai could think of this. Truly a design genius. Then Bai Qian gave the order, we need to have a design discussion within three days, complete the entire process within a week, and finish the artistic resource part within two weeks. Any issues? On this side, Lu Mingliang confidently declared, CEO Bai, rest assured, I guarantee the task will be completed. Bai Qian replied, Okay, good, let's proceed like that. Let's adjourn the meeting. A while later, in CEO Bai Khan's office, he lifted his teacup and said, so, Mai Yang, it's been three days. Have you made any selections yet? Mai Yang startled, responded, Ha, huh, nothing yet. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian sprayed out all the tea from his mouth. He mischievously thought to himself, Truly formidable. Indeed, only my brother Mai Yang can help alleviate my worries. If everyone else is as clueless as him, I would have already drained the system's funds into my own pocket long ago. Next, Mai Yang playfully raised his hand and said, Hey Bai Qian, I think the main task for now is to find a suitable person to help me. As he spoke, the young man grinned brightly like a flower. On the other side, our Bai Qian rubbed his chin, silently thinking, Well that's good, but Mai Yang is easily influenced by others. If he finds someone too clever, I'll be in trouble. Then Bai Qian asked again, So how are you planning to find someone to help? Mei Yang, scratching his head in embarrassment, replied, 
I found a talent on Forum X. I'm trying to lure him with a large sum of money to work for us. After hearing this, Bai Kian thought to himself, Holy shit, Forum X, it's a place full of boastful youngsters, and there's no shortage of cunning ones either. Statistically speaking, the probability of him finding a fake talent is quite high. Bai Kian responded, Well, that's quite okay, but elaborate more. Mei Yang excitedly replied, I think if we want to open a cyber cafe, the key point is to have the right computers. Nowadays, it's definitely hard to buy branded computers. To have a decent configuration, we can only hire someone to assemble them. The people I found are the owners of a graphic card group. They look pretty cool. They're quite famous on Forum X. After hearing this, Bai Kian affirmed with a confident gesture, Okay, no problem. Very good, very good. Meanwhile, he thought to himself, just as I predicted, those Forum X idols are just a bunch of cocky youngsters, thinking they're graphic design experts. It's amusing to think about, but when the Forum X guru discusses upgrading computers, they're willing to spend $23,000 per unit. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Superb. Haha. -ha. Following that, Bai Kian decisively placed the teacup on the table and said, We absolutely must recruit this guru. Remember to treat him well, raise the price. Only when the guru has more money can he equip us with good computers. In his heart, he was as happy as a flower, silently thinking, Oh guru, my money depends on your destructive talent, ha <laughs> ha. Then Bai Qian rushed over to Ma Yang like a rocket and added, To invite a skilled recluse down the mountain, how can we not pay them $8,000 a month? Upon hearing this, Mai Yang responded wearily, Bai Qian, no need to hide it. My current salary is only $5,000. Bai Qian then vigorously draped his arm over Mai Yang's shoulder and said, How could I skimp on you? Wait until we successfully complete this task. I'll raise your salary right away and even share some commission with you. The young man, feeling delighted, exclaimed, All right, all right, you can trust me. Even if I have to kneel down, I will still complete this task. Bai Qian, I'm off to work right away. Following that, Mai Yang hurriedly went out and closed the door with a bang, while Bai Qian silently pondered, the basics of the game are fine, and with Mai Yang being supported by the Forum X elder, it should be okay. It's just Huang Ziba's side left, haven't seen him around these days, wonder how he plans to spend that one million dollars. Moving on to February 8th, unexpectedly, Lu Mingliang knocked on Bai Kuan's door and said, Hello CEO Bai, it's Mingliang. Bai Qian invited him in, and Lu Mingliang, holding a document, said, The draft of the game designer game has been completed. Please take a look. Bai Qian was watching Anheim. After finishing, she exclaimed, That was fast. Have you been working overtime for more than nine hours lately? Okay, sit down and tell me. Mingliang entered the room and replied, It's just that lately, I've been feeling very inspired with high productivity, but I never exceed the overtime limit set by you. Then Bai Qian took the draft and said, Okay, well done. Your performance is excellent. In Bai Qian's mind, she thought, Last time, I didn't understand the additional details in the design draft, so the final product was far from my idea. This time, I must learn from that experience. Meanwhile, Lu Mingliang also worried, I hope none of it will be discarded. After a while, Bai Qian spent the whole session making the bespectacled youth explain every detail thoroughly. Here and here, I think we should revise this part, and also this one. At this point, the young man was sweating profusely and thought to himself, Back then, Huang Ziba submitted the first design draft of War of the Sea to CEO Bai. CEO Bai just glanced at it and made a decision right away, showing that Huang Ziba's draft was perfect. CEO Bai was very confident, while my draft is far from perfect. CEO Bai is worried that I won't be able to handle it, which is why he's helping me scrutinize the draft meticulously, continuously asking for adjustments. It's really tough. Then Bai Qian closed his eyes, immersing himself in the character in the game, imagining the entire journey from start to finish. He strolled through the corridors, then through each door to explore. Finally, he opened his eyes and saw a weary face, thinking to himself, How dull, the whole journey lacks any standout actions, nor any special interactions. It's like just watching a movie. Just thinking about it makes me feel bored. 
After that, he handed the draft back to Lu Mingliang and exclaimed excitedly, Okay, this is great. Just follow this draft. Next, Bai Qian thought, plus there will be NPCs lurking around players to provoke them, making players unable to immerse themselves. They'll curse nonstop. It's strange that such a lame game wouldn't be criticized to bits, ha 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 ha. After finishing dealing with Lu Mingliang's nonsense game work, he turned to embark on the journey of recruiting idols for Mai Yang's internet cafe. The scene shifted to a fairly large bar in the city. At this moment, a bartender was mixing something, and suddenly an angry manager shouted, Hey, Chang Yuan, come here quickly, we've got a customer ordering drinks. The guy with orange hair replied, Okay, okay, I'm coming right away, just finishing wiping my hands. Then he took the stage to present a very VIP music piece. One day my father, he told me, son, don't let it slip away. The guy's name is Chang Yuan, 29 years old, a singer and bartender at the bar. By around 2 a.m., the bar had emptied out, and the two of them began to tidy up and prepare to close. Before leaving, he reminded himself to lock the door. Okay, don't worry, I'll take care of it. While lazily cleaning up, Chang Yuan's phone suddenly rang. Finding it strange, he muttered to himself, What's this? Who's texting me at this hour? Then he sneakily opened it to read. As soon as he opened it, his mouth dropped open, and his eyes widened with extreme horror. The message read, Greetings, esteemed sir. Have you had a chance to visit Jingzhou recently? I have a job opportunity to introduce to you. I'll cover all travel and accommodation expenses, plus an additional $3,000 hardship fee. This is a deposit to express my sincerity. Glancing over it, he couldn't believe his eyes. Who on earth is this wealthy person? The next morning, the young man set off for Jingzhou immediately. Upon arrival, he stood there looking extremely disillusioned and said, Holy heck, isn't Dangda the company that produces Gijang in War of the Sea? A company in such a VIP building, I wonder why they call me here. As soon as he stepped inside, the secretary, tan, plump and beautiful, welcomed him immediately. At this moment, she spoke softly, You must be Chang Yuan, right? The young man replied, Yes, yes, I'm Chang Yuan. Please lead the way, CEO Bai is waiting for me. Then the secretary led the young man, dressed in red with orange hair, straight into Bai Qian's room. Upon entering, she said, CEO Bai, Chang Yuan is here. Our Bai Qian immediately smiled and replied, Please have a seat, let's make ourselves comfortable, no need to be overly formal, let's enjoy some tea together. Chang Yuan responded, Yes, of course, CEO Bai. At the same time, the young man was nervous, fidgety, sweating profusely, secretly thinking to himself, Really? Why would such a big boss like him seek me out? To perform cocktail tricks, or perhaps singing? It's really hard to understand. Or maybe both cocktail tricks and singing at the same time. That's impossible. I'm so worried. Then our Bai Qian raised his teacup and said, For a computer, if you want to smoothly play heavy games nowadays, how would you arrange it and what would be the acceptable price? After hearing this, Chang Yuan thought to himself, Ah, so they want me to assemble a computer. They must know our group's reputation on Forum X. Looking at CEO Bai, you can tell he's not short of money. Tricking him wouldn't be wise. Instead, I have to do it perfectly. Normally, I earn between $3,000 to $4,000 for a job. Just taking the capital this time should be fine. That way, I can also consider myself friends with the boss. Relationships are more important than money he. Next, Chang Yuan said, As per your request, I think we can use the i7-9900 CPU with the V10X58 Eclipse motherboard. For RIAM, we can go with the TR3X6G1600C9 from the selected store. And for the graphics card, we can consider the GTX 1650. The power supply, computer case, hard drive, mouse and headset can be of this type. Doing so would cost around $15,000, but actually the cost should be around $60,000. If you were to go to a computer assembly company with a similar configuration, you might end up being overcharged by up to $20,000. After listening, Bai Qian replied, The way you suggest assembling it, these games can indeed be played smoothly for now. But think about the future, if there are new games coming out, would this configuration be sufficient? We need to have foresight and a broad view, 
so add an extra $10,000 to it. The young man, Chang Yuan in his red shirt, seemed utterly stunned. Ha, huh, an additional $10,000? Oh, well, um, yes, all right, we'll go for a better quality. The other items should follow suit. So using this type, the total would be $25,000. With this assembly method, it won't become outdated for the next two to three years. After hearing this, Bai Qian also replied, That sounds good. At the same time, he thought to himself, Based on the demand for opening a cyber cafe, that's the limit of the system alert. Can't go beyond that. Oh, how boring. Meanwhile, Chang Yuan was also silently contemplating, Actually, a set around $26,000. I can accept a loss of $1,000 to establish a connection with CEO Bai. Later on, with a relationship established, I'll profit back later. Then our Bai Qian gently said, Okay, that's good, let's proceed like that. For now, assemble 50 sets first. As soon as he heard this, the young man in the red shirt spurted his sip of tea right in Bai Qian's face. Truly evil. Out of options, the young man had to speak frankly. Yes, CEO Bai, I find it odd to receive a $3,000 hardship fee, so I was thinking of allocating $1,000 to befriend you. But if you want to assemble 50 sets, I'd be losing $50,000, I'd have to sell my house. Bai Qian was startled and asked back, Ha, huh, you think that's wrong. You should accept the $3,000 hardship fee. Why would you want to refund it to me? I can't let you work for free either. Besides the $3,000 hardship fee for each computer, I'll give you a $200 assembly fee. After hearing this, Chang Yuan responded awkwardly, Uh, is that really good? Then Bai Qian raised his finger and clicked the like button, saying, Actually, I'm preparing to open a cyber cafe. If conditions are suitable, would you agree to work in Jingzhou City? Young Chang Yuan, upon hearing this, was shocked. Tears welled up in his eyes, filled with excitement. If conditions are suitable, of course, I'll agree. At the same time, he was silently thinking to himself, Oh shit, this boss is so generous, the perks must be pretty good. Ha 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 ha. This time, my life is changing. Then Bai Qian said, Okay, great, so tell me a little about your previous work. At this point, Chang Yuan responded, Downtrodden, I'm a singer at a bar and also work as a bartender. I lead a small group on Forum X. Now the young man's tears were flowing steadily, feeling pitiful, silently lamenting. It's over. CEO Bai values my understanding of computers and hardware. That's why he wants to hire me. But my background is so dull, I might have to go back to working at the bar. Hoo hoo. Unexpectedly, our Bai Qian enthusiastically replied, Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. A talented and versatile young man. I really like that. After hearing this, Chang Yuan was utterly astonished, not understanding what was happening. Ha, huh, what are you talking about? Following that, Bai Qian added, so I can set up a bar counter in the cyber cafe for you. Oh, and since you're also a singer, you'll get three times the salary. He immediately called the new secretary with a cunning tone. Hey, Secretary Tan, could you please draft a contract for me? Shortly after, she brought the contract and said, Yes, CEO Bai, here's the contract. He took it and replied, Okay, thank you very much. Then he handed it directly to the young man and said, Managing the cyber cafe, acting as a bartender, and being a singer. The total salary for all three positions per month is $14,000. Take a look and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. The young man stood still for a moment, completely stunned, and responded, Yes, yes, of course. With the contract in hand, tears welled up in his eyes as he silently thought, no issues, no hidden traps. The $14,000 salary is clearly stated, black and white, hoo-hoo, it's truly touching. Chang Yuan signed without hesitation, exclaiming, unbelievable. A poor guy like me finally turns his life around. Next, there was a knock on the door, and a voice said, hey Bai Qian, it's me Ma Yang. Bai Qian invited Ma Yang in. Has Mai Yang entered, he excitedly exclaimed, How do you feel? I told you this is a very trustworthy expert. Chang Yuan modestly replied, Oh, it's nothing. Really, you're too kind. Following that, Bai Qian patted Mai Yang on the back enthusiastically and said, That's great, you did a fantastic job. 
On the other side, the young man in the red shirt, Chang Yuan, thought to himself, Wow, so this is the person who led me here. He seems simple-minded, but he's definitely not ordinary. Then Mai Yang opened his tablet and said, Let Bai Qian have a look. Hey Bai Qian, I've checked out the location for the Cyber Cafe. It's roughly around here. I've done a survey of the area, and the surroundings seem fine. The decoration is good, and moreover, the building is quite new. It turns out to be a fancy restaurant, but business isn't doing well, so they're looking to shut down. That's why they're transferring ownership. The business area is about 3,000 square meters, and the rent is $315,000 per month. I find the rent price very suitable and practical. What do you think, Bai Qian? On the other side, Chang Yuan was taken aback, his mouth agape, silently pondering, is it his mind that's the problem or mine? Why isn't he considering why this restaurant is closing? This location is only near a small commercial area, and it's also separated by a road. Customers will be drawn away by the commercial area. So what's the point of doing business here? The rent may not be expensive, but fundamentally, this place is not suitable. Should I say something? But I'm new here, surely my mind isn't as good as theirs. Then Mai Yang continued, Hey Bai Qian, take a look at this place. Bai Qian immediately responded, Great, great, it looks very good. I like it, let's finalize it. As he spoke, Bai Qian clapped his hands enthusiastically, feeling thrilled. Mai Yang raised his hand to like the comment, replying, I knew Bai Qian would surely like it. On this side, from one surprise to another, Chang Yuan couldn't comprehend what was happening. Unbelievable. Is he kidding me? Well, CEO Bai has agreed anyway, so if I speak up now, wouldn't it just cause trouble? Then Bai Qian raised his hand and said, let me go over the plan a bit. When the time comes, you two just carry on. The internet cafe is just one of the business ventures of the establishment, so we'll only set up 50 computer sets. The pricing will be $10 per hour. We need to plan a bar counter, all done to a five-star standard. Chang Yuan knows how to mix drinks, right? So in his spare time, he can mix a few drinks for the customers. Next to the bar counter is the guest reception area with some soft background music. Chang Yuan can also sing, right? When he's in the mood, he can sing a few songs, that's fine. Besides, this place used to be a restaurant. We'll keep the kitchen in the back, hire a chef to make some daily dishes like Fanky Cho Dan Wan, Ru Zhu Sai, Xiang Yu Yumi Xin Sai, and others. The second floor will have an exhibition area where we can casually sell some commonly used equipment, no profit required just to recoup the investment. Next to it will be a small movie theater, a private cinema, with about 10 seats. Hmm, doing it this way should be quite decent. Mei Yang listened while entering the plan into the computer and silently thought, no wonder he's the CEO by, he's really good. Next, our Bai Qian turned to Chang Yuan and said, What do you think? This is called small but complete, he <laughs> he. After listening, the young man broke out in a cold sweat, utterly puzzled. Isn't that a mixed hot pot? So people are supposed to come there to play games and eat hot pot or drink coffee? Moreover, who can afford $10 per hour? Then Bai Qian turned to Mai Yang and pointed out, saying, The effectiveness of these things is very good. Just do it like that when the time comes. Mai Yang, with a confident smirk, replied, You can trust me, I'll take care of everything. On this side, Chang Yuan was in deep thought, holding his head in his hands. It's really frustrating. People want a menu featuring high-end wines up front, but behind the scenes, it's all Fanky Chow Dan Wan, Ru Zhu Sai, who would want to eat that. It's just incomprehensible and unbearable. The young man was about to voice his suggestion. Well, CEO Bai, I think, before I could say anything, our Bai Qian here just went ahead and shut it down. This store is the first step that Dengda Corporation wants to experiment with, so don't worry about the initial capital loss. This is a large-scale entertainment complex. It takes time for people to adjust. The important thing is to gradually change people's habits. After hearing that, the young man sighed in resignation, holding his head. Well, if CEO Bai said not to worry about the initial capital loss, then let's just go for it. Next, Mai Yang chuckled and said, Everything's fine, Bai Qian, we're on it. Our Bai Qian replied promptly, Very good, very good, I believe you guys will succeed wonderfully. 
Keep up the good work. Meanwhile, Chang Yuan remained silent, thinking to himself, Well, my salary is over $10,000, which is great. Transitioning to Deng Da's office, all the employees are striving hard. In the CEO's office, Bai Qian was pondering, stroking his chin, it's going quite well. Lu Mingliang and Mai Yang have finished their arrangements. Now it's Huang Ziba's turn. Huang Ziba hasn't been coming to work lately, I need to check on his progress. He then messaged Huang Ziba promptly. Hey Huang Ziba, how's the dream project going? Have you figured it out? Have you thought carefully about which sector to invest in? Huang Ziba promptly replied, I've decided on the direction CEO by, I've chosen the television sector. Actually, it's always been my dream, but it was too challenging, so I opted for the gaming industry. Now that there's an opportunity, I've decided to pursue my dream once and for all. He looked up with surprise. Oh, television sector, huh? That's even better. Television industry burns through capital quickly, haha. <laughs> But to be sure, I need to ask a few more questions. Then he pulled out his phone and dialed immediately. Hello, it's me. Hey Huang Ziba, do you have enough capital? I can invest more for you. Guang Ziba responded awkwardly. Um, CEO Bai, it's not necessary, really. You've already provided one million for the Dream Fund. How could I ask for more? Bai Qian replied promptly. It's all right, it's all right. Where are you now? Do you have a script? Have you found a director? If you're free, come to the company for a chat. Huang Ziba stood outside the company building, feeling overwhelmed, and replied, Yes, CEO Bai, I found a director. I'm currently outside our company building. All right, CEO Bai, I'll be there shortly. Then he hung up and glanced at a bespectacled young man, saying, Let's go. CEO Bai is waiting for us in the office. A while later, Huang Ziba and the bespectacled young man pushed open the door and entered Bai Qian's office. Simultaneously, Huang Ziba introduced CEO Bai. This is the director I invited, a fourth-year student majoring in directing at Handong University. His name is Zhu Xiaoxiu. He also extended his hand in a friendly gesture, saying, Hello CEO Bai, nice to meet you. After hearing that, Har Bai Qian's confidence took a 50% leap thinking to himself, fourth-year student, ha, huh? fantastic, fantastic. No matter how talented the director is, they surely lack experience, which could stir up some trouble. But this deal seems solid, he <laughs> he. Then Bai Qian said, all right, hey, let's sit down and talk. What are you planning to shoot? Will one million be enough? Huan Ziba waved his hand reassuringly, don't worry, we're planning a small-scale shoot, just a few short videos. The post-production and equipment requirements are low, so it won't cost much. Short videos, you know. At the same time, Bai Qian's confidence took a hit, dropping to 20%. Why did he have a bad feeling about this? Next, Bai Qian asked, are you planning to shoot a short film called Wan Wan Xiang Bu Dao? The two young men looked puzzled and replied, Wan Wan Xiang Bu Dao, what's that? Bai Qian chuckled lightly, he he, it's nothing, it's nothing. So have you finalized the specific content? Do you have a script? At that moment, his confidence took another 50% dip. Next, Zhu Xiaoxiu replied, Yes, CEO Bai, we want to shoot you. Bai Qian was surprised to hear that. Ha ha, shoot me. Huang Ziba began to explain, Actually, this is something I personally want to advertise. On this side, Zhu Xiaoxiu added, I also heard from Huang Ziba that you are a master in the industry, so I want to capture some interesting aspects of your daily work. Finding it strange, Bai Qian asked again, what interesting aspects of my daily work? He was also thinking to himself, I'm super lazy, can count the number of times I've been to the company on my fingers. And now my confidence has plummeted by 80%, he <laughs> he. If it sounds dull, it can't be hot, and if it's not hot, it can't be advertised. The probability of losing capital is very high. Then Zhu Xiaoxiu said, exactly just a few daily routines of yours and we'll shoot it in the style of short videos. You just need to follow the script. That's right, in the first week, we'll choose the script and then we'll find you to shoot right away. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian raised his hand and said, wait, wait, will it cost the entire one million to do it your way? At the same time, Bai Qian was thinking to himself, want to shoot my daily work, 
Surely they'll take the area where I work as the documentary, reducing the filming fee immediately. Props, costumes, none of those are necessary. How can we not incur losses like this? Xiu Xiaoshu replied, CEO Bai, rest assured, Huang Ziba and I have negotiated. We will pay you and the other employees. Although I know you don't lack this bit of money, it's also a little gesture. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian was utterly perplexed, compensation. Then Huang Ziba added, exactly, expenses for the venue, equipment purchase, post-production editing, and the like will all be covered for you. The remaining funds will be allocated to advertising. At this point, Bai Qian was shocked to the core, venue expenses too. Is that even necessary? Following that, Zdu Xiaoshu remarked, we plan to shoot 30 episodes, each lasting one minute. As for compensation, you, as the main character, will receive $100,000 per episode, while others will get $200 per episode. Regarding the venue fee, we'll provide $50,000 for you. Do you find this acceptable? At this moment, Huang Ziba scratched his head and added, That's right, that's right. Although this amount isn't substantial, you probably don't need it. But we can't let others work for nothing either. Upon reaching this point, Bai Qian rubbed his chin and pondered to himself, Paying compensation to myself. Something feels off. Let's see. Then he immediately held a non-urgent discussion conference in his mind. Rare opportunities like this don't come often. To seize the chance, we have to hold a meeting. Bai Qian grabbed a hammer and struck a nail, saying, I'll give Huang Ziba one million, telling him to invest it randomly. In the end, Huang Ziba comes back with this one million to invite me as the main character in the small video, and also pays compensation. What do you all think? Bai Qian, clutching his gaming device, exclaimed in panic, money goes out in a loop and comes back to my pocket. So I'm using my own money to hire myself. That's it. I'm doomed. Then Bai Qian placed the coffee cup on the table, gave it a tap and said, hold on, it's not exactly like that. This is an opportunity to convert system capital into personal assets. The whole group on this side also startled, realizing, that's right. Then Bai Qian adjusted his bow tie and inquired, Hey, can my system receive compensation? The wealth conversion system promptly responded, The host selling labor to earn compensation is valid but cannot engage in fraud. Converting system financial assets into wages is only permissible within the reasonable market price range. The group, hearing this, raised their hands in delight, cheers, haha, we can, we can. The system allows it. One episode for a thousand yuan, 30 episodes makes $30,000. What are we waiting for? Let's get to work. Bai Qian exclaimed cheerfully, no charge for the filming location, and as for compensation. If you're willing, I'm happily on board with that he. Upon hearing this, Duke Xiaoshuo immediately pulled out his backpack and said, thank you, CEO Bai. Let's sign the contract then. Although it's just a formality, please review the terms. For now, we'll advance 30% of the compensation to you. Our Bai Qian casually glanced over the contract and responded, We've come this far, no need to read it all. He <laughs> he. Simultaneously, he thought to himself, Wang Di Ba's company is named Fi Huang, ha? Huh? That's a clever name. It implies money flying away quickly. Clever, very clever. Then Bai Qian asked again, just to confirm, you didn't name the product Wan Wan Chiang Gu Dao, did you? The two young men looked bewildered like deer in headlights and replied, Ha! Huh, we didn't name it, why would you think that? At this moment, Bai Qian's confidence had reached its peak, up to 100%. Bai Qian said, Ha ha, I was just kidding. Next, Huang Ziba said, Then we won't bother CEO Bai anymore. We'll go back and write scripts for the official film shoots, and then come back. Bai Qian replied, Okay, good. I won't see you off then. Then the two went out and closed the door, creating a loud noise. In the room, Bai Qian was thinking, this system is truly amazing. Get a job and immediately have $30,000 in my pocket. Ha <laughs> ha. Later, the two guys cried out loud, living dangerously, aiming to make money, but only earning a measly $20,000. Why didn't we think of this earlier? He, we're about to get rich. The next morning, at Huang Ziba's house, the two guys were discussing the film project. Zhu Xiaoshu said, 
CEO Bai has supported us a lot. I believe this project will be successful. However, we need to decide on the script. Then they both raised their glasses in celebration and pondered what would happen next. The chairman praised me for being handsome. A night of luxury. Cheers. Cheers. Next, the two focused on reading mountains of documents and scripts. Finally, after a few hours, they became angry and threw the papers on the ground, saying, No, no good, nothing outstanding, not new, not inspiring at all. Suddenly, Huang Ziba came up with an idea. Wait a minute, I've got it. Noticing the curiosity, Zhu Xiaoshou asked again, Ha, huh, what's that? Then Huang Ziba smirked and said, Do you remember CEO Bei kept repeating a question? Xiu Xiaoshu on this side, also astonished, recalled the question CEO Bai kept repeating. Ah, yes, that's right. CEO Bai asked, You guys didn't name it Wan Wan Chiang Gu Dao, did you? At this point, a phoenix flew by. Huang Zi Bai immediately responded, Yes, that's it. That's CEO Bai's obsession. Wan Wan Chiang Gu Dao, that's what we're missing. Upon hearing this, Xiu Xiaoshu's eyes sparkled with countless stars shining brightly as he replied, so that's it. We want to capture CEO Bai's ordinary days in a simple and humble way. Just recording like that won't fully leverage the advantage of short videos. If we want to deeply impress the viewers in just one minute, we must surprise them. There must be a twist. We've got a direction, now let's refine it a bit. Break through CEO Bai's image while adding a twist. Also, sprinkle in some sarcasm and dark humor. Let's make that decision and just go for it, he <laughs> he. Next, on February 9th, Huang Ziba and Zhu Xiaoshou, along with two lighting technicians, borrowed from Deng the company, began filming at Bai Qian's company. The whole group entered Bai Qian's room, startling him. At the same time, Zhu Xiaoshou said, Hey CEO Bai, this shoot is exceptionally simple, just a few scenes, even you don't need to read the script or speak lines, there will be post-production sound effects. Perplexed, Bai Qian asked again, Huh, no need to read the script or say lines, is that so? Zhu Xiaoshu responded hesitantly, Ah, uh, yes, yes, you're so busy, we don't want to take up much of your time. A moment later, Zhu Xiaoshu, the young man in the golden jacket, began signaling for filming to start. Scene 1, you're lying on the sofa in the reception room, raising your hand to glance at your Rolex? Scene 2, you are holding a gaming magazine flipping to the page of the game introduction poster, casually pointing with your finger. The next scene, a smirk on your lips, eyes looking distant, portraying a cool demeanor. In less than three minutes, they finished shooting. Then Huang Ziba signaled to stop, cut, CEO Bai performed really well. Next, Zhu Xiaoshu said, all right, CEO Bai, filming is done, you can continue with your work. Bai Qian replied, Okay, good, everyone has worked hard. But deep down, he couldn't understand it all. Finished, huh? What are these young folks filming? Then he chuckled to himself, These short video shoots, even lacking plot twists, are surely a loss, ha <laughs> ha. Sitting on the salon chair, Bai Qian whispered to himself, But it's rather economical, even this kind of prop they're giving to me. Suddenly, he noticed something. Wait a minute, the Rolex watch. Why does scene one want me to admire a Rolex watch? Why does it say I'm lying on the salon chair admiring it? Moreover, why does it want me to smile with a deep and mysterious expression? Something's not right. Trouble is brewing. With that, he dashed to the door in a flash. Then he stretched out his hand, eyes gazing into the distance and said, Hey, director Zhu, please stop. Zhu Xiaoshuo in the golden jacket turned back in surprise and asked, What's wrong, CEO Bai? Is there something else? Can I see the script of the short video? Zhu Xiaoshuo couldn't understand why our Bai Qian was acting strange. Of course you can, please take a look. CEO Bai, if there's nothing else, we'll head to editing. Bai Qian replied with a faint smile, Ha ha, take your time, I won't see you off. Then he rushed into the closed room in a flurry of excitement. Sweating profusely, he opened the script to have a look. The script depicts a typical day in the life of CEO Bai. I glance at the Rolex not to check the time, but to casually show off my wealth. I casually sell a Rolex, and the assembly begins researching a financial innovation with $200,000. After an hour, this task is passed on to the new interns, leaving three quarters of the money. 
Looking at the resource station quotes, I feel comforted. The employees also seem honest. This time I let the interns research financial innovation, leaving 50000 I heard he wants to use $5,000 to develop a game. His expression varied greatly, from dreamy to skeptical, amazed, pleading, and finally, enduring, quite interesting. I'm very happy. It seems that someone like me, who once ruled the business world, finally had to taste failure once. Wan Wan Xiang Budao, in the end, I still managed to create a game that captivated players. The intern made a boring eight-hour driving game but was loved by players. In just two weeks, the consumption reached $20,000. The main designer, the future star. I felt satisfied and joyful, completing yet another small goal, the mundane life of a designer, so simple and dry like that. After reading, our Bai Qian froze as if he had been electrocuted. Oh no, it's all falling apart. Isn't this the combination of Zhu Yidan's dry life and Wan Wan Xiang Bu Dao? I specifically asked not to shoot Wan Wan Xiang Bu Dao. How did this happen? What should I do? Wan Wan Xiang Bu Dao and Zhu Yidan's dry life, both very successful short videos, and this script combining their content and agreement, it's going to be hot. What should I do? Then he immediately asked the system experimentally. Hey system, I want to withdraw money. Can I cancel that one million investment? Immediately, the system warned. Withdrawing money requires a legitimate reason, otherwise it will be considered a violation of the rules. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian's face fell, silently pondering, legitimate reason? Wang Jiba taking personal money, me being annoyed with Zhu Xiaoshu for being too ugly, or simply not wanting to invest anymore. None of these reasons count as legitimate. Stay calm. Besides withdrawing money, there must be another solution. Can I withdraw from being the lead actor? I'll say it's due to busy work canceling this project. Replacing the lead actor, wouldn't that dampen its popularity? Suddenly, he remembered the contract. Oh wait, the penalty for contract breach is triple the fee. That's $90,000. Where am I going to get $90,000 to cover the breach fee? Then he buried his head in his hands, crying, not knowing what to do. Poor as he was, facing yet another difficulty. System, can the breach fee be paid using system funds? The system replied promptly, Contracts signed by individuals are solely the responsibility of the signer, and any profits or penalties revert entirely to the signer. Therefore, the breach fee is to be paid by the signer themselves. After watching, he dropped the phone from his hand. Then Bai Qian, with a horrified expression, muttered to himself, Can't just sit around waiting to die. I still have the internet cafe in the game, two areas that could incur losses. I'll tell Lu Mingliang to add more personal narratives, more mocking remarks towards the players, to make the game go bankrupt completely. As he spoke, he dashed out the door, slamming it shut. The scene transitions to the next morning, and everyone starts setting up the filming equipment. After a while, when the equipment was all set up, Zhu Xiaoshu spoke up. Hey CEO Bai, here's the new script, we've almost finished editing yesterday's footage. We're preparing to negotiate with the video website, expanding resources, and discussing prices. But don't worry, I have a contact at Fei Shang Wang. Then Bai Qian picked up the script to give it a read. Afterwards, he silently thought to himself, Indeed, the previous script wasn't random, and this Zhu Xiaoshu guy isn't ordinary either. Noticing this, Zhu Xiaoshu in the yellow jacket asked, Hey CEO Bai, I can see that your complexion isn't great. Is it because of overwork? Bai Qian replied with a bored expression, I'm fine, just keep filming. Zhu Xiaoshu quickly agreed, Okay, okay, let's get this done quickly. Let's start right away. The whole crew followed suit. Suddenly, Bai Qian rubbed his chin and discovered something, thinking to himself, Wait a minute, I have a brilliant idea. Then our Bai Qian grinned wickedly, now I'll act like crap, completely ruin the reputation of this short video, with a stiff face, lips forced into a grin, laughing like a lunatic, can you imagine? Then he laughed devilishly, as if he was on drugs, ha 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 ha, all the worst characters in the world, come to me. After a while, Zhu Xiaoshu started holding the camera and said, CEO Bai, let's begin. Bai Qian replied, okay, let's start. At the same time, he thought to himself, anyway, I'm not a professional actor, so even if I act foolishly, 
Zhu Xiaoshu wouldn't dare to say anything. Then Zhu Xiaoshu signaled, All right now, CEO Bai, show us an indifferent expression. Okay, add another indifferent scene. A slight smile but with an indifferent face, perfect. Next, a slightly suspicious look, but still with an indifferent face. Then an indifferent face patting the employee's shoulder, followed by handing over a business card. Not even three minutes later, Zhu Xiaoshu said, Okay, we're done here. The guy in the yellow jacket shook hands with our Bai Qian and said with a gleam in his eye, CEO Bai's acting is superb, truly living up to his exceptional character. On the other side, Bai Qian didn't understand what was happening at all. Then Zhu Qiaoshu continued, You can portray indifference so convincingly, but in reality, your inner richness and your facial expressions are beyond my expectations. Let's head back now, CEO Bai. Tomorrow we'll shoot the final episode before the new year. With CEO Bai's acting skills, the video is sure to be a hit. After hearing this, our Bai Qian stood frozen like a statue, speechless. Ha, huh, what acting skills do I have? Why does something feel off about that? Next, he fell into a melancholic contemplation about his life. What on earth is this? This video project fundamentally doesn't require acting skills. The storyline relies on my candid expressions as the main actor, but in reality, I'm just a tool for people. Oh, how dull. Right now, I can only hope that the game designer and the internet cafe might incur losses. Suddenly, a message arrived for him. The plan for setting up the internet cafe, Bai Qian's basic plan has been completed. Please take a look. After reading it, he exclaimed, Holy shit, Mai Yang truly lives up to expectations. He completely followed my instructions, swiftly and without any deduction. Three months of rent plus the mortgage, totaling $1.2 million. 50 high-end computers, each costing $26,000, totaling $1.3 million. Decorations also amount to $400,000 to $500,000, plus expenses for other items. This time it's going to cost over $3 million. Hey, hey, hey. Then he floated on cloud nine, feeling as if he had just scored a home run, laughing wickedly. The higher the price, the deeper the losses. How splendid. Next, Mei Yang sent another message. Bai Qian, I think I won't be going home this New Year's Eve. I'll stay here to oversee the construction work and try to finish early so we can open soon. Bai Qian replied promptly, No, you shouldn't. Even if you don't go home, the construction workers still need to. At this moment, Har Bai Qian was deeply moved to tears, feeling the unwavering support of his brothers. Mai Yang was too serious and the failure rate was even higher. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door and Lu Mingliang called out, May I come in, CEO Bai? Bai Qian now awake from his reverie, invited him in, then said, I've reviewed the game designer's design and added a few lines of dialogue. Have you seen it? Mingliang responded, Yes, I have. But um, those candid lines seem a bit too mocking towards the players. Hearing this, our Bai Qian thought mischievously to himself, That's the way to go. He. But outwardly, he had to respond, No worries, let's stick to the plan. Next, let's go find some artistic resource covers. Have you checked the resource station for the most suitable cover designer? After hearing this, Lu Mingliang's face turned pale, frozen in thought, so that's final, huh? When the time comes, players will curse us to the high heavens, and then they'll ridicule Ding Da Company's game like shit. I wonder if our company can survive that. Next, Mingliang responded, I understand, CEO Bai. When it comes to artistic resources, I'll be as diligent as Huang Ziba. Good is good, but striving for excellence is even better. Oh, by the way, should I introduce the artist to you after I find one? Bai Qian replied promptly, No need, just go with your instincts. Meanwhile, he was silently thinking, Anyway, I don't understand much about these things, so it's like I'm not even watching. Then Lu Mingliang closed his glasses and stepped away, pondering to himself, CEO Bei not only appreciates delicate artistic resources, but also trusts me like this. I must fulfill CEO Bai's assignment excellently. A while later, Mingliang was browsing artistic resources on Pinterest. He scrolled through and muttered, This one doesn't seem right. It's beautiful, but a bit too simplistic in style. This one is too realistic, not quite fitting. Suddenly he noticed something, ah, this is it. 
Isn't this the artist from Gi Jang, who collaborated with CEO Bai before? They understand various styles very well. And here's Ruan Guangjian, another perfect candidate, haha. <laughs> Two days later, Bai Qian was hailing a taxi to go back home for New Year's Eve. The company's affairs were almost settled, and the seven-day holiday was about to begin. However, he still kept the company matter hidden from his parents. Otherwise, he would have to explain where the $50,000 startup capital came from. Moreover, his father was a bit stubborn and had some prejudices against games. If his father found out about his game company, it would be troublesome. That evening, Bai Qian finally arrived home. As he opened the door, his parents were surprised. Our son is back? Oh, he's really here, they exclaimed. Bai Qian greeted them with a bright smile. Hello, mom and dad, I'm back. Then he noticed the TV was showing the news. He sat down to watch with his father. After a while, Bai Qian remarked, Dad, maybe it's time to change the TV. It seems a bit small. His father replied, Change what? This one is very user-friendly. Besides, we rarely watch TV together. Hearing the noisy washing machine, Bai Qian inquired further, What about the washing machine, Dad? Should we replace the drum or buy a new one? His father responded coolly, The drum is expensive, and the current one still works fine. If we get a new one, what would we do with the old one? After listening, he said, Just discard the old stuff. Dad, you don't need to worry. I'll buy everything. Hearing this, his father looked skeptical, glanced over and said, Ha, huh, something seems off, kiddo. Why do you suddenly want to shop? Where did you get the money from? Bai Kian broke into a sweat, chuckled weakly and said, Well, you see. Surprisingly, Bai Kian's mother chimed in, Hey, son, you must be tired from the trip. Go change your clothes, wash up and have dinner. Subsequently, his father grew increasingly suspicious of his son. He thought to himself, is this kid up to something shady? If I find out, he's in big trouble. Bai Qian scratched his head and replied with a smile, well, it's like this at school, I got hired for a short video. The director paid me $30,000 as compensation. At the same time, his brother thought to himself, good thing I prepared early. His father then raised his glass and retorted, Stop lying, getting $30,000 for a short video? You haven't even paid $30,000 to anyone yet. That's a stroke of luck. Upon hearing his father's response, Bai Qian replied, Dad, with a handsome son like me, $30,000 isn't unreasonable. His father chuckled mockingly and said, Of course I don't believe it, unless you show me that video, he <laughs> he. Bai Qian scratched his head again and said, Video? Oh, I haven't uploaded it anywhere yet. Then his mother spoke up. Stop chatting, set the table, and let's have dinner, dear. Come over here. Then the whole family gathered around the warm dining table. After a while, when they finished eating, Bai Kian's mother asked, Son, when will that video be uploaded? Why is mom rushing me? How would I know? Hearing this, his father said, Why don't you ask the director? Yes, indeed. Then he messaged the director, Zhuk Xiaoshuo, who replied, CEO Bai, it was uploaded yesterday. You can see it on P.O. Shu Wang under the video column titled Daily Life of CEO Bai. After watching, he was extremely surprised. What? Already done? Such speed. Then he quickly rushed into the room and said, yes, it's online. Let me fetch the computer for mom and dad to see. After a while, his parents watched and were utterly shocked. What is this it? Bai Qian also broke out in a cold sweat of extreme horror. What's going on? It was uploaded yesterday, and today it has over 200,000 views already, so fast. The father, feeling puzzled, asked again, Daily life of CEO Bai Ha. The young man trembled and responded, Yes, this is the title of the video. I play the role of a company executive. Upon hearing this, the father chuckled and said gleefully, With that baby face, you don't look anything like a company executive. Then the three of them watched for a few minutes and it was over. Puzzled, his parents asked, What, it's over already? It's so short. Then our Bai Qian lightly chuckled and said, You've watched it, so you can go to your room now. Afterward, the two parents discussed together, Did you see how well our son played the role of a big boss? Incredibly natural, as if he really owned that company. Where did he get that from, with that stiff expression? Look, in reality, are there any big bosses like that? He's either too good at it, or he's met too many of them. The young man was left speechless. 
then he went into his room and closed the door with a thud. Next, he turned on his computer, his face darkening considerably. At this moment, Bai Qian was startled to discover a heap of comments flooding in. One of them exclaimed, Holy shit! Looking at the comments, it seems like this case is well liked by everyone. This young actor is amazing, successfully portraying a rich nouveau riche fool with explosive characteristics. The chaos of the industry is extremely bitter. CEO Bay not only has a super aura, but also has a very suitable expression, lounging lazily on the salon chair like a real CEO. This is the king of actors. I'm a fan of CEO Bay now. A young man responded audaciously. Hey you there, were you hired to comment on this hot case? Impressive experience, isn't it? Another comment read, 50,000 to play a driving game for 8 hours, but the video mentioned isn't Desert Lonely Expressway, right? Another young man replied, I'm not sure, could Dang Da be related to this video? After watching, our Bai Kian trembled in horror, damn, how could they like such a cheesy video? No, I must stay calm, just as long as there's no advertisement, even more views would be useless. Transitioning to after the holiday, on February 22nd, at Dang Da Company's office, Bai Kian, looking handsome in a vest, stepped out of the elevator, silently thinking, Things are not looking good. Those three videos have all surpassed 500,000 views. Following that, he walked in and found the employees all very excited. Hey, Director Zhu, the short video is hot. Would you invite us? Director Zhu, can I have a role? Zhu Xiaoshu responded reassuringly, certainly, in the future. Everyone's segments will increase, but everyone still has to do their main work well, or else CEO Bai will take note of it. At this moment, Bai Qian thought to himself, as long as there's no advertisement, it's fine if the video goes viral. Then the whole group noticed him, CEO Bai is here, CEO Bai is here, hello CEO Bai. Bai Qian then raised his hand in greeting and said, are you here to shoot episode 4? Xiao Shu promptly replied, yes, but there's still a video related to the business cooperation theme, would you like to take a look? Upon hearing this, Bai Qian froze, his face stiffened as he thought to himself, it's over, a business cooperation video, could it be? Then he coldly responded, you come to my office and let's discuss. Xiao Shu agreed to follow, and a while later in Bai Qian's office, Zhu Xiao Shu began, CEO Bai, we received our first advertising offer the other day, in other words, we've made some money. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian held the cup, trembling as if being blow-dried, and at the same time, he thought to himself, damn it. How come so fast? It's only been a few days since it aired. Then the young man in the yellow shirt continued, yes, CEO Bai, it's an advertisement for an online clothing store. They hope that we can wear their t-shirt in the video and arrange for a supporting role to say a promotional line, and we also have to wear their clothes. Bai Kian nodded and asked again, okay, okay, but how about the price? Zhu Xiaoshu promptly replied, $5,000 indeed isn't much, but it's just the first step for now, what do you think? Upon hearing this, Bai Qian's face went pale with horror, holy shit, that's a hefty sum, I remember back in 2011, the first monetized video by O Chang Chang's team was only $1,000. Compared to the investment, $5,000 is indeed little, but Zhu Xiaoshu is right, this is just the first step. Suddenly, our Bai Qian grimaced and slammed the cup onto the table with a loud thud, then he put on a tough front, my opinion is to reject them immediately. Upon hearing this, Zhu Xiaoshu was left gaping, not understanding what was going on. What? What you mean reject? Are you kidding me? I really don't quite understand, CEO Bai, please enlighten me. Then Bai Qian switched to actor mode and began, in entrepreneurship, the most crucial point is a broad vision. It's true that adding a commercial segment could bring in $5,000, which seems lucrative, but you also need to consider whether adding a t-shirt advertisement would feel forced or require adjusting the video content. Can we still maintain the same effectiveness? Next time, if they propose advertising cosmetics or shampoo, what then? Sacrificing a large following for a few thousand dollars isn't worth it in the end. At this point, Bai Qian erupted angrily, that's self-destructing one's own reputation. On the other side, Zhu Xiaoshu was so scared he almost wet himself. 
Hearing such sharp words, Du Xiaoshu felt enlightened, his intellect ascending to a new level. The young man exclaimed, Oh my God, indeed, CEO Bai's perspective is entirely different. While my focus was on the $5,000, what CEO Bai cares about is the value of the channel, the short video series. Following that, Bai Qian added, in major matters, it's either gaining significant attention or sacrificing everything for fame. Never should one tarnish their reputation for a bit of money. Do you understand? Xiao Xiao in the yellow shirt nodded vigorously, firmly responding, Yes, CEO Bai, I understand. The young man was also thinking to himself, These insights are truly amazing, it feels like enlightenment. CEO Bai, I love you. Then Bai Qian spoke assertively, So if you want to listen to me, you have to choose advertising standards that meet the highest criteria. A $100,000 ad, a short video from start to finish, must prioritize ensuring quality as a prerequisite, all revolving around advertising the product for deployment. This ensures both audience experience and advertising effectiveness, as well as protects the channel's reputation, killing two birds with one stone. On the other side, Zhu Xiaoshu was struck dumb, his eyes wide open. The young man chuckled awkwardly in response, Yes, CEO Bai, getting someone to place an ad is already quite difficult, let alone revolving the video around the product and ensuring video quality. I think this is quite unlikely to happen. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian patted Chiao Xiao's shoulder reassuringly, responding, I have full confidence in your talent. You must also believe in yourself. At this moment, tears welled up in the young man's eyes like a torrent, and he firmly said, Yes, CEO Bai, I understand, I will definitely be able to do it. After speaking, he stepped out and closed the door with a bang. Our Bai Qian then slumped back in his chair, a look of relief on his face, as if he had just escaped from a dire situation. Thank goodness, finally managed to persuade him. This immediately cuts off 99% of the possibility of CEO Bai recovering his investment. Not long after things settled down, there was a sudden knock on the door. Excuse me, CEO Bai, I'm Liu Mingliang. Young Bai Qian immediately sprang up into a combat-ready posture. Okay, come in, what's the matter? CEO Bai, is it related to the harmony issue, harmonizing for emotional expression? I found some famous domestic materials and recorded a few passages but I'm not entirely sure, so maybe you could listen and choose. Bai Qian replied promptly, Okay, let me hear it. Then he raised his phone, thinking to himself, I need to listen carefully to see if these emotional expressions might encourage players to quit the game. Bai Qian started playing the first passage, imagining it was the voice of a chubby maid with purple hair. Those Chan Nan gang will be more excited if they hear Missy Aochio's scolding, no, no. Upon listening to the second passage, he envisioned a seductive girl with long hair. The soft, beautiful voice with a hint of charm should definitely be avoided. As he reached the final passage, he thought to himself, This one is rather ordinary, nothing special, okay, let's wrap it up. Then he spoke to Lu Mingliang, The third option is okay, I like this one, let's go with this, it has a very unique tone. Simultaneously, he thought to himself, this tone sounds quite sharp, penetrating right into the heart. It might be helpful during gameplay. Lu Mingliang on the other side broke into a sweat. Oh, okay, you choose that one CEO Bay. Bai Qian replied, is there a problem? This person charges higher rates, or perhaps they're already booked. Then double the payment for me. Young Mingliang scratched his head, blushing. Oh no, CEO Bai, that was just a draft we sent them for a Harmony trial. I recorded that part myself. Hey! Upon hearing this, Bai Qian froze for a moment. What? You recorded this? This tone sounds nothing like you. Lu Mingliang, embarrassed like an 18-year-old girl, responded, That's right, I imitated it myself. He, CEO Bai, maybe you should choose another one. Bai Qian shook his head and replied, No, no, I'll stick with you. I need your normal voice and that unique tone of yours. Except for you, no one else will do. Lu Mingliang, upon hearing this, couldn't quite understand. Huh? But CEO Bai, we don't have a professional recording device. Bai Qian raised his hand coldly and said, Even with that, there's still a need for questioning? Just rent a recording studio, rent it for three days, 
then invite a sound design expert to provide professional guidance for you. If three days aren't enough, extend it, get it done, this is an order. Young Ming Liang with his glasses chuckled nervously. Yes, CEO Bai, I'll come discuss it with Secretary Tan. After Lu Ming Liang left, our Bai Qian lay back on the salon chair, thoroughly amused. Hey, he, everything is going according to plan. These guys, they're all multi talented, but who can outsmart me? He, he. On the morning of February 24th, Lu Ming Liang was conducting a design team meeting with six members. With his glasses on, he appeared cool as he began. Today's meeting mainly focuses on two matters. Firstly, I'll be absent for about two to three days as I need to handle sound design for the game. Game designer. The team was shocked to hear this, clutching their heads in horror. The game is still in production, and the person in charge of planning is off to do sound design for the game. On this side, Zhu Mingliang responded with confusion. That's CEO Bai's order. Don't ask me why, I'm also curious. Secondly, I hope everyone will complete their assigned tasks well. If there are any issues, let's discuss them together. Then he glanced at Lin Wan, silently pondering, why is Lin Wan so focused on reading the dialogue? Shouldn't I be the one to take it seriously? Lin Wan then spoke up, I think I roughly understand CEO Bai's implication. Hearing this, Ming Liang was taken aback and asked, what? Are you saying CEO Bai's implication is for me to do sound design? That's right, this time CEO Bai's implication is truly profound, so we didn't recognize it at first. I think similar to the Riching CEO Bai video project, this game designer game also has the influence of the Dark Joker, with effective sarcasm. Everyone, look at these straightforward dialogues. The dialogues always guide the players, offering several choices during the crafting process. Each choice seems to be the best and easiest to benefit from, but what about the final result? If players rely solely on the dialogues, their reputation will be ruined, and in the end they won't gain anything. Moreover, the dialogues can also sarcastically influence the players, making them embody a boss in the game. If you're not decisive and easily swayed, if the dialogues tell you to do something, and you fail not because of the dialogues but because of your cowardice, CEO Bai's implication is that if the game is too smooth and easy, where's the fun in that? After listening, Miss Mingliang tightened her grip on her hand firmly and spoke loudly, I understand now. Adding more blunt dialogues is to amplify the feeling of failure. This is a form of sarcasm. Perceiving this as odd, a girl asked, but why would completely ignoring the dialogues also lead to failure? Isn't that also a form of sarcasm? Lin Wang crossed her arms gracefully and replied, from my perspective, this is the most delicate point of the game. Knowing some things are wrong doesn't mean you'll succeed. There's an outcome in the game where the creator acts too conscientiously, and in the end, many players just play without paying, the game's ratings aren't low, but the investment isn't recovered, and they eventually have to leave the industry. This implies that even if you're enthusiastic and conscientious, success isn't guaranteed. It's harsh, but it might be the reality of the gaming industry where achieving both fame and profit isn't simple. Our success today is because CEO Bai led us here. After hearing this, a young man in black was moved and replied, she's absolutely right. Thinking back, this game designer game, from creativity to design, and even to specific dialogues, all were carefully revised by CEO Bai. Another bald young man cried like rain and added, in fact, you are only responsible for a small portion of the work. The real pressure is mostly borne by CEO Bai. The whole group fell into contemplation and tears flowed freely. After a while, Lin Wan turned to Ming Liang and said, that's why CEO Bai arranged for you to handle the music composition. The reason is quite clear. The objective condition allows for hiring a composer, and the greatest advantage is that you understand the game. The dialogue can be seen as the player's inner greed and desire, luring them into the path of darkness. Therefore, we need someone who understands the traps of this game inside out, something that regular voice actors can never achieve. Lu Mingling applauded as if he had just gained enlightenment. Afterward, he thought to himself, no wonder CEO Bai personally edits the dialogues and even instructed me to handle the music composition. Now I understand, I won't let CEO buy down. Fast forward to a considerable time later, on March 3rd, 
our Bai Qian entered the company with a cheerful smile. Suddenly, he overheard the staff's conversation, causing his smile to fade instantly. Cheers, Bao Xu is back. Bao Xu's aura seems to have improved, a bit thinner, but looks much healthier now. Our Bai Qian was astonished at this moment, gaping in silent disbelief. Holy shit, Bao Xu is back after that one month leave. On the other hand, Lu Mingling raised his hand cheerfully and said, Wow, your spirits are high, even your hairline seems to have recovered a bit. Looking handsome, Bao Xu. Bao Xu, pleased to hear this, responded, Oh, really? Following that, Ming Liang excitedly said, Hey Bao Xu, I brought the design documents for the new gang for you to review. Do you want to make any changes? Bao Xu, waving his hand lightly, replied with a faint smile, CEO Bai has already decided everything, I won't bother. Besides, even if I review them, I might not understand. He, CEO Bai, upon hearing this, wore a mischievous grin that stretched from ear to ear, resembling a fox with both a cunning face and tail. Just as I predicted, the game has begun production, and Bao Xu won't get involved. Hey he, this reduces the game's chances of success. This plan is bound to succeed, he he. A while later, Bao Xu grabbed some snacks, a 1.5-liter bottle of Coca-Cola, tore it open, put on his headphones, and dove straight into playing the zombie shooting game, War of the Sea, with rapid gunfire sounds echoing immediately. At the same time, he thought to himself, oh, a month without playing games, and being at the new company feels like paradise, it's just too blissful. But wait, not playing for a month, it seems like there might be a bit of an issue with my gaming skills. Since I don't have anything else to do right now, I'll just focus on improving and optimizing War of the Sea. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'll optimize Gijang too. Thanks to CEO Bay for giving me some free time to clear my mind, I've just discovered a few minor bugs. This must be CEO Bay's intention, he. I'll probably finish fixing them in about three to four days. Then three days later, at a dormitory in the university, everyone was discussing with each other, is Gi Jang planning to release a new update? It's been a while since reaching max level, about to collect all the rare cards. Two other friends on the bus whispered to each other, I admire three key sangos so much, updating only once every two months. Exactly, I don't need much, don't need to change the gameplay, just release a new Wu Chiang or a new recharge package. Another young man in the cyber cafe was typing away furiously, intending to post on Instagram. First time seeing such an incomprehensible company. According to the rankings theory, Yi Jang's position is very high, surely making considerable profits. Why wouldn't they update the new version? What is Deng Da thinking? Why not release a new version? Are you people averse to making money to such an extent? Can't you take responsibility? Just heard about games running deficits, yet this company still runs despite making a lot of money. Is that not strange? As he was composing his post, the young man's face twisted in anger. However, before he could send it, he noticed that Gi Jang had already updated. Seeing this, he was silently moved, thinking, holy shit, the game updated quietly. Scrolling down, he also stumbled upon a comment, today, by chance, I discovered that the character Guan Yu, who was previously condemned for continuous slashing with low damage, has been fixed. Currently, Guan Yu's slashing has been enhanced and is playable again. As for Chao Yun, the issue of low probability triggering seems to have been rectified. After reading, the young man exclaimed, Really? Even these minor bugs have been fixed? Meanwhile, other students were happily chatting amongst themselves. Other companies pushed VIP packages to lure players into crazily spending money, only then focusing on fixing game bugs later. But Deng Da does the opposite, implying that the new version is even better. Deng Da hasn't abandoned Gi Jang. It's truly wonderful. The company is so considerate. I'm deeply touched. The young man at the cyber cafe was typing frantically, with great excitement, writing, Please open up a new top-up package. We have money and are eager to top up here. Switching scenes to the morning of March 7th, Bai Qian in the room was shouting loudly, What's going on? Are Gi Jiang players terrorizing customer service? There are also requests on the forum to open up a new top-up package. Lin Wan from the other room eagerly responded, Yes, yes, that's right. Customer service said that players are complaining loudly. 
Spy Kian's blood pressure was already soaring at this point. He asked again, Are you sure I'm not mistaken? Are they asking us to open up a new Tapa package? Lin Wan flipped through the documents and replied, Yes, CEO Bai, that's correct. Moreover, apart from the issues with customer service, players are also discussing this on forums and Instagram. Bai Kian was frozen like a stone and asked specifically, What's the situation? Why are players asking for a new Tapa package? How is this possible? Lin Wan chuckled and replied, Well, it seems like players are worried about Bi Jang's failure and hoping they can contribute some money to support it he. Upon hearing, he seemed to have a stroke and collapsed suddenly, appearing strange. Lin Wan asked, Oh, CEO Bai, what's wrong? Your complexion doesn't look good. Bai Qian put his hand on the table, looking puzzled as he replied, I'm fine. I just told the customer service to restore it directly. The update is in the plan, roughly around May or June, it could be launched. After hearing this, Lin Wan was surprised. What? You've already done it? How come I didn't know? Bai Qian responded, You misunderstood me. I meant it's in the plan. Now Lin Wan scratched her head in confusion. Yes, yes, CEO Bai, I understand. Then she went out and closed the door. At this moment, our Bai Qian slouched back in his chair, sighing with a sense of disillusionment. What on earth is this? It's completely absurd. From Desert Lonely Expressway to Bijang, and now War of the Sea, they're all just garbage games. I can't fathom why they're so fiercely supported like this. It's infuriating, absolutely infuriating. How come every game I work on turns out so bizarre and eccentric? Players keep rallying behind them, making the games increasingly popular. They even worry more about Gi Jiang than their own Dangda company, which is absurd. If the Gi Jiang incident escalates, it will undoubtedly attract attention and suspicion from various industries. That will only make things more complicated for me. Once the game designer finishes, I'll consider releasing a new update for Gi Jiang, maybe at a low cost to get through this mess. Now I have to go to Mai Yang's internet cafe and see what's going on there. That's the most important mission. I must intervene and disrupt that place immediately. Bai Qian dashed off like lightning to sabotage the plot right away. Upon arrival, he found the place exactly as he had predicted, deserted with not a soul in sight. Above the entrance hung a fish-shaped logo, looking even tackier than expected. Our Bai Qian couldn't help but smirk inwardly, thinking, he ha, a giant fish logo plastered on the facade. It's ridiculously amusing. Mai Yang must have had a brilliant idea to confuse everyone, making them wonder what this place is about, but doing it quite well, he ha. As he stepped inside and surveyed the surroundings, he was rather surprised. It was spacious inside, with many people diligently setting up the cyber cafe for the nerdy Mai Yang. Spotting Bai Qian, Mai Yang enthusiastically spoke up, so, Bai Qian, are you satisfied? Do you need any additional requests? How do you like this DJ booth location? And what about the layout of the tables and chairs? Oh, Bai Qian, what do you think about the book prices? I suggest stocking some online novels, cookbooks, and game guide comics. Bai Qian, do you think we should also include some Su Taming Chu books here? Bai Qian pondered for a moment before responding, Mai Yang, you must remember, we don't read books here. What's with the book suggestions, Bai Qian? Assertively, Bai Qian exclaimed, This is an entertainment zone, luxurious and upscale, you know? Comics, novels, nonsense. Let's have some classy books here. Fill the shelves with high-end literature for me. Upon hearing this, Mai Yang scratched his head in confusion and replied, Oh, is that so? All right, Bai Qian, why don't you suggest some book titles for me to purchase then? Okay, listen up. How about Ukraine Tractor Simulations, a book for small tractor operators? I innovated a plow for the motherland, a story about tractors and agriculture, and a guide on how to use and repair handheld tractors. Having listed a bunch of nonsensical titles, Mei Yang chuckled lightly and said, Ah hee hee, Bai Qian, is this okay? Why would we need so many tractor books? Bai Qian furrowed his brow and replied, Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication, you know? Anyway, you go online and find some sophisticated books for young people, pick some with obscure titles, and buy them eagerly. Mai Yang is already clueless, so let's make him even more clueless. 
Mei Yang responded, Oh, I see, no problem. Oh, bye, Kian, let's move on to the kitchen next. We haven't chosen a head chef yet, but don't worry, we've got some top chefs applying. Bai Kian raised his hand and said, The head chef must be just as I described. Choose a chef who can cook everyday dishes deliciously. The more familiar, the better, remember that. Mei Yang smiled brightly and replied, You can trust me to handle that, he he. Then Bai Kian chuckled mischievously and said, Ma Yang, without you, I wouldn't know what to do, he he. Mei Yang blushed and responded, Hitty he Bai Kian. Praising me like that, I'll get arrogant. It's okay, you can be arrogant. Just praise me if I'm good at something. No need to be shy. Then Mai Yang pulled out a chair for Bai Qian to test. Hey, Bai Qian, start up the testing machine. Our Bai Qian sat down and thought to himself, This chair feels surprisingly comfortable. Definitely worth the money. Next, Bai Qian turned to say, Oh, by the way, when there are users on the machine, make sure to have a clean towel here, like the ones at fancy restaurants. Upon hearing this, Mai Yang scratched his head, looking confused. Um, isn't that a bit too posh? This isn't some upscale restaurant. This is a luxurious entertainment center. We're targeting high-end clientele, so we definitely need to provide top-notch service, you know. Plus, all the rooms are non-smoking, so the environment is perfect without any cigarette smoke. We've even installed a new ventilation system to improve air quality. Mai Yang agreed to follow suit and then Chang Yuan brought a rather exquisite-looking glass of water, saying, Hey CEO Bai, give this a try. Our Bai Qian took it and tasted it immediately, then asked, What's this drink called, and how much for a glass? Chang Yuan grinned and replied, Well, CEO Bai, this is a $50 glass of vodka. Here, a bottle of 700 ml costs $400, and a glass of about 30 ml is around $30. After listening, Bai Qian asked again, how much is the cheapest cocktail on the menu? Surprised, Bai Kian pointed and exclaimed loudly, increase the price by $10 per glass for me. Our customers are all high-quality clientele. Setting the price too low would be disrespectful to them. Upon hearing this, Chang Yuan, looking bewildered, scratched his orange hair. Ha ha, are you serious? Bai Kian, with a serious expression, thought to himself, Setting the price too low might lead people to drink more, resulting in huge profits lost. Now, customers spend $80 playing games for two hours and having a cocktail. That amount could last them a week elsewhere. That's how they'll flee in panic. Increasing the price like this will surely lead to significant losses. He <laughs> he. I Kian then said, Oh, I think that's fine now. I have some matters to attend to. At this point, Mei Yang quickly pulled him back and said, Hey, Bai Qian, we're planning to have the grand opening tomorrow. What do you think we should do for the opening? I suggest we have the price of drinks for three days. Bai Qian responded with a serious expression, No, that's too ordinary. We are a high-end internet cafe, so our grand opening should be dignified, without any trivial activities. Do you understand? Mai Yang, feeling foolish, replied, Ha, huh, not doing anything. Okay then, I won't do anything either. Following that, Bai Qian stepped out, simultaneously sporting a mischievous smile, thinking to himself, I'll wait until the opening day to personally witness the desolation of the internet cafe. Only then can I be completely at ease. Ha <laughs> ha. Fast forward to March 9th, the official opening day of the internet cafe named Wonka Chaba. Outside, there was quite a crowd passing by, but no one paid any attention. Inside, Chang Yuan was wiping dishes, his face filled with disappointment as he thought to himself, it's all over. Why isn't anyone bothering to stop by on the first day of the opening? Meanwhile, Bai Qian was enjoying his tea, his eyes gleaming with amusement. Delicious tea, indeed, so delicious, ah he Mai Yang stood beside him, completely clueless. Unable to bear it any longer, he spoke up, Bai Qian, whether it's good or bad, we should at least distribute flyers. Why not do that? Our prestige lies in surprising our customers, so we should let them discover it unintentionally. Upon hearing this, the young man was utterly shocked. What? Let the customers discover it unintentionally. Suddenly, a young man walked in, his face filled with extreme confusion. Mai Yang approached him, smiling brightly and said, Hello, hello. Are you here to play some entertainment games, or would you like to have a coffee? 
the young man hesitantly asked, Excuse me, sir, do you happen to know how much it costs per hour here? Is it 10 yuan per hour? How many hours do you usually play? Upon hearing this, the young man became visibly angry. What the hell are you kidding me? Is this internet cafe made of gold? Or are the computers here made of gold? Mei Yang scratched his head awkwardly and replied, You see, our establishment is not your average internet cafe. We have the best quality computers here. If you think it's expensive, well, that's reasonable. The young man, feeling uneasy, asked another question. So, are there any benefits to becoming a member? Mei Yang quickly pulled out the menu and handed it to the young man, saying, Of course, of course. With a membership card, you'll get a 10% discount on drinks. Pretty cool, huh? The young man, feeling startled, nervously tapped his fingers. I'm sorry, but my family is very poor. Please excuse me. Then he bolted out the door without looking back, leaving everyone stunned. Mai Yang's tears streamed down like a waterfall, sinking into melancholy. Meanwhile, Dai Qian chuckled with immense satisfaction, thinking to himself, Well done, Mai Yang. You truly are a genius, he <laughs> he. Turning to Mai Yang, he remarked, Bai Qian, this won't do. This morning, only a few people asked about the prices, but once they heard, they all fled in a panic. Bai Qian nodded in agreement, Yes, indeed. This situation is not ideal. The young man Meng though was amused. Haha, finally Bai Qian has come to his senses. We should organize some activities for advertising. Suddenly, Bai Qian decisively ordered, make a signboard with the prices and stick it on the door to avoid wasting time on inquiries. Mei Yang's eyes widened in shock as he stood frozen. Ha, huh, what did Bai Qian just say? Bai Qian furrowed his brow and explained, if they complain about the prices, they shouldn't bother coming in. It saves effort on both sides. It's better this way. Mai Yang looked dumbfounded. Holy shit, so this is what Bai Qian meant by not ideal. It's only the first day, Mai Yang, but you must remember this is the long-term strategy of the Dangda Corporation. Even if we run at a loss for the next three months or even half a year, it's okay. We'll stabilize eventually. Do you understand? Mai Yang nodded in agreement after hearing this. Then Bai Qian waved goodbye, saying, I have some matters to attend to. I'll take my leave. With that, he stepped out, his face beaming with joy and contentment. Heh <laughs> the coffee today was really good, he thought to himself. Fast forward to the evening of Sunday, March 14, Mai Yang and Chang Yuan were reviewing the books, feeling despondent. The monthly rent alone is $315,000 not to mention the cost of materials and staff salaries, totaling over $70,000 a month. That means we're spending over $400,000 a month without even making a profit. Moreover, considering the initial investment of around $2 million when the Cyber Cafe was established, our revenue over the past three days doesn't even compare to that of a small coffee shop of about 10 square meters, Chang Yuan pointed out, shocked as he looked at the ledger. The atmosphere grew increasingly grim, with Chang Yuan sighing heavily, Mai Yang, your relationship with CEO Bai is quite good. Perhaps you could talk to him about the fact that we can't continue like this. We need to come up with a solution. Mai Yang shook his head and replied, CEO Bai said we should be patient. No matter what, we have to wait until next week. That's on the 21st. If CEO Bai said so, then we just have to wait and see. Right, we still have to listen to CEO Bai, wait another week before making any decisions. All right then, that's it, no point worrying now. Meanwhile, Chang Yuan thought to himself, my $14,000 salary, I wonder how many more months I can receive it. Oh, it's really frustrating. Switching scenes to Huang Ziba, he stood in front of a shopping mall, murmuring to himself, didn't expect to come back here again. Then he called someone and said, I've arrived. Where are you? Okay, I'll wait for you at the old place. A while later, Huang Ziba was in a cafe. Yi Jun, who was here, a young man with purple hair named Mei Yi Jun, the one who planned the storyline for the game Shang Yang, was Huang Ziba's former company colleague. Yi Jun greeted him, saying, Hello, Huang Ziba. It seems you're even unluckier now, right? Must be spending a lot of time outdoors getting sunburned lately, huh? Upon hearing this, Yi Jun was taken aback. Huh? Shooting outdoor scenes? Oh right, right, I forgot to tell you. 
I'm not working in the gaming industry anymore. I've switched to shooting video clips. Have you watched Rich Hang CEO buys videos? It's our team that does the filming. Startled, the young man exclaimed, That video has been really hot lately. What role do you play in it? Are you a scriptwriter or a production assistant? Huang Ziba smiled brightly and replied, Ahihi, calm down. I can't say exactly what I do. In general, it's running around. Consider me one of the contributors. Upon hearing the young man with purple hair, tears of admiration streamed down their cheeks. Truly commendable. It feels like Kwang Ziba, you found a career that suits you. Congratulations to you. And how about you? How's the company? Please don't mention it anymore. It's still the same, a summer atmosphere, pressure like a mountain as before. Moreover, not long ago, Lao Lu lost his mind, insisting on selling a new gun for a hopping $888. If it's the server's limit, sell it for $888, he said, while the whole server sold 100 units pricing them at $888. If this isn't madness, then what is? Later, we found out he was jealous of War of the Sea, seeing Hu Kailin from War of the Sea sell for $888. He insisted we do the same. As expected, upon the launch, players cursed us like mad dogs. The boss erupted, unleashing a torrent of curses at Lao Liu we could hear the commotion from our workplace. Upon hearing this, Huang Ziba sighed and said, Hu Kailin from More of the Sea can sell for $888 because it's the only fee in the game. The quality from More of the Sea is excellent. Based on the usual purchase price in game, it should be worth at least $50. Yet War of the Sea is completely free. They only sell one Hu Kailin gun for $888. This is a concession but the attributes of Hu Kai Lin are not significantly higher compared to other guns. Moreover, it provides rewards, experience for other players in the same gaming room, plus an attractive appearance. It's also a permanent weapon, sought after by everyone wherever they go. So of course it sells well. Quality, Yi Jun responded, understood, understood, Huang Ziba. It's surprising how even though you're no longer in the gaming industry, you still know so much about it. To which Wan Ziba promptly replied, Actually, I'm the one who created War of the Sea, and I'm the CEO. Upon hearing this, the young man was utterly stunned, saying, Really? Did I hear you correctly? Ah uh ha ha, you didn't tell me that for the past few months you've been as if on cloud nine, lost in your thoughts, not knowing where to start. The truth is like this. Subsequently, Guan Ziba elaborated to the young man, I know hearing all this might be quite shocking to you but these are unexpected truths. Yi Jun swiftly grasped Huang Ziba's hand, his eyes welling up with tears as he said, Could you help recommend me for a position? Tomorrow, Lao Lu and I will submit our resignations. Please help me out. Then on the morning of March 16th, our Bai Qian was holding Man Yi Jun's job application to interview him, saying, You're Man Yi Jun, right? Yes, Mr. CEO Bai, you can also call me Yi Jun. Everyone calls me that. Okay, sounds good. Simultaneously, he silently pondered in his mind, judging from his humble resume, he doesn't seem particularly outstanding, just another match for Huang Ziba. Nonetheless, there are still vacancies in Huang Ziba's company. A fresh graduate like this can be put to work handling trivial tasks to save the company some money. To his surprise, the young man pulled out a stack of documents and said, Mr. CEO Bai, these are some essays and short stories I've written. Perhaps you'd like to take a look. Bai Qian then took them and began to read, his inner turmoil reaching a peak. This is not good. The writing style is not bad at all. The prose flows smoothly and the language is profound. Moreover, it seems he has a good understanding of various languages. No, this person cannot be hired. I need to find a clever reason to reject him. Following that, Bai Qian inquired, you joined the Shang Yang Game Company in October. So what were you doing before that? The young man trembled upon hearing this and replied, After graduating from university, I always wrote novels online. Although they weren't very popular, with the help of gamers spreading the word, I gradually gained some readers. Looking at the figures, it could be considered decent on the shelves, but the sales results amounted to only 30 orders. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian widened his eyes and asked, Perhaps the content hasn't been marketed properly. Have you tried releasing another book? 
The young man with purple hair, now teary-eyed, replied, I didn't just release one book, but a total of three. Before release, the statistics were quite promising, but after they were available for purchase, I couldn't get more than three buyers in total. After writing over 10,000 words, all my efforts seem to be in vain. It's really disheartening. On the other side, Huang Ziba couldn't hold back and said, What's wrong with you? What kind of unique content did you write that made people reject it like that? Mahi Jun, feeling embarrassed, responded, I don't know either. I've tried my best, but for some reason, it just didn't work out. Hu, hu, hu. Suddenly, Bai Qian's gaze turned fiercely determined, and he slammed his hand on the table with a mischievous laugh, exclaiming loudly, Excellent. You're exactly the person I need. I'll hire you. The young man was utterly bewildered. Ha, ha, you'll hire me? Am I dreaming? The next day, in the company's office, Liu Mingliang was working when he suddenly received a message from the artist Ruan Guangjian, which surprised him. You've finished already? Your work speed is really impressive. Mingliang replied, Thank you, Ruan Guangjian, you're lightning fast indeed. Ruan Guangjian responded, It's mainly thanks to CEO Bai's excellent design, which has inspired me a lot. Although I don't have much knowledge about games, I can feel the satire towards the gaming industry in this game, giving off a profound and almost divine feeling. Mingliang also replied, Exactly, we feel the same way. It seems to mock the players, but in reality, it delves deep into the psyche of game designers and developers, exposing the chaotic phenomena within games. Suddenly, our Bai Qian stepped forward and seeing the puzzled young man with glasses, asked, CEO Bai, is there anything you need me to do, or is it just to inform you that our company has recently hired someone to plan the storyline for the game? Mingliang responded, OIC, CEO Bai. I'll arrange for him to revise the content of those three game templates right away. After hearing this, Bai Qian shook his head and said, That's not what I meant. What I'm saying is that he's new and doesn't understand much about games, so this month, absolutely don't assign any tasks to him. Let him study freely. Do you understand? The young man, utterly shocked, exclaimed, So you mean to let him observe without doing anything, that's it especially not letting him edit any storyline content from the game designers. At the same time, our Bai Qian was inwardly chuckling. Hey, ha, this is the best outcome. Ma Yi Jun's writing style is so good. If by chance fixing it makes the game popular, it would be a disaster. Lu Mingliang then exclaimed loudly, I understand CEO Bai. I'll arrange a good study plan for him. Simultaneously, the young man was silently thinking, that's right, both the scenario and the outspoken words in Game Designer are written by CEO by himself. Even if this newcomer is talented, he can't compare to CEO Bai's level. It's reasonable for CEO Bai to let him study for a month. Suddenly, our Bai Qian discovered something and shouted in horror, that's a surprise. This artwork looks so familiar, strange, why do I feel like I've seen it somewhere before? Mingliang responded, Head, head, CEO Bai, you figured it out. That's right, this is the work of Ruan Guangjian. Bai Qian was struck dumbfounded. What the hell, is that true? Lu Mingliang added, CEO Bai and Ruan Guangjian are indeed spiritually connected. They recognize each other's work at a glance. What did I say? Didn't I tell you to find the highest priced original artist? Mingliang quickly replied, Yes, that's correct. Ruan Guangjian is currently the highest-priced original artist. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian's face turned as dark as coal as he silently thought, Arg, it's only been a few months, and how did Ruan Guangjian go from being a nobody to becoming the highest-priced original artist? His value is skyrocketing faster than real estate prices. Mingliang continued, Moreover, I heard that Ruan Guangjian knows this is CEO Bai's project, so he only charges a small fee, very generous indeed, ahaha. Ha. Our Bai Qian went from one surprise to another, feeling utterly fed up. Then he asked, I wonder if the contract can still be amended? The CEO Bai want to pay him more? This won't be easy to fix and besides, Ruan Guangjian may not even accept the extra payment. At this point, Bai Qian could only remain silent, listening to the sound of his colleague crying, and finally said, 
All right then, just continue working. Next, our Bai Kian quietly opened the door to the room and collapsed onto the sofa, looking utterly disheveled. Who, how could this happen? Not only is it costly, but that guy also pretended to be a new person to validate the game design ideas. Well, canceling the contract is out of the question. I'll just have to wait until it's finished to reconsider. Luckily, game designer isn't a game that relies on reputation. Suddenly, there was a loud knock on the door, and someone called out, Hey, Bai Kian, are you in there? Bai Kian jolted, thinking to himself, Why is Ma Yang here? It can't be that something happened at the Internet Cafe. Don't tell me that Rundown Place is somehow getting popular. Then Ma Yang entered and said, Bai Kian, I feel like I should report the situation of the Internet Cafe to you. Okay, let's go inside and talk. Ma Yang's face was grim as he explained, Chang Yuan has calculated it. Based on recent revenue predictions, the Internet Cafe is expected to lose $300,000 this month. Essentially, the income of the Internet Cafe will barely cover utility bills and employee salaries. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian suddenly came alive, his eyes sparkling with renewed vigor, illuminating the room. Then Mei Yang sighed and continued, The biggest expense is the rent, basically not recouping a single penny, let alone the initial capital. Chang Yuan has come up with some suggestions. I think it's worth considering. Bai Qian, maybe you should take a look. Bai Qian, with a cold wave of his hand, replied indifferently, I told you not to pay attention to these things. This just proves that our internet cafe is heading in the right direction. But deep down, he was secretly delighted, thinking, Tiki he, losing a few hundred thousand dollars a month. This is wonderful. Indeed, only reliable comrades like Ma Yang can be trusted. Next, Ma Yang, with a horrified expression, stammered, ah, uh, ah, uh, losing a few hundred thousand, and this is considered the right direction. Did I miss here? Of course not. The Internet Cafe's existence is already a strong propaganda effort. Temporarily losing money is no problem. We're using the money to buy publicity. When the publicity spreads, customers will come flocking in. So for now, we're right on track according to the plan. You must persevere. Ma Yang, upon hearing this, was dumbfounded. Ah, uh, ah, uh, is that so? Bai Qian chuckled and replied, Yes, just trust me. Then Bai Qian thought to himself, On the side of game designer and riching CEO Bai, signs of profit have already appeared. If there are still issues with the internet cafe, this little heart won't be able to handle it. Please just keep on losing heavily, hoo 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 hoo. Moving to March 25th in the game, Game Designer has completed the expansion and entered the optimization phase. Our Bai Kian tried playing it and was utterly shocked. No way. I didn't expect Lu Ming Liang's voice acting to be quite good. How did he manage to capture that sleazy and irritating tone? Not only is the game duller than dishwater, but those sarcastic remarks are also aimed at me. Can I drag Lu Mingling out and give him a good beating to vent my anger? Playing through, Bai Kian was subjected to sarcastic remarks like this. Mahaha, I knew you'd pick this. Between money and dreams, you'll always choose money, right? You truly are a greedy scumbag. Afterward, Bai Kian sighed, that's creepy. Apart from running and pushing the door to enter the room, there's nothing else. I didn't expect the game to be such a pile of shit. No wonder, as the CEO by, this game has been completed exceptionally well. It seems like there's no need to edit anything in this game. After release, it will surely be hated and cursed by everyone. Now I just need to wait to rake in the money. He <laughs> he. Transitioning outside the company's office, Liu Mingliang approached Bao Exu and asked, So Bao Exu, what do you think of this game? Is there anything that needs to be adjusted? Mei Yi Jun, the young man with purple hair, also listened attentively, not too occupied at the moment. Bao Xu then inquired, What about you guys? Many people think this game is a bit dry. Ming Liang responded, That's right. Although CEO Bai designed this game himself, it still feels somewhat lacking in appeal. Except for Lin Wan, others seem to lack confidence in this game. Upon hearing this, Yi Jun chimed in, Huh, really? I find this game quite unique. Following that, Bao Xu pulled out a chair for Ming Liang and said, Sit down here and let's talk. I feel like you guys are insiders, so you might not see the issue clearly. What do you mean by not seeing the issue clearly? 
I'm not quite understanding. You guys already knew the storyline in the game early on, so you could make clear choices. It's like knowing the script beforehand. Naturally, your perception won't be as sharp as outsiders. In the role of an outsider, I find this game very interesting, very special. You, as a newcomer, probably have similar thoughts to mine, right? Yi Jun quickly responded, Exactly, exactly, I share the same thought. I've never seen a game like this before. Back when I was working at Shang Yang Game Company, despite being exposed to many games, this one feels incredibly fresh. This game is truly unique, there's no competitor in its segment. Lu Mingliang, the glasses-wearing young man, listened in utter astonishment, is that so? Then Yi Jun added, this game has no currency and yet carries such a huge risk. At Shang Yang, they would never invest money like this, but it seems quite normal at Dang Da. Is this a unique approach, with the leader being innovative and the staff closely coordinated? Surprisingly, Balak Su chimed in, but that doesn't necessarily mean this game can make money. I think this is a super creative move by CEO Bai. It could become an astonishing masterpiece, but it could also end up being a disaster, depending entirely on market feedback. Hearing this, Liu Mingliang was left puzzled. Then Balak Su added, I feel like CEO Bai is still a very lonely person. Finding it peculiar, Mingliang inquired, CEO Bai is a very lonely person. Why do you think so? I always find CEO Bay to be very cheerful and optimistic. Do you remember the last company party? How was CEO Bai's state then? I think it was celebrating the successful research and development of War of the Sea. It seemed like CEO Bai sat quietly, deeply contemplating something without much appetite. Moreover, there was a heavy mood, as if planning for something next. Bao Xu continued, Exactly at that time, we had just completed the research and development of War of the Sea, on the brink of splendid success. Everyone was joyfully indulging in fine delicacies. There was no reason to worry about anything. What do you think could have caused CEO Bay to feel so despondent? It can only be the sense of loneliness in his inner self. For instance, why did B. Jang set the selling price at $10 and the lifetime card at $30? I believe this is CEO Bai's satire on the gaming industry. Selling a VIP card for Manjing Man Ming game for $888, just for one card, spending nearly $1,000, huh? In CEO Bai's subconscious, he believes this game is fundamentally not worth it, from Desert Lonely Expressway to Gi Jang and War of the Sea, including the current game designer. CEO Bai is still using his unique approach, satirizing the dry and profit-oriented nature of the gaming industry, but game designer compared to the previous types of games. The more straightforward, sour, and profound it is, the less it is accepted. Upon hearing this, Liu Mingliang, feeling puzzled, asked, is that so? But if the underlying content of this game is profound, why does Bao Xu still feel it has the potential to become a masterpiece, or it may have a disastrous outcome? On the other side, Mei Jun replied with tears in his eyes, Aren't works ahead of their time often like this? A true artist is never fully understood by everyone. Even if game designer fails, the one who fails is not CEO Bai, but rather the players who are not worthy of playing such a good game. Bao Xu added, Perhaps in the future, they will gradually understand the profound meaning of this type of game. But for now, they may not yet grasp it. At this point, all three sighed deeply, contemplating life deeply. After a while, Bao Su spoke up. Oh, right, when do you plan to promote this game? Lu Mingliang replied, I haven't asked about that yet. Let me go ask CEO Bai. A while later, Mingliang, wearing glasses, stepped into Bai Kian's room with a nervous and apprehensive look thinking to himself, how will CEO Bai advertise this time? What is CEO Bai thinking? At Bai Qian's place, an emergency meeting was being held promptly in his mind. Bai Qian, holding a hammer, slammed it down on the table and said, how should we proceed with the advertising plan this time? Who wants to speak first? Without much thought, Bai Qian, with his glasses, raised his hand eagerly saying, I'll go first. This time, we need to focus on promotion. Should we advertise? What if advertising makes it go viral? Putting on a thoughtful expression, Bai Qian replied, No, no. We need to approach this from a development perspective. Di Jang and War of the Sea have already made a name for themselves. 
even without advertising, players will still be interested in Dangda's new game. You're absolutely right. Suddenly, Bai Qian, holding a gaming device, stood up excitedly and exclaimed, Exactly. In that case, let's go ahead with promotional advertising. We might even spend a considerable amount of money. Spending more money doesn't necessarily guarantee effectiveness, but this approach is quite reasonable. The rest of the group chimed in, Okay, that's right. But traditional methods like buy endorsements or advertisements won't work. It's best to find ways to spend a lot of money without any apparent benefit. Okay, let's go online and find some reviewers for advertising. That's the way to go. Let's do it. Our CEO Bai decisively instructed Lu Mingliang, you go find reviewers for me. Puzzled, the young man scratched his head and asked with a faint smile, what? Are you saying I should find Huang Ziba and make specialized videos for advertising? Leveraging Riching CEO Bai's popularity to promote the game developers? Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian was startled, his mouth wide open, are you kidding me? Of course not. Right now, Riching CEO Bai is still in a crucial phase of building reputation. They can't risk their reputation by making videos to advertise a game. At the same time, Bai Qian thought to himself, Studio Fei Huang is Deng Da's company. Investing advertising capital there is like transferring money from one hand to the other. Then Mingliang suggested, or we could try contacting some famous reviewers with a large fan base in the market. What do you think, CEO Bai? After hearing this, Bai Qian slammed his hand on the table and said, That's it then. Tomorrow, I'll give you a list, along with a template for announcements and price quotes. You can use them as a guide. Mingliang was pleased and promptly responded, Yes, sir. Thank you, CEO Bai. Transitioning to the overweight youth who had previously reviewed the game Desert Lonely Expressway, his name was Kao Yu. At this moment, the young man was slurping noodles, looking utterly miserable. Then tears welled up in his eyes as he silently thought, So boring, for months I've been doing nothing. Can't even afford a cup of noodles now. Admiring this guy's video, with such high views, he must be raking in advertising money like crazy. Life's really unfair, hoo-hoo. Suddenly, a message popped up. Hello, Kao Yu. I'm Lu Mingliang, the executive director of Dang Da Game. I'd like to discuss a cooperation with you if you're available. The young man's eyes lit up like car headlights in the dark. Really? Cooperation? Of course, it's more than convenient. I'm about to starve to death here. Just waiting for this last bite of food, it's like the heavens have eyes. Then the conversation was envisioned as a grand courtroom drama. Lu Mingliang raised his hand and spoke first. Hey Ko Yu, with $3,000 for a video work for you? Upon hearing this, the chubby youth's mouth watered profusely, like a cat seeing fish. 3000 huh? This company just made it big. Three grand is enough to live for a whole month. Chao Yu then replied cheerfully. No problem, just tell me which videos you want to post. Okay, Lu Mingliang, here's the dialogue explanation for the video. The requirement is to perform the dialogue exactly as written, and the first condition is not to alter the lines. The youth Jiao Yu held up the script to read, and to his surprise, he broke out in a cold sweat, utterly horrified. In the script, it read, Act really cool, act crazy, act wild, and act like a total idiot. The more mentally challenged the character, the better, that's how you get more attention. After reading through, Kao Yu cursed, You're kidding, right? You want me to act out this crappy script? Posting this online will surely make me utterly embarrassed. Lu Mingliang scratched his head and replied, In the video, you can keep your face hidden, but if it's visible, even better. Later, I'll send you some gameplay footage. Hearing this, Kao Yu became even more furious, damn, saying it's best to show my face. Isn't that asking for my downfall? Thought it was a good deal, now it's like breaking my own rice bowl, so infuriating. The young man raised his hands in refusal. I decline, absolutely decline. Please invite someone else, I have my integrity, I respectfully decline. Just as he was about to leave, Lu Mingliang suddenly spoke up. What if I raise it to 4,000? Kyo Yu hesitated upon hearing this. 4,000? That's equivalent to a month's salary for an employee at a company. Following that, Kao Yu reluctantly asked, Could you let me try out your game? I'm sorry, the game is still in the testing phase, not playable yet. 
However, we can provide a lot of materials, enough for you to piece together a complete video. The young man took a deep breath upon hearing this, simultaneously thinking to himself, materials, dialogue, everything's prepared already. I just need to skim through the dialogue, put it into the video game, upload it, and earn $4,000. But once this video goes up, chances are the public will criticize it harshly, and I won't be able to face anyone. It's quite a predicament. Ah, right, if I just place it in the category of exposing trashy games, viewers might think it's satire, adding an effect to the video. Kiao Yu responded, Can I upload this video to the category of exposing trashy games? Lu Mingliang coldly replied, I'm sorry, absolutely not possible. I understand your concern, but rest assured. The category of exposing trashy games is my hottest section, with significant influence. Views are guaranteed to be 10 times higher than the section featuring new game recommendations this month. A few months ago, I exposed a game called Desert Lonely Expressway. After the exposure, it went from being an obscure game to topping the charts. Within two weeks, it generated a revenue of $200,000. Oh, what was the name of that company again? Give me a moment, let me check. As he clicked to view, Da Yu was shocked as if struck by lightning. Am I seeing things? Could it really be such a coincidence? Meanwhile, Lu Mingliing chuckled. Aha, so you've collaborated with our CEO by before. That's excellent then. Kiao Yu also replied awkwardly. Indeed, that's a masterpiece of your esteemed company. I didn't expect that I and your company had successfully collaborated once before. At the same time, the chubby youth thought to himself, the Jang and War of the Sea were both crafted by Deng Da. I wonder if he's still upset about our previous encounter. Then Ming Liang responded, Please wait a moment, let me ask for CEO Bai's opinion. Upon hearing this, Ka Yu was extremely startled. What? Just a few months ago, it was still a small independent game development company. Now it has become a wealthy CEO in the blink of an eye. How terrifying. CEO Bai Ha, huh? sounds like the owner of Deng Da. Could he be the one behind the game Desert Lonely Expressway? Oh no, I'm done for. Last time I exposed his game, he must be holding a grudge against me. Disaster. My career path is about to be ruined. Oh my goodness, why is luck so cruel? A while later, Lu Mingliang, with a bright smile, spoke up. I've consulted CEO Bai's opinion. He's delighted to collaborate with you again, but he says this time the video must be posted in the section featuring new game recommendations of the month. The dialogue must not be altered, and it must not give the audience a satirical impression. It must be portrayed convincingly, originating from the character's innermost feelings. Upon hearing this, Ka Yu felt like a thunderbolt had struck him, holding his head and crying out, Oh heavens, this is it for me. CEO Bai is definitely holding a grudge. He surely wants to see me embarrassed, hoo hoo hoo. Then Kao Yu clasped his hands and bowed, replying, I apologize, Ming Liang. This request is truly too much for me. I'm afraid I won't be able to fulfill it. Please, invite someone else. At the same time, Yao Yu thought to himself, I have no face left to collaborate with CEO Bai. I'd rather starve than face this. Oh no. Unexpectedly, Lu Mingliang raised his hand and said, 6,000, Kao Yu. I consulted with CEO Bai earlier, and he said he could raise it to 6,000. Upon hearing this, Kao Yu was horrified, holding his head and thinking to himself, What? Could you please stop? This isn't about money, but if I can live for two months on 6,000 by being frugal. Then the determined young man replied, This isn't about money. I said no, and that's final. Then Ming Liang, with a cool demeanor, spoke confidently, Kao Yu, I asked CEO Bai again, and he said he could raise it to $10,000. As soon as he finished speaking, Kiao Yu lifted his head and was startled. What? What is this? Surprisingly, a huge pile of money fell down like a mountain, knocking the young man flat on the ground, utterly shocked. Then Ming Liang added, We know you're a reviewer who values reputation highly. If you truly don't accept, we won't force you. Suddenly, Kiao Yu slowly stood up, his face as dark as coal, saying, Hold on, this isn't about money. CEO Bai is an old friend of mine, so this time I will definitely help. I give up with this guy's sudden change of heart. Well then, that's great. We'll send you more video materials. Kyo Yu immediately agreed with a nod. 
At the same time, he thought to himself, life is indeed difficult. Earning a living is not easy at all. The scene shifts to Dane Da's company office, where Ming Liang is currently in Bai Qian's office, reporting. Upon hearing the news, Bai Qian excitedly exclaimed, Kiao Yu accepted, okay, you did great. At the same time, he grinned mischievously, secretly thinking, hey, hey, this guy dared to play me at first. If it wasn't for him, I would have gotten my initial $50,000. Who knows, maybe everything will turn out differently. Next, Bai Qian asked, what about the other idols? Do they agree? Some of them still refuse even after the price increase, but there are quite a few who accepted, probably more than half. Most of them initially declined, but when they heard that others were reading the exact same lines and the video would be deleted after a month, coupled with the price increase, many agreed. After hearing this, our Bai Qian secretly thought, indeed, no matter how ridiculous the lines are, as long as you offer enough money, they will all read them. Then he gave the order, Xiao Yu accepted the highest price. Let him post the first video, he <laughs> he, yes, understood, CEO Bai, I will inform him immediately. The scene shifts to April 1st, April Fool's Day, in the room of Xiao Yu, with a grim face and trembling hands, the young man was thinking to himself, today is April Fool's Day, CEO Bai still seems to have a bit of conscience. Both the video and the game are being announced today, uploaded on April Fool's Day. The audience will think it's just a joke, right? Maybe I'll receive a bit less criticism. Then he firmly pressed the publish button. Along with that, he turned off all the speakers, phones and gadgets so that no one could contact him. Forget it. Get paid. Do the job. Pretend to be a dead turtle and hide. What's the big deal? Wait until everything settles down in two months. Then Cal Yu here will still be a good guy. Then all the fans in Kao Yu's group started to watch and discuss excitedly. Our Kao Yu has a new video. Everyone hurry up and watch. Holy shit. Why is it in the section featuring new game recommendations of the month again? Is he that desperate to earn a living? Then as it started playing, Kao Yu's voice began. Greetings, beloved papas. It's still your familiar Kao Yu here. Someone you all like to call papa. Before starting this segment, Please allow me to contain my excitement. Whoops, 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 ha 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 ha. The game you all are seeing right now. Have you all figured out its developer? None other than the famous Dangda company. They have just released a new game series. Now I'll start introducing its interface. Sorry, everyone. I might sound a bit messy. Wow, wow, ladies and gentlemen. It's been years since I felt so excited about a game. At 3.11 a.m., the Dangda team sent me some promotional videos for this game series. Its name is Game Designer, Ahehi. After watching, the whole group started chatting wildly below. Kiao Yu, if you get kidnapped, send an SOS signal. What on earth is this? Just earn a living. That's enough. How can you stoop to such low tricks? Seeing the new game recommendations of the month makes you want to click on them. What's the meaning of this? Is this an April Fool's Day prank? Yeah, today is April 1st. Must be it. Surely, in this 15-minute video, I've heard over 30 advertisements already. I pay for internet to watch this trash, and you, you're just hypocritical, ready to do anything to achieve your goals. Then, hundreds of questioning comments followed. In the end, how much money did you get to stoop to this level? Will tell you really get paid for this. The thing is, he's advertising for Dang Da, from Desert Lonely Expressway to Game Designer. I can't believe it. What happened between Dangda and Kao Yu? After watching the video, I've decided not to touch this trash game series, but finding out it's from Dangda makes me want to play it a bit. What should I do? Another person chimed in, Absolutely not, absolutely not, no way am I playing. It's shit, and yet you still want to eat it. Yet another teenager commented, I, on the other hand, want to see what's going on. What kind of game could drive Kao Yu crazy like this? What's going on? And now there's someone else posting advertisements for Game Designer 2. The dialogue is exactly the same, even the Xai Sup, Kaxai Sup, Kai Sup part, it's all so absurd. This must be the umpteenth time today I've seen Wow Wow, and now what the hell is this? Cut to Dangda's office, where our Bai Qian has seen the torrent of abuse online with a look of immense satisfaction. Holy shit, mission accomplished. Spend a fortune hiring multiple idols for advertising videos, only to have viewers mock and spit on them. 
the views aren't even picking up. It's basically had zero promotional effect. This is so wonderful, ha 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 ha. Preparing explanations for them in advance was such a clever move. The plan is half successful now. Now we're selling the game for $28, which is the lowest price the system allows, according to our internal calculations. So far, this game has had about $3 million in investment. If we price it at $28, we'll need to sell at least 110,000 copies to turn a profit. With the reputation being this bad, if there are a few misochists who like being mistreated and play this game, that's acceptable. But I doubt we'll even reach 110,000 of those, will we? The scene shifts to Cal Yu's place. Right now, the hundreds of missed calls displayed on the phone screen are simply terrifying. After seeing them, he sighs deeply, feeling extremely despondent. Indeed, it's truly tedious. Making dirty money is indeed not peaceful at all. The games aren't fun to play. Even instant noodles aren't tasty anymore. No, if I'm going to die today, it has to be clear. Even if Cao Yu's illustrious life is ruined, at the very least, the situation of the culprit must be clarified, right? Saying so, the young man buys the game right away, then swiftly downloads it and opens it to play immediately. As soon as he enters, the young man feels extremely confused. Where is this? Then the game begins to explain, this is a story related to game development. You are a novice game designer, harboring a grand ideal to rescue the domestic gaming industry. Oh, I can definitely create an amazing game. Your job is simple. Create attention-grabbing games that astound passersby, earn the admiration of colleagues, receive media acclaim, achieve staggering sales figures, and earn money to research the next game in the cycle. At this moment, a young man stands on the platform holding an enormous blazing golden cup to depict the game's storyline. Below, people are cheering wildly. I absolutely love this game. The hottest game of the year. I support Cow Yu. Amazing, amazing. All right, let's put aside the exaggerated praises. These are all distant matters. Now you only have one goal, which is to create a successful game that can survive in this fierce market. Arriving here, young Kyo Yu widened his eyes in utter surprise. How strange, this game doesn't seem bad at all. After playing for a while, the young man exclaimed, the interface of the game is top-notch and the art style is professional VIP level. Initially, I despised the game's blunt language, but the more I play, the more I feel that this straightforwardness is the essence of the game. Moreover, what's especially remarkable is that I truly sense this game has revealed the emotions and daily life of its creators. Blunt language may provoke hatred, seen as greed, or simply as bystanders criticizing. In the process of creation, some may silently give up due to the overwhelming pressure, while others overcome all difficulties, never forgetting their original goal. Some abandon their ideals, turning into someone they detest. Oh my, it seems I have misunderstood CEO Bai. How could someone capable of creating this game be insignificant? No, I must make a new video, start a new section, and name it Feng Shen Jizhou. Transition to Dang De Company's office on April 3rd. At this moment, a scene of profound darkness loomed. Bao Xu, Lin Wan, and Ilu Mingliang were engrossed in reading documents, their faces laden with sorrow. Lin Wan, the beautiful one, spoke first. According to the statistics, currently the game designer promotion, which was extended until Tuesday, not only lacks positive effects and direct impact, but also has led to the loss of many players. Initially, even the testers didn't rate it highly. They're in a state of mixed praise and criticism. Mingliang, feeling overly concerned, also chimed in, Hey Bao Xu, what should we do about this situation? Simultaneously, a young man was silently pondering, well, it's doomed. How unfortunate that the first project we received from Mr. Huang's operational plan turned out like this. Looks like I'm doomed this time. After glancing over for a while, Bao Su set the documents down. At this moment, the young man could only clasp his hands in prayer. Now we can only rely on divine intervention. CEO Bai probably foresaw this already. We've tried our best, followed the signs. If it doesn't succeed, neither us nor CEO Bai can do anything more. It's just the player's narrow perspective to blame. Meanwhile, Kiao Yu was typing away, planning what post to publish. All right, fine, now this video truly lives up to the name of our series, 
Feng Shen Jizu, making a Feng Shen, Qiao Yu messaged in a brand new segment called Feng Shen Jizu, the first video from game designer, along with a large scale artistic collaboration, has been released. Welcome, everyone, to watch. A gaming fan group referred to as Papa immediately commented, Ridiculous. The dead rise, huh? After faking his death for three days, he's back to do what? Make us watch this crappy game twice. Well, I'm curious to see how he wriggles out of it this time, he <laughs> he. Then Kao Yu took a deep breath and thought to himself, Though my career path is facing the greatest risk of my life, I firmly believe that in a few hours, my reputation can turn the tide. Next, the young man posted a video with the content, Hello, everyone, it's still Kao Yu here. Firstly, I'm deeply sorry to announce something. On April Fool's Day, we launched a large-scale artistic activity. The theme of this activity is, in the era of internet information, which is more likely to go viral, a short harmful video or a high-quality million-dollar game with rich content. Through experimentation, we regret to present this result to you all, which is a harmful and silly video. After watching, the young man in shorts was utterly astonished. I don't believe it. Is this an artistic endeavor? Where did this come from? This artistic activity is entirely organized by Dangda's team, aimed at exploring a rather profound theme. Myself and other reviewers uploaded videos, the content of which was very simple, using exaggerated language to flatter. Everyone's videos were uniform, even the dialogue explanations were identical. It's inherently worthless and meaningless, with content full of tricks to attract viewers. However, when too many people simultaneously upload this video, internet users still follow along, immediately forming a unique media trend. Because a harmful short video can push the limits, some people imitate it, leading to its rise and becoming a hot topic. After watching, everyone stood petrified like statues. Then the whole group commented, Holy shit, what's going on? It makes sense though. How could game designer produce such disgusting and useless stuff? All the videos are the same, definitely scripted by Deng Da beforehand. Exactly, exactly. Even though Kao Yu has fewer fans, he's always been a daring person. On the other hand, the new game titled Game Designer released by Deng Da carries significant meaning. It exposes the current state of the gaming industry and satirizes the chaos within the field. Whether it's the soundtrack, artistic style, or specific gameplay, it's filled with freshness and sincerity. A game line with rich internal content is about to face such a situation, with players not recognizing the mixed reviews. Next up, I'll analyze in detail for you why game designer could become Fang Shen Jizuo. Holy shit, this Kao Yu guy changes his tune so quickly. Ha 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 ha. The scene shifts to Tianhu restaurant, where our protagonist Bai Qian is as happy as a lark today. So he's brought all the colleagues in the company to the restaurant to fill their stomachs. At this moment, he speaks up. Today is about building a new team, so let's all play enthusiastically. When the young man turns to the staff, all their faces are gloomy and dismal. Strange, why does everyone seem so unhappy? Is the food here not to their taste? Then our Bai Kian slings an arm around Bao Exu and says, You're a seasoned employee, so you should know how to lead everyone. You've been here to eat before, so if you know what's good, just order freely. I'll foot the bill and don't let me catch anyone having ice cream. Then he turns to Mei Yi Jun, giving him a pat on the back and adding, And this one here is Ma Yi Jun, a new employee of the company. He's a writing prodigy, so we must take good care of him. Have you all heard me clearly? Wang Zi Ba, as for the short video project, I'm leaving it to you. Make sure to arrange everything properly, got it? Zai Ba, with his blonde hair, also smiles faintly in response. Yes, yes, understood, no problem. Next, our Bai Qian sits down and immediately grabs a big, struggling shrimp to devour. At the same time, he secretly thinks to himself, It's been a while since I've felt this happy. Everything seems to be going smoothly so far, ah he The internet cafe has been losing over $300,000 a month, and there are no signs of profit in sight. The short video's popularity isn't bad, but apart from the fees, the current income is still insignificant for game designers' reputation. There's no progress in sight, and the revenue is even worse. Given the current situation, there's absolutely no chance of recovering the investment. Heh <laughs> it's just wonderful. Seeing this, 
Lu Mingliang whispers to Bao Xu, puzzled. It's strange, isn't it? CEO Bai seems very happy today. Compared to the last party, it's like he's become a different person. Bao Xu responds, you're wrong. So what am I supposed to say, huh? Right now, the only one not allowed to feel down is CEO Bai. Think about it, game designer isn't selling well. Both reputation and revenue are not as expected, and everyone's mood isn't good. CEO Bai is supposed to be the leader in spirit. If even his demeanor is gloomy, can today's party even go on? Mingliang also realizes suddenly, ah, so that's it. CEO Bai is trying to spread optimism to us. At this point, Thao Aksu suddenly becomes serious and says, Exactly, a true leader is always optimistic in the face of difficulties and cautious when things are going well. CEO Bai has always been like that. He's a realist, always grasping and calculating with real-world issues, but he's also an idealist, willing to work regardless of personal gain. As he speaks, Bao Xu's eyes well up with tears and Lin Wan adds, That's right, that's right. So we must not disappoint CEO Bai's expectations. I believe we will overcome this challenge. Everything will turn out fine. She speaks very well. CEO Bai hasn't given up yet. It's too early to talk about failure now. Lu Mingliang immediately agrees. You're right, CEO Bai hasn't given up. So how can we say this game has failed? That's right, that's right. We can definitely turn things around. We must trust CEO Bai. Then the three of them clink their glasses of tinkle with great enthusiasm. On the other side, Huang Ziba turned to Zhu Xiaoshua for opinion. Is it appropriate to discuss this with CEO Bai now? I feel like it's the right time. Although CEO Bai hasn't shown any emotions regarding game designers' lack of sales, there's still some disappointment inside. Good news could lift his spirits and give him extra strength. Guan Ziba replied, It's a bit over the top to talk about giving CEO Bai extra strength. After all, the other party is just a new website. I think we should just speak normally. Anyway, let's just say what we have to say. Then Huang Ziba turned to our Bai Qian cheerfully and said, CEO Bai, let's toast to you. Bai Qian joyfully responded, All right, let's drink up. At this point, Ziba explained the company's short video project. We've been invited to collaborate by a website. Although it's relatively new, it's been developing well lately. Moreover, they proposed an incentive plan where creators can be rewarded based on views. Simply put, they want Riching CEO Bay to lead the way. They'll share profits with us based on the popularity. Upon hearing this, our CEO, Bai Qian, immediately became anxious. Mm, a new website. Does it start with letter A or B? At the same time, he was silently praying, please don't let it be B. Zaiba promptly replied, neither A nor B. It's a small website on Iceland, also known as Yilio Zan, CEO Bay. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian was utterly confused. He thought to himself, Ugh, Yilio Zan on Iceland, I have never heard of it. Anyway, as long as it's not A or B, it's okay. Iceland, just hearing the name sounds chilly, haha. <laughs> then Bai Qian gave a thumbs up and said, Both of you did very well, I'm very pleased. Both of them were pleased to hear this and responded, Rest assured, CEO Bai, we will certainly try harder. Surprisingly, at the other end of the table, the employees were discussing something enthusiastically. Are you serious? That's great, really great. Then it's a jackpot, ha ha ha. Mentioning our eight platform, plus advertising on the homepage, we're about to be hot. Our CEO, Bai Qian, was completely taken aback, his mouth wide open like a fish out of water. Damn, what's going on here? Mentioning advertising on the homepage, did I mishear something? Suddenly, Lu Mingliang, wearing glasses, rushed forward with his phone and exclaimed, CEO Bai, that's good news. At this moment, Bai Qian's face turned as dark as coal, silently thinking, oh my gosh, is there more to this? Please don't let it be what I think it is. Hoo 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 hoo, please no. Mingliang continued, CEO Bai, your marketing strategy is really effective. Initially, they didn't understand, but everything is within your plan. Our Bai Qian felt as if lightning had struck him sideways, stiffening up. What plan? Are you kidding me, universe? Oh no, oh no, please don't say it. It's that. Next, Lu Mingliang said, 
I've noticed our recent revenue is increasing significantly and our reputation is on the rise. I investigated further and found that some people truly understand the depth of the game you've created and the profound meaning behind the artistic style of our promotional activities. Finally, players are starting to grasp our game. Your efforts were not in vain, CEO Bai. Upon hearing this, our Bai Kian was completely surprised and couldn't comprehend what was happening. Artistic style promotional activities? Are they talking nonsense or am I losing my mind? Where am I? Who am I? How could this be possible? Clearly, I haven't done anything and what on earth is artistic style promotional activities? Then Bai Kian calmed down and said, Let's take it slow, everyone, let's discuss this slowly. Next, Ming Liang handed him a video, CEO Bai, take a look yourself. Then he held it up to watch and thought to himself, Kyo Yu's video, why is it him? The content of the video talks about in this game, outspokenness represents the progressive mentality, and it alludes to outsiders or cheerleaders. The gaming environment creates an immersive feeling, while the outspokenness brings a sense of strangeness. This kind of sensation easily leads players to ponder. Playing this game, I felt an intense resonance. Why is that? Upon careful consideration, it's because both video production and game development share commonalities. Or to say, almost all cultural creators have such a mindset, which is loneliness. There's a saying that the mission of the expressive is to be distorted. Perhaps this is the underlying purpose that Dang Da hopes this game achieves. Maybe they also predicted that this game's revenue would be in the red and wouldn't recover its investment, but they hoped to achieve one thing, to remain calm amidst this societal upheaval, to work patiently, and to think patiently. Where do we come from and where are we going in this society full of pitfalls? How should we live and what is ultimately worth pursuing? Watching this, Bai Kian's face turned as dark as coal, feeling utterly disheartened. Holy shit, did I really have such thoughts? How come I didn't realize? Down below, the audience comments, wow, is this what a large-scale artistic activity looks like? Our game studio's all playing this game now. I'm sorry, son, Papa misunderstood you. I'll go like and share right away. Kyo Yu is truly a great artist. The mission of the expressive is indeed to be distorted. Hoo-hoo. I'm really crying now. Have you cried yet? I never thought that game designer games could carry such profound meanings, I will definitely give it a try. Inwardly, Bai Kian was crying like a dog. Gam. What on earth is this? Kyo Yu was treated like a dog, and now suddenly becomes an artist. Talk about swimming against the current. Not only is he not an ordinary breadwinner anymore, but he's also an artist making a living, it's just infuriating. Plus, I can't explain it in any way, even if I did. Players wouldn't believe it, they might even interpret it as the actions of an artist. Over here, Lu Mingliang was smiling inwardly, thinking, indeed, CEO Bai always silently bears too much. Encountering someone who truly understands like Pao Yu, it's hard to avoid stirring him up a bit. Suddenly, Bao Xu leaned in to whisper another piece of news. Hey, CEO Bai, the good news doesn't stop there. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian was utterly horrified silently thinking, you're kidding, right? Is there even worse news? Mingliang then said, yes, earlier EXO just posted praise for game designer, directly pinning it to the top of their website. This game designer game, both in terms of content and gameplay, is very popular. They're even planning to nominate our game for more awards in the future. The two of them formed a new heart-shaped gesture. CEO by, our reputation is really on the rise. CEO Bai, I love you. After hearing this, our Bai Kian leaned back in his chair as if seeking transcendental relaxation. Then he gave a smile that couldn't be more insipid. Yeah, yeah, well done. At this moment, the two chuckled mischievously, thinking to themselves. CEO Bai is truly a big shot. Even with such happy news, he can remain so calm. But initially, CEO Bai's happiness was indeed fake. Now, this is the real emotion. He, CEO Bai, would you like to say a few words to everyone? No need, this is just the beginning of success. Don't be too arrogant, everyone's happiness is enough. The enthusiastic faces of the two young men responded, Yes, CEO Bai, we understand. Bao Xu, let's go, let's continue drinking. 
Balak Su also replied, All right, tonight we won't leave until we're drunk. All right, I'll ask for bottoms up, feel free, everyone. Then Ziba downed his drink in one gulp, impressively finishing 100%. The crowd around applauded admiringly, Wow, 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 Huang is so cool. Meanwhile, Bai Qian was seething inwardly, thinking, Arg, how could this happen? I just gave Chao Yu a little money, and he ended up making two videos, buy one get one free, it's infuriating. And now official even pinned a praise post, am I going to waste my efforts again? Cut to April 14th, everyone was happily filming. Zhu Xiaoshu said, cut, we're done filming, that officially wraps up the third season of Riching CEO Bai. Thanks for all your hard work, CEO Bai's acting is getting better and better, we'll be bothering you again for the fourth season. After hearing this, Bai Qian silently thought to himself, why would I have time to worry about the fourth season? Right now, I'm already tired of this game designer thing. Currently, the revenue is continuously increasing. It seems like it's already reached $100,000. Does this mean the game is going to make big profits again? How illogical is that? No matter how nonsensical the game is, why is it always so popular? Bai Qian was so furious that he almost burst a blood vessel. Unexpectedly, Lu Mingliang enthusiastically stepped forward and said, Hey Guang, what are you planning to do next? Shooting the fourth season, huh? It's not certain yet. Next, we'll consider two aspects. One is to delve deeper into this field, and the other is to explore other directions. However, according to the favorable conditions provided by Iceland, it's likely that the first season has already recouped the entire investment and even made a profit. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian once again froze in disbelief. Seriously? What on earth is happening now? The first season has already recouped the entire investment and even made a profit. Did I hear that right? Our Bai Qian asked again, What do you mean by that? Don't tell me you received some low-quality ads or something when we invested a million before. Zeba quickly replied, No, CEO Bai, it's not like that. I already mentioned it to you before. Iceland has a stimulus plan for video production. At this point, Bai Qian raised an eyebrow and responded, A stimulus plan? 10,000 views would only bring in like 10 to 30 dollars, right? No, CEO Bai, it's not like that. Iceland wanted to advertise, so they invested a large sum to purchase a top-notch exclusive broadcasting channel and were very generous regarding expenses. The CEO of Iceland believes that short films like Rich Hang CEO Buy will be a good development direction in the future. Therefore, they broke the norm and upgraded our rating from B to A, because each episode is around a minute long, so if viewers watch for more than 30 seconds, it counts as effective. Each effective view will earn us $0.2. Upon hearing this, Lu Mingliang's eyes sparkled brightly. That means, for the 10 episodes of the third season, as long as we ensure each episode gets a million valid clicks, we'll earn around $2 million. Then Zhu Xiaoshu promptly replied, Exactly, and even after deducting fees and taxes, we'll still make a profit. Then everyone raised their hands to go live and said, it's all thanks to CEO Buy's right strategy, he he. Because we rejected those low-quality advertising requests, we were able to turn Riching CEO Buy into a highly valuable series, earning good ratings from Iceland and receiving such favorable business conditions. It's all thanks to CEO Buy's foresight, he's the best, our CEO Buy is number one. After hearing this, our Bai Kian didn't know whether to laugh or cry, his face froze like a statue. Then the whole group began buzzing with excitement. Tonight at 8 p.m., our third season will officially premiere on Iceland's channel. Everyone please show your support. Okay, 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 I'll definitely support it, and I'll be the first one to comment. Surprised, Bai Kian slapped Huang Ziba's shoulder and asked, What's the link to Yulio Zan? Ziba with his blonde hair immediately showed it to Bai Kian, saying, Yes, it's this one, CEO Bai. Perplexed, Bai Kian asked again. So the English name of this website is Iceland? Yes, that's correct. Alice reads like Iceland, Jiba replied. Bai Kian, astonished, responded, Ah, I see. Meanwhile, internally, I'm boiling with anger. This is unacceptable. Isn't this supposed to create an artistic effect?
A while later, Bai Qian went into the room, turned on his computer to check. Ugh. This familiar website is indeed Station B. Then Bai Qian gritted his teeth in frustration. Isn't this an upgraded Station B sponsored by Shenhua Group and Tiandu? He then opened the system board to check the information. The current system funds were $710,000, a loss compared to the initial $290,000. After checking, he thought to himself, it seems the system is still in a deficit state, but it won't be for long. Within two and a half months, these two game lines have earned over $9 million, plus the initial capital of $1 million, totaling about $10 million in income. In terms of immediate spending, $1 million goes to Fei Huang Studio, research and promotion for game designer, totaling $3 million. The Internet Cafe also invested about $3.5 million, plus rent, salaries, and miscellaneous expenses, totaling about $2 million and a half in two and a half months, totaling about $9.8 million. I still plan to spend a heavy loss capital before the end of the month, earning about 1.8 million yuan, but why do I feel so desperate? Surprisingly, the beautiful secretary knocked on the door and called out to him, Excuse me, CEO Bai, do you have a moment? She then stepped inside and said, Excuse me, CEO Bai, this is the new company welfare plan, which was previously arranged. I want to confirm with you, if there are no issues, we will proceed with this plan. Bai Qian then took a look at it and said, the new company benefits include health checkups for all employees, with a standard of $3,200 per employee, along with increasing the shopping card to $3,000 and other benefits, to telling $500,000. At this moment, he thought to himself, another $500,000 spent, but it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Based on the current revenue of game designer and the popularity of Riching CEO Bai, cautiously estimating, we can still earn an additional two to three million dollars. Then Bai Qian responded to his secretary Tan, okay, proceed with this plan. Understood, CEO Bai, secretary Tan replied. He then thought to himself, I thought I was being very cautious, why does it end up like this? It's frustrating. Unexpectedly, secretary Tan added, there's one more thing, a reporter named Hugh from Xi Guang Travel called today, wanting to arrange an interview. This is the third reporter calling this week. Shall we continue to decline as before? Bai Qian nodded and replied, Decline the interview, we will still maintain the two principles as before. Firstly, do not disclose my identity outside, and secondly, do not disclose the specific company benefits, welfare, and salaries. Please emphasize this again to everyone. Understood, CEO Bai, I'll take care of it right away, Secretary Tam replied. Then Secretary Tan stepped out and closed the door behind her. Bai Qian then stretched out on the chair, feeling despondent and dejected, pondering, if the company's benefits and salaries are disclosed outside, wouldn't talented individuals rush to join? Now I can't even fire myself, woohoo! I have to keep the fact that I've started a company hidden from my parents for now. And fame brings with it controversies. If others take notice, it will be very inconvenient. After a brief moment of reflection, Let's consider it as taking $5,000 out of my own pocket to provide benefits for the employees. I am indeed a good boss. This time there's no loss of capital, and next time I'll continue to strive. However, I must surely draw on painful lessons, learn more, and clarify why Game Designer succeeded, or investigate if there are any major flaws in Game Designer, so that I can continue to excel in the future. Then he typed away to see within this game line, you would play as a game designer, and your goal is to overcome all obstacles, find the most successful game crafting methods, become a famous creator or go bankrupt, all up to you to decide. The highlight of this game line lies in helping players distinctly feel the hesitation and deliberation before two decisions, which is both clever and realistic experience within the inner world of a game designer. But if it's just that, then this game line can only be said to be a good simulation line compared to those traditional game lines, besides a slightly more sophisticated game interface, there are no special advantages. This game line may be famous because it always goes hand in hand with players' outspokenness. This is also the bright spot of the game. Game Designer has a total advantage score of 9.0 with the Black Comet style, along with the outspokenness that makes players want to be creatively free, 
helping players deeply engage with the industry, stimulating thinking. However, the downside is that sometimes it will deliberately limit the player, but this is only a part of the game content. Summarizing using the Black Comet style to conduct an in-depth analysis of the gaming industry, bringing players a new interactive experience. After finishing reading, Bai Kian buried his head in contemplation. Oh dear, how disappointing. Aren't they supposed to be professional reviewers? Why is the only downside just a part of the game content? With such a review, others might think we bribed them to watch. Maybe we should check out player reviews. Players are so picky, they'll probably find a lot more flaws, won't they? Below, one comment reads, This style is truly amazing. It turns a dry topic into something interesting and vivid. Indeed, from Kao Yu to here, it's truly a classic Black Comet work. I'm enthusiastically giving it 5 stars. Not giving it 5 stars means you don't understand this game at all. Another comment says, This outspokenness is so great. I don't really want to design games, I just enjoy this outspokenness. Another person comments, $28 is really thoughtful. Surely we'll recover the investment. I bought three copies, two to give away. I hope this game won't lose its investment. After finishing watching, Bai Kian felt even more fed up. Seriously, what a joke, these guys. How could this happen? I've been racking my brain to advise them to quit playing this game, and now it's become a hot topic. How does that make any sense? Clearly, it doesn't make any sense at all, and there are people saying they really like the outspokenness, satisfying their desires. Tomorrow, I'll let Liu Mingliang debut as a fictional idol. With a ridiculous style and boring gameplay, even the outspokenness that people hate will become the center of attention. What's the point of summarizing the experience? I make the game according to my own ideas, but they say it's perfect, with no flaws at all. And the Black Comet style, am I crazy or are they crazy? Transitioning to April 19th at Hospital No. 3, Huang Ziba asked, Hey Bao Xu, how did your health checkup go? Bao Xu replied, Oh, it's all right. I have a little issue with my stomach. The doctor said I stay up late too much and don't eat moderately. And how about you, Huang? I have a mild fatty liver, slightly high blood pressure, but nothing major. Bao Xu responded, I heard that starting next year, we'll have to get checked every six months and we can't skip it. Bao, you shouldn't think like that. Health checkups are a good thing. If it weren't for this checkup, I wouldn't have known about my mild fatty liver. I'll have to pay more attention to my diet from now on. And what about Mei Jun? Mei Jun also replied, I'm doing okay, just a slight stomach issue like Bao Xu. Back when we were still in Shang Yang, we had to work overtime often with irregular eating habits. These kinds of illnesses are quite common. We just need to pay more attention to our eating habits and make some adjustments. Ma He Jun, with tears welling up, responded emotionally, Dang Da is still the best, not only providing benefits, but also arranging health checkups for us. CEO Bai is truly a good boss. Wang Ziba chuckled and said, no need to say those words. We have the afternoon off, right? Yes, yes, everyone can call a ride home. The company will cover the expenses. Mei Yi Jun, suddenly realizing, exclaimed, Oh no, I left my umbrella at the hospital. I'll go get it back. You guys don't need to wait for me. You can go ahead. Ziba immediately replied, We'll go together, Yi Jun. Then Mei Yi Jun hurried off and managed to find his umbrella. Phew, luckily it's still here. As he was about to bend down to pick it up, he heard someone calling out, Hello, are you a Dane Day employee? Maggie Jun turned around to see a charming girl with short hair saying, Hi, I'm Hu Yu, a reporter from Du Lu Shiguang. We're planning to write an interview related to the Dengda game recently. Would you be willing to participate? Surprise, the young man asked, How do you know I'm a Dengda employee? Hu Yu smiled mischievously and replied, I have a friend working at the hospital. She mentioned that Dengda employees would come for health checkups today so I hurried over here. After hearing this, Ma Yi Jun waved his hand and turned away coldly, saying, I'm sorry, but our company has a policy of not disclosing the identity of the boss, as well as not revealing specific benefits and salaries. So, I hope you can find someone else. Suddenly, Hu Yu grabbed his sleeve and spoke loudly, Wait, you don't need to disclose the boss's identity, nor do you need to reveal the benefits and salaries. You can answer in a vague manner. You're too dedicated to your profession. Is it really necessary? 
Dangda is just a regular gaming company. Why bother with this interview? He Yu responded, No, I'm here for the advancement of the domestic gaming industry. That's why I came for the interview. Perplexed, the young man asked, Why did you say that? He Yu, now resolute, said, In the past, the domestic gaming industry has always been criticized by players for being careless, lacking creativity, and only focusing on money. As a gaming media personnel, I feel sad about this but also determined. Surprisingly, she stepped closer to him, glaring and said, The emergence of Dangdav has shown me a completely different gaming company. Do you understand? Upon returning to the company, Mei Jun recounted everything to our friend Bao Aksu. That's the whole story. Yesterday, I said I would think it over. Bao Aksu, do you think I should accept this interview? Bao Aksu pondered silently. Mum, I think you can accept this interview, but didn't CEO Bai make it clear? We're not allowed to disclose his identity, nor reveal specific benefits and salaries of the company, right? Bao Xu responded with a hint of sophistication. You shouldn't be so rigid. You must understand CEO Bai's true intentions. Upon hearing this, Mai Yi Jen was completely astonished. What? CEO Bai's intentions? Right, why doesn't CEO Bai allow us to disclose his true identity? Because CEO Bai is humble, he's a charismatic game developer. If he were to reveal his identity, players might not focus on the game anymore, but on him. He doesn't want players to become mindless fans, but hopes they can escape his charisma and evaluate the game objectively and fairly. At this point, Mahi Jun felt puzzled and asked again, then why doesn't CEO Bai allow us to disclose the benefits and salaries of the company? In my opinion, CEO Bai is concerned about the domestic gaming industry. We all know that the current benefits and salaries at Dengda are very rare. Other companies are far behind. Do you think if our salaries were disclosed, what would happen? Ma Yi Jun responded, In that case, wouldn't it be a good thing if talented individuals flocked to Dengda? Bao Xu further explained, Rushing things might lead to failure. If Dang Da's extravagant benefits and salaries were disclosed now, it would undoubtedly affect employees of other companies, subsequently impacting the overall environment of the domestic gaming industry. That would backfire. Now I understand. Looking at the bigger picture, the entire gaming industry will gradually progress due to Dang Da's influence, but it's still too early. We must take things one step at a time. Bao Xu then gestured, exactly, exactly. So you should accept this interview. Ma Yi Chun, puzzled, responded, Ha, huh, what do you mean? CEO Bai only said not to disclose Dang Da's benefits and salaries, but apart from these, Dang Da still has many other impressive aspects. As a gaming company, we need to attract talented individuals, and I don't think CEO Bai would overlook this point. Ma Yi Chun, feeling delighted, exclaimed, I understand now, Bao Aksu. I must ensure to conduct this interview exceptionally well. Transitioning to Bai Kan's room, he is currently checking the system. The current capital is 2,130,000, with profits to telling 1,130,000. He looks visibly bored. According to the plan, we should have reached the goal of breaking even, but who would have thought that the game designer would start making such huge profits? And to surpass my predicted timeline by a week? I expected to earn an additional $1 million, meaning the system's assets are probably around $3 million. After deducting the initial $1 million investment, it can be converted into $2,000. Placing the empty coffee cup down, he trembles like a leaf and then slumps down on the sofa, feeling despondent. In three months, over $20,000, averaging around $7,000 a month is not bad, but compared to that $2 million figure, it's truly heartbreaking, hoo 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 hoo. Suddenly, there's a knock on the door. Mr. CEO Bai, it's Huang Ziba. Upon entering, Ziba looks excited as he says, CEO Bai, I've come to deliver some good news. Upon hearing this, Bai Qian is wide-eyed with surprise. Really? Again? Then Ziba, with blonde hair, begins to explain. Riching CEO by Season 3 just aired on Iceland Island for three episodes and already reached a million views. According to the agreement, Iceland Island will pay us over 530000 which has already been transferred to the account. When all 10 episodes are aired, the amount will triple or quadruple. 
CEO Bai, I'll transfer this amount to Dangda's account for you to distribute. Bai Kian at this point wears a smile that couldn't be more genuine, raising his empty coffee cup in response, he says, Let's not rush with the money matters, let's take our time. Huang Ziba on the other side seems a bit confused, apparently, CEO Bai's cup seems to be empty, that's odd. Then Bai Kian lifts the cup, taking a sip while contemplating, Last week's broadcast garnered 530,000 views, and this week's airing of four episodes amounts to around 700,000, meaning before the payment, Fei Huang Studio will pocket around 1 million too. Fei Huang Studio represents the entire capital of the company. If we transfer all the money to Dangda's account, this payment will convert to about 10,000 in personal assets. However, for the next installment, if we convert to $10,000 now, it means adding $1 million every month. No, absolutely can't do that. Then Bai Qian continues, you'll divide Fei Huang Studio's profits into four-fifths, keeping 10% for the studio's daily operations and future use. You and Zhu Xiaoxiao, as those in charge, will each take 10%, while the other core employees will take 10%. The remaining 20% will be reinvested. Upon hearing this, Huang Zibai is dumbfounded. Huh? Huh? Why return 20%? CEO Bai, this doesn't seem quite right. Absolutely not. At the same time, Blan Ziba is silently musing. CEO Bai is too generous, two initiators, each with 10%, core staff 10%. This is more like a bonus for Fei Huang Studio, exceeding the company's distribution quota. Meanwhile, our protagonist CEO Bai is inwardly crying, his face dark and visibly frustrated. If it weren't for the system restrictions, I wouldn't even bother with this 20%. Hoo 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 hoo. Wang Ziba responds, but, but. Before he could finish, Bai Qian raises his hand to cut him off. No buts about it, this decision stands, and furthermore, all employees must receive a raise with full pay. Ziba transitions from one surprise to another utterly bewildered, but with no other choice, he responds, Yes, understood, CEO Bai. Um, is there anything else you need? Internally, Bai Qian is itching to smack the young man a few times to relieve his frustration. Simultaneously, Bai Qian curses inwardly, Go quickly, trying to trick me twice, I still have to smile and praise you. Just thinking about it makes me want to explode for real. That's right, CEO Bai, we're currently preparing to start filming the fourth season, how do you feel about that? Bai Qian replies, I won't participate in the acting anymore. The first three seasons were because I saw you guys just starting out, so I joined to help. At the same time, he silently thinks, trying to lure me into filming the fourth season, dreaming. Never, absolutely never. Then our Bai Qian continues somewhat reluctantly, now that Fei Huang Studio has established itself, and I'm also very busy, so I won't participate in the acting anymore. On the other side, Huang Ziba thinks to himself, CEO Bai helped us out when we were just starting, even though he only took a small fee, he was very serious about filming all three seasons. Now reaching CEO Bai is so popular, it's all thanks to CEO Bai. He then responds, but CEO Bai, if this short film doesn't have your participation, it will lose its soul. You guys shouldn't think like that. You need to step out of your comfort zone. After hearing this, Huang Ziba startled and asked back, Huh, step out of the comfort zone? Indeed, continuing to film the fourth season might make some money, but don't forget, what's a million dollars I give you? As he spoke, he patted Huang Ziba's shoulder firmly. Ziba replied, It's the capital of dreams, sir. That's right. Does your dream only come to this step? Is your dream just to film a short film that reaches a million views? You need to step out of your comfort zone, challenge yourself. That's the essence of dream capital, do you understand? With an expression resembling those of multi-level marketing folks, Huang Ziba on the other side was already in a flurry. Yes, yes, I, I understand now, CEO Bai, I'll go ahead, thank you for your guidance. Then, with a determined look, Ziba walked out, I understand now, I will definitely not disappoint CEO Bai. In the room, our Bai Qian sat back in relief, exhaling lightly, phew, lucky, lucky, that guy believes in me now. Finally, it's resolved. If we film another fourth season, the earnings from each season won't just be $2 million.
I wouldn't be able to handle it anymore. While loosening up and relaxing, suddenly there was a knock on the door, disrupting the tranquility. By Kian, his face flushing with anger, said again, coming all at once like this. It turned out to be his secretary, Tan, about to report on work matters. Yes, CEO Bai, the health checkup report is here. It has been handed over exactly as you instructed. Please take a look at it. Bai Kian replied, Okay, very good, just leave it on the table. Oh, Secretary Tan, could you briefly explain the results of this health checkup? Secretary Tan continued, Yes, overall, the results of this health checkup are very good. About 70% of our company's employees have mild health symptoms, the common issues being related to digestion, mild fatty liver, overweight, high blood pressure, and blood lipids. Some individuals have more serious issues and require medication for treatment. The most serious case is Zhu Ming, who has a benign tumor and needs surgery, but fundamentally, there is no danger. Upon hearing this, he startled and thought to himself, moon surgery. Then he asked, how much does this surgery cost? Secretary Tan was also silently pondering, oh my, is CEO by concerned about the employee's health issues? Will it affect work? He truly is a kind-hearted boss. Then she added, the average age of our company's employees is under 27 years old and their health is generally very good. Although there are some minor issues, a slight adjustment will suffice and won't affect their work. After hearing this, he immediately questioned the system. Hey, system, what is the standard for occupational accident compensation? The system responded, work-related disabilities can be considered occupational accidents and the portion outside of medical insurance can be fully reimbursed. Cases of serious injury and disability related to work will be rewarded according to legal regulations. After reading this, he thought to himself, Mmm, any injury related to work can be considered an occupational accident. Well, like muscle strain in the back, herniated discs, and gastrointestinal issues can all be considered occupational accidents, Ha. Huh? All of these will be included in the occupational accident expenses, so each person will incur several thousand dollars. This may not be a large amount, but it's still a new direction. Following that, he said to his secretary, please inform everyone to gather for a meeting in the conference room at three o'clock, including Ma Yang and Huang Ziba. Yes, CEO Bai, what is the agenda for this meeting? Ai Qian replied, we need to promptly discuss the matter of compensating for occupational accident expenses for everyone. Upon hearing this, the secretary Tan was taken aback. Occupational accidents. Switching scenes to three o'clock that afternoon, the secretary was distributing documents to all the employees. Meanwhile, Ming Liang and Maggie Jun were murmuring softly. CEO Bai suddenly called for a meeting. Could it be about initiating a new project? I'm not sure. But if it's about a new project, why would Huang and Mr. Ma need to be here? Quite peculiar. Surprisingly, our Bai Qian firmly declared, I have reviewed everyone's health examination reports, and the situation doesn't look very promising. He slammed his hand on the table in frustration. People are too neglectful of their health. Working overtime so much leads to numerous occupational illnesses like this. Upon hearing this, everyone became apprehensive their faces turning pale, wasn't it just minor issues? Slightly elevated blood pressure, mild fatty liver, mild obesity, and some blood circulation issues due to excessive mouse usage. Why does CEO Bai's tone make it sound like we're on the brink of death? Next, Bai Qian pointed to Bao Xu and said, Hey Bao Xu, is your stomach not feeling well? It must be due to excessive overtime and imbalanced diet, clearly an occupational illness you need to adjust. Besides the medical insurance subsidy, all medical expenses will be covered by the company. Assistant Tan, later you'll go to the hospital and instruct them to provide the best treatment plan for him. Secretary Tan, upon hearing this, also broke out in a sweat and replied, yes, yes, certainly CEO Bai. Bao Xu, the young man now with widened eyes and a horrified expression, exclaimed, is that true, the best treatment plan? I just have a stomach issue, it's just digestion trouble. What kind of best treatment plan is needed? Just take some easy to digest food. Forget it, I'll digest myself. Next, Bai Qian gestured towards the purple-haired Magi Jun and exclaimed, 
and there are others as well. For instance, Maui Jun, you also have a stomach problem, right? Then count yourself in too. Mani Jun, upon hearing this, furrowed his brows in utter confusion. What? Me? Oh, nearly forgot. Hey, Bao Xu, you've been losing quite a bit of hair lately. It's because of excessive overtime. Also falls under occupational illness. Later, you should go to the hospital for a checkup. Your hair should grow back to normal. If not, you'll have to deal with me. Bao Xu, the young man, remained shocked after hearing this. Next, Bai Qian pointed at the blonde-haired Huang Ziba and exclaimed loudly, Hey Huang Ziba, your mild fatty liver condition also needs proper adjustment. Moreover, why is your face excessively oily and your complexion not good? It's clearly because of overwork, right? It definitely falls under occupational illness. Huang Ziba, upon hearing this, furrowed his brows and replied with a faint smile, Ah, CEO Bai, you've misunderstood. It's because I forgot to wash my face before coming here. Bai Qian immediately responded, These facial conditions will affect the company's image. Take the time to improve your appearance. The company will cover all expenses. Do you understand? And as for Mingliang, I noticed in your health examination report that you seem to have chronic cough. It's definitely because of excessive dubbing work. You don't need to worry. This also falls under occupational illness, and the company will cover all expenses for your treatment. Lu Mingliang was sweating profusely by now. Bai Qian continued, Additionally, there are many people suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome, which greatly affects work efficiency. They need to seek treatment urgently. And zooming, your issue is the most severe, right? Yes, that's correct. Your tumor needs surgery. However, you don't need to worry. Besides the medical insurance subsidy, the company will cover all expenses. Your illness is also caused by overexertion at work. We'll arrange for your treatment in a few days. You must recover quickly, understood? The whole staff appeared deeply concerned upon hearing. Ju Ming, do you have a tumor? Why didn't you tell us earlier? How could you bear this burden alone? Zhu Ming, don't worry, we'll stand behind you. When will you start treatment? Do you need to be hospitalized? We will definitely visit you regularly. Zhu Ming, now wide-eyed with astonishment, replied, What's going on? My tumor is benign. Whether or not to undergo surgery is up for consideration. It won't have much impact. Besides, it seems to be a benign fibroma, just over 5 millimeters. Hospitals don't even treat those under 4 millimeters. The entire company fell into a state of questioning, descending into a solemn silence. Suddenly, Bai Qian spoke up loudly. Everyone, please take this seriously. Your health doesn't just concern yourselves, as employees are also assets of the company. If you've signed a labor contract, then the company is responsible for your health. Mai Yang and Huang Ziba, later you two will compile a health status report of the employees at both the Internet Cafe and Fi Huang Studio according to these standards. Yes, yes, CEO Bai, next, I will introduce the company's new benefits. Firstly, regarding occupational accidents, any health-related issues related to work will be considered as such. Prioritizing medical insurance. For expenses not covered by medical insurance, the company will provide support. Specific details will be calculated later. Additionally, Assistant Tam will arrange annual gym memberships for all employees with an extra eight private training sessions per month, requiring attendance at the gym twice a week. Secretary Tan promptly jotted down notes. Yes, yes, understood. Next, CEO Bai added, regarding dietary issues, many of our company's employees suffer from gastric problems mainly due to imbalanced diet. Ma Yang, can we have a skilled chef at the Internet Cafe? Hire two more, pay attention to nutritional balance, prepare meals every noon, and have them delivered on time. The company will take care of the meals. Mei Yang was equally surprised. Yes, understood, CEO Bei. Bai Qian continued, Furthermore, I believe, to ensure the health of our employees, we need to find a nutrition expert. Assistant Tan, please take note, and then find a suitable candidate. Upon hearing this, Secretary Tan broke into a sweat and replied, Yes, understood, CEO Bai. Everything's settled. Let's end the meeting here today, everyone. Our Bai Qian then stood up, a look of satisfaction crossing his face as he secretly thought, Nothing can hinder me. This time I'll have to spend over $500,000 again. 
It seems that this week isn't going smoothly, but the future path still looks bright. He. Tears welled up in the eyes of the employees, deeply moved. Oh, CEO Bai is such a good boss. We're truly touched. How could there be such a boss in this world who values the health of employees so much? Truly, there's nothing more beautiful. Manny Jung clenched his fists, his face filled with determination, thinking to himself, I have to perform really well in tomorrow's interview. I must let CEO Bai and Dengda's spirit spread to everyone. After our Bai Qian finished speaking, another hidden talent was recruited. Ha <laughs> ha. Despite Bai Qian's warnings, the young man was determined to attend the interview with journalist Yu Yu to prove himself. Shortly thereafter, on April 20th, Mai Yi Jun found himself at a cafe, ready to execute his plan. Yu Yu began, Let's get started then. Firstly, I'd like to ask, how long have you been with Dengda, and what specific responsibilities do you have? Mahi Jun, scratching his head nervously, replied, I've been with Deng Da for a month now, mainly just learning. Upon hearing this, Hu Yu's eyes widened, just learning. Could you elaborate? Deng Da specializes in high-level design work. Newcomers usually aren't allowed to participate, only to learn. The journalist diligently scribbled notes, thinking to herself, every day, I'm under immense pressure. Learning CEO buys game design concepts and understanding the illusions he hints at. It's embarrassing to admit, but even now, I still rely on my seniors to teach me to truly grasp CEO buys intentions. His words may seem simple, but they contain the depths of an endless ocean. Upon hearing this, Hugh Yu asked again, Oh, I see. Well then, let's talk about the recent trend of hot game design. This January has been incorporating artistic promotional activities. Is this something your company had planned beforehand? Mahi Jun replied coldly, No, in fact, none of us knew anything. It was CEO Bai who decided on the artistic promotional activities beforehand but kept it hidden from everyone. It's embarrassing to admit. In reality, we didn't contribute anything. Hu Yu burst into laughter, her eyes sparkling. She then eagerly asked, Could you elaborate more on your CEO Bai? Meanwhile, she thought to herself, if I'm not mistaken, this is a treasure trove company and a rare gem of a boss. Mahi Jun looked towards the sun as he spoke. CEO Bai is a design genius. Sometimes he'll outline a few simple directions and will follow them, thus creating outstanding games, like War of the Sea, for example. Sometimes he'll personally research, refine every detail, and polish it to its optimum, like in the case of Game Designer. Furthermore, CEO Bai possesses a unique charm. Both master painter Rulan Guangjian and idol reviewer Kyo Yu are acquaintances of CEO Bai, and their friendship isn't tainted by money. CEO Bai is a solitary genius. His ideals transcend the era, so he's often misunderstood by others, but he doesn't mind continually surpassing himself. At this moment, journalist Hu Yu also silently thought, Oh my, even though his words are full of praise, this is an anonymous interview. Even if these words reach CEO Bai's ears, he won't know they came from Mai Jun. Therefore, these are truly Mai Jun's thoughts. Such harmony between boss and employee, I've never seen before. What a beautiful relationship it is. She then asked further, Previously, when the short film Riching CEO Bai became popular, it seems some materials from Deng Da were used. Could you please elaborate on the cooperative relationship between the two parties? Mahi Jun promptly replied, Yes, indeed. These materials could be produced by Studio Fi Huang, which is a subsidiary of Deng Da. After hearing this, Hu Yu excitedly remarked, Indeed, that means the popularity of this short film partly relies on CEO Bai's practical experience, right? Mahi Jun responded, I'm sorry, I can't discuss that as it may disclose CEO Bai's information. All right, moving on. For the last question, if the absolute score were 100, what score would you give CEO Bai as a boss? Mahi Jun's eyes sparkled as he replied, Perhaps in the world, there are some bosses who would score 90 points, for example, those who pay full overtime wages and offer many company benefits. Suddenly, he slammed his hand on the table, but CEO Bai could score 200 points. I can only say that if someone told me there was a boss like CEO Bai in the world before I came to Dengda, I would never have believed it. Moving to April 22nd, at Mei Yang's Wonka Chaba Internet Cafe, our CEO Bai was sitting there. 
enjoying his drink in a very relaxed manner. Both of us over here found it quite unusual, so we whispered to each other, What's going on? CEO Bai wouldn't just randomly drop by like this. Ma, if you have a good relationship with CEO Bai, you should think of a way. Don't worry, leave this to me. Even if the internet cafe can't hold on anymore, based on the relationship between CEO Bai and me, I can help you relocate somewhere else. But it's really tricky this time. To be honest, we might lose face a bit over this. Huang Ziba might have made a short film that garnered millions of views, and even Lu Mingliang developed a hot game, but we're still losing money, which is quite frustrating. Chang Yuan with orange hair chimed in, Ma, I'm not trying to shift blame, but we've also come up with ideas. It's just that CEO Bai didn't agree. Ma Yang quickly replied, You're mistaken. Look at Huang Ziba. Although I'd always feel he's not much better than me, he did exceptionally well this time. CEO Bai didn't allow them to use low-quality advertising to make a profit, so they tried to promote their videos on various online platforms to seek opportunities. By the third season, they secured an exclusive screening deal on Iceland Island, so they've recouped their investment. On our side, Chang Yuan bowed his head in remorse and said, Brother Ma is right. It seems like I'm truly avoiding responsibility. We are truly at fault. At the same time, Chang Yuan was deeply worried, thinking to himself, the internet cafe is continuously losing money. CEO Bai will surely find a way to rectify this. And by then, he will reprimand and discipline the employees. Ma Yang has such a good relationship with CEO Bai, so he'll be fine. It's only me who will bear the brunt, hubu, I'll be the one to suffer. Suddenly, our Ma Yang strode forward confidently and said loudly, CEO Bai, I know this situation is difficult for you, but you entrusted the internet cafe to me for management so the losses naturally fall on my shoulders. I can resign proactively this time, but Chang Yuan is a capable employee, you must continue to value and retain him. Bai Qian was taken aback, his eyes wide with confusion. What? What's going on? Then Ma Yang bowed his head to apologize sincerely. CEO Bai, the internet cafe's losses are my responsibility, I understand this very well. Although we have a good brotherly relationship, the company cannot afford to suffer losses because of me. Please criticize me for it. Our Bai Qian was taken aback, gaping in surprise before hastily responding, Stop, stop, Ma Yang, what are you saying? Among everyone, I have the utmost confidence in you. You all certainly haven't disappointed me. Let me tell you, although the Internet Cafe is currently experiencing losses, your positions within the company are more important than the other two places combined. Chang Yuan, you come here too. At the same time, he thought to himself, I used to think Bao Exu and Huang Ziba were worth valuing, but now I find one is naive and the other plays tricks. Chang Yuan approached, scratching his head in confusion, and asked, Uh, CEO Bai, what's going on? Then Bai Qian said earnestly, Currently you two are the most valued individuals here, do you understand? The two of them looked at each other in a daze, utterly puzzled. Then Bai Qian thought to himself, upon careful consideration, ever since I took over the founding system of Dengda, the only place that has been losing money is this internet cafe. Perceiving the confusion, Mai Yang asked again, What do you mean by that, CEO Bai? We still don't understand. Our Bai Qian took a deep sip, draining his glass, then proceeded to explain, You both have done very well. Persistence is key to success. Next month, I will go to other places in Jingzhou to open internet cafes. You need to prepare well. Previously was just a rehearsal. The main act is yet to come. Ma Yang and Chang Yuan on this side listened in bewilderment, looking even more clueless. Our Bai Qihan's face now showed determination as he thought to himself, the internet cafe loses $300,000 every month, and we can't even recover $3 million in capital. So what if there were 10 internet cafes? Wouldn't we be losing even more? Hey, hey, I am indeed very smart. Then he reached out to Ma Yang, pressing like and said, Remember, I always entrust my hopes in you, and that hasn't changed. Ma Yang was deeply moved, tears welling up in his eyes as he even made a heart shape with his hand, saying, CEO Bai, for you to still trust me like this, even though things have come to this point, I am truly touched, ah hoo hoo. Our CEO Bai then exclaimed boldly, If we're losing 300,000 every month, so what? 
it's just a small amount. Currently, Dangdot is growing, and hoarding so much money won't generate more money on its own. We just need to use it wisely. As always, the Internet Cafe holds the most important position in Dangda. Because I value it, that's why I dare to entrust it to you too. Now forget about the losses. Just work with peace of mind. It's still the same motto. No matter how much loss, I'll take care of it. Hearing this, the two of them burst into tears like children. You two absolutely must not feel any psychological pressure. I assure you all, no matter how much the Internet Cafe loses, I will never lay off anyone. This time, all the employees in the cafe will get a 30% salary increase. I hope everyone continues to be enthusiastic, serving each customer well. Next month, I will open another internet cafe in Jingzhou, and by then, everyone will have the opportunity to be a cafe owner. The whole staff at this point cheered with joy, shouting, oh yeah, several times. Thank you, CEO Bai. CEO Bai is the best. CEO Bai is amazing. Okay, I'm heading home now. You've got the internet cafe, I feel very reassured. After hearing this, Mai Yang had some thoughts in his mind. CEO Bai, you can rest assured, I will definitely come up with a plan. Absolutely not letting Huang Ziba outshine me. Today, I'll sing a few more songs, try to attract customers to buy drinks, we will definitely not let CEO Bai down. A while later, Bai Qian stepped out to the car, thinking to himself, today's visit should be enough. The internet cafe probably won't have any issues now, saying that will probably make them try even harder, but it's useless. The direction was wrong from the start. No matter how hard we try, it won't make any difference. The prices and location of the internet cafe have already driven away a large part of the customers. Waiting until next month when I open another cafe, I'll just continue to lose money. Things won't get any better. Suddenly, he was startled to see that over here, the whole bunch of dozens of them were focused on their computers, looking at something very dangerous. Bai Qian broke into a cold sweat, falling into deep contemplation. This doesn't feel right. Why are Huang Ba and Zhu Xiaoshu here? This is not good. Not good at all. I've missed something important. The game designer is trending, riching CEO Bai is trending, and I'm still losing money at the internet cafe. There shouldn't be any problems. What could be worse news? Save me, save me, I'm really haunted. Next, Bao Aksu quickly noticed and exclaimed, CEO Bai is back, everyone. CEO Bai, CEO Bai. I can't believe how swiftly he's turned the tables. Truly admirable, down-to-earth strategies. The others chimed in, absolutely, couldn't agree more. Who would have thought a casual remark from CEO Bai could hold such profound implications, skillfully maneuvering the situation? Indeed, no one can outwit CEO Bai. Over here, our Bai Qian was sweating profusely, feeling as if he had just taken a shower. Oh my gosh, what's next? Then Bao Xu promptly showed him a news article on his phone. Sir, take a look at this article. It discusses the mysterious approach to Dang Da Game Company, suggesting it's the paradise of the domestic gaming industry. After reading it, he felt somewhat relieved. Thank goodness, there's no mention of my identity or the company's benefits and privileges. So what's the purpose of this article? Are they just celebrating? Unexpectedly, Bao Xu, his yellow shirt, pressed the like button and added, CEO Bai, CEO Bai, deliberately concealing your true identity and Dang Da's benefits and privileges is truly a brilliant strategic move. Then two others joined in. The game designer has gained a good reputation in the domestic gaming industry due to artistic promotional activities and superlative game quality. Riching CEO Bai's video project has also garnered significant attention on the short film list and is attracting more viewers. Then the three of them, with sparkling eyes, gleefully exclaimed, but we couldn't have imagined. All of this is part of CEO Bai's strategy. Upon hearing this, his face turned as dark as coal, utterly puzzled and to add insult to injury, they continued, the game designer and riching CEO Bai, they are the two blazing fires. With just a flicker from CEO Bai, he can turn them into a raging inferno. The more they burn, the stronger they become. At this moment, our Bai Qian felt another pang of pain, losing another quarter of his lifeblood. Lu Mingliang continued, this small flame is indeed a brilliant strategic move. 
After this article was published, both players and short film enthusiasts started taking an interest in our company. I'm eager to visit CEO Bai's company, just like everyone else. Your agony increases twofold, losing half of your lifeblood. The Dane the Game theme is trending on Instagram and Facebook. A large number of passersby are being drawn in, some to the game, others to the films. In the past two days, the game's popularity has been rising, even Desert Lonely Expressway is gaining traction again. Meanwhile, the short films are booming, with each episode averaging two to 300,000 views. Bai Kian was now pale, his blood draining from his face, feeling a chill creeping over him. Bakuhu, my career is not yet realized, still not yet. Next, Ming Liang chimed in. Nowadays, many people are wondering if the owner of Deng Da is just like CEO Bai in the short film, waiting for the day when CEO Bai's true identity is revealed. Then the internet will surely erupt again. Bao Xu added, when will CEO Bai drop this hot bomb? It's really keeping people on their toes, ahihi. Meanwhile, our Bai Qian was horrified, thinking to himself, what's going on here? I was ready to retire for a thousand years, and now they're digging me up again. This is outrageous, utterly outrageous, hoo-hoo. Then Zhu Xiaoshu pulled out a camera, saying, today is a good day, shall we take some commemorative photos? The whole group enthusiastically agreed. Great idea, yes, yes, let's take a family photo. Come on, everyone gather around. CEO Bai, CEO Bai, stand in the middle, please. Then Zhu Xiaoshu got into position, saying, Okay, everyone smile on the count of three. Let's all say congratulations. Ready, smile. At that moment, everyone's faces lit up with joy, except for one person who remained silent and somber. Afterward, Bai Qian spoke up. Keep celebrating, everyone. I have something to attend to. Then the group crowded around to admire Zhu Xiaoshu's work. Let's see, show me again. Send the photos to the group, rinse off, and find a place to hang them. Ahi. Surprisingly, Zhu Xiaoshu also noticed. Moon, what's up with CEO Bai smile? It seems to carry a hint of melancholy. Our Bai Qian immediately convened an emergency meeting in his mind. The five of them were now deeply troubled, sighing heavily. They thought they had reached the depths of despair. Reaching CEO Bai was making money, the game designer was making money, there seemed to be no end to the money in the system, what could be worse? The answer was still there because an interview had sparked public interest in Deng Da, boosting all of Deng Da's games at once. Suddenly, Bai Qian slammed a hammer down on a table, all right, everyone cheer up. Life is full of ups and downs, think ahead. Besides, this time the money in the system won't run out anytime soon. Now, let's try to earn a bit more and we can transfer it into our personal assets. Bai Qian adjusted his glasses and continued, That being said, it's all quite absurd. Are we really that talented that everything we do goes smoothly and we can just do this and that and succeed? It's impossible. We need to understand our own capabilities. That's right, the deadline for the next installment is approaching. So we need to quickly think about what our next step should be. Bai Qian holding a gaming device also chimed in. The issue of luck is undoubtedly still present. Additionally, I feel the key lies in the distinctiveness of our game, right? Differentiation, you say? On one hand, we go against the typical preferences of gamers, and we're especially prepared with tricks. On the other hand, besides spending money, we're also a high-quality artistic resource, increasing salaries and offering more benefits. The positive attitude of the employees is also enhanced because of this. Bai Qian, now holding a hammer, suddenly understood, ah, that's it. Exactly isn't doing so akin to creating a new line of high-quality games. Then adjusting his bow tie, Bai Qian inquired, so should we follow the trend in game development? No, no, many have already imitated others' games and even outshone the original. The group sighed heavily after listening. Then the five of them raised their hands and discussed haphazardly, no, we must take some time to clarify this issue, and first of all, we need to stop releasing new games immediately. We can't take any more risks. Oh, right, we promised the players before that we would revitalize some old games, so let's do that next week. The scene ships to April 30th, which is the system accounting day. Bai Qian sits in the CEO's office contemplating as he looks at the system report. 
the current capital is $4,910,000, with a profit of $3,910,000, converted into personal assets at a ratio of 100 to 100 and $39,100, plus 10% system mission bonus. The current personal asset balance of Bai Kian is $87,903. After reviewing, he strokes his chin thoughtfully. Unexpectedly, just relying on profits has converted nearly 40,000, truly incomprehensible world. Then the system announces further, the next accounting is in 60 days, system assets are about to be supplemented, and the current system capital is $5 million. Bai Kian, now sweating, thinks to himself, ah, this time there's no special task, and the accounting deadline has been shortened a lot so the pressure seems even greater. According to the original plan, pause the release of new games, instruct Lu Mingliang to revitalize the old game lines, I must definitely open more chains of stores, all sorts of internet cafes for losses. New games are no longer profitable, it's all a waste. After contemplating, he opens the office door and announces loudly, hey everyone, get ready in a moment, gather in the conference room, we'll have a meeting. The group, upon hearing this, cheerfully exclaims, Oh yeah, CEO Bai is so quick to create another new game. We truly admire him. He he he. At this moment, CEO Bai called 500 employees together, each one feeling tense, unsure of what would happen next. Meanwhile, Bai Qian silently contemplated, This month, the initial capital of the system is $5 million, with a two-month accounting period. Currently, Gui Jiang earns $600,000 per month, the game designer earns about $1,700,000 monthly. War of the Sea earns $3.5 million per month. All games are making tremendous profits, except for the struggling Internet Cafe project, which loses $300,000 each month. Although the loss figure is trivial, this is still my initial success. Additionally, including rent, employee salaries, and various benefits combined, the expenses amount to about $1 million per month. This means the amount I need to spend for the next two months is four and a half million times two, plus the five million from the system, totaling $14 million, holy shit. This amount of money may last me a lifetime. Opening an internet cafe costs about three million, which means I have to open at least four cafes. Just thinking about it makes me feel exhausted. After a moment, our Bai Kian calmly spoke up. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. All right, let's begin. Suddenly, Bai Qian remembered, almost forgot, this time we need to revamp old games for players, it's certain to bring in additional income, we must find a way to reduce profits. Then our CEO Bai continued, first, let's briefly discuss the selection of the most outstanding employee. In the future, we'll have fixed biannual votes for outstanding employees, scheduled for one half and one eighth. The top outstanding employee will receive $1 million, while the second will be rewarded with a paid vacation. Hearing this, Bao Xu felt a bit anxious recalling the recent vacation. Bai Qian added, and the work plan will be set on a two-month basis. Considering the strong demand from players to revamp old game series, I've decided to temporarily halt new game developments. Over the next two months, we'll revamp several old game series to meet players' needs. First up is Desert Lonely Expressway, expanding the endless model integrating multiplayer functions, and designing new maps. Unexpectedly, Bai Qian shouted loudly, priced at $1, Gui Jiang will release a new set of generals priced at $5, War of the Sea will introduce a new epic-grade weapon, maintaining the old price of $888, with a monthly limit of 500 releases. The game designer will launch a new sound and interface package, priced at $5. Bai Qian's statement left everyone in the room utterly astounded. Am I hearing this right? Is it really that cheap? Can we even recoup our investment? Over on the other side, two individuals were whispering to each other. Yun Hua of Bi Jiang and the game designer were personally crafted by the venerable Ruan Guangjian. Regardless of how good the relationship between CEO Bai and Ruan Guangjian is, clear calculations must be made. The new epic-grade weapon set of War of the Sea is limited to only 500 copies per month. So, does that mean the maximum earnings per month would only be 200000 Then the whole team of core employees, with excited and enthusiastic faces, burst out in laughter and joy. 
Indeed, only CEO Bai could make such resolute decisions. On the other hand, our Bai Qian wore a dark expression, torn between tears and laughter, inwardly lamenting, this is already the lowest price allowed by the system, and I even want it for free, hu hu yu hu. Suddenly, our Bai Qian stood up and announced, All right, Lu Ming Liang will be in charge of organizing the tasks. Everyone is dismissed. Shortly after, CEO Bai emerged from the executive office, silently contemplating, I need to visit my Yang's place, try to secure a location, open a shop, and start renovations before May 1st. Surprisingly, Mahi Jun called him back, Hey, CEO Bai, can I have a word with you? Sure, come to my office and we'll talk, he replied. Then the two men entered the room and began their conversation. Mei Jun, please have a seat. What's the matter? Well, CEO Bai, it's like this. I have a friend who's been facing some difficulties lately. Upon hearing this, our Bai Qian chuckled and said cheerfully, Is this friend of yours none other than yourself? No worries, whatever difficulties you're facing, just tell me straight. I'll approve three days of paid leave for you to handle it, and you can return to work once it's resolved. Mai Jun, with violet hair, startled, responded, No, 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 CEO Bai, you've misunderstood. It's really my friend. As you know, both Huang Ziba and I used to work at Chang Yang. After Huang Ziba left, because we were short of an operations director, we hired someone to replace him. Recently, he's also become unemployed, so we came to ask if I could help him find a job. After hearing this, our Bai Qian silently thought to himself, Unemployed, huh? Not resigned then, 